Welcome everybody to the Lodge live stream. Thank you guys for tuning in on this Thursday afternoon. My name is Greg Potter. I will be your commentator today. We've got a very special event going on right now. A $10,000 buy-in, six max, one day tournament of which we are going to feature for you today. And a feature this table certainly is. We have quite a few names at the table that came all the way out to the Lodge just to come see what it was all about. Mr. Alex Fox, and you can see there in seat four. And Min Wang there in seat three. Both some high stakes tournament crushers. Came on down to the Lodge, see what it was all about. The Lodge Championship Series is currently going on right now, of which this 10K buy in event is a part. And wow, look at this. Alex Fox in second pitch. Picks up two queens. And Armin on the button. Ace Jack offsuits. These guys have roughly 60 big blinds apiece. We are currently at 500, 1,000 with a 1,000 chip big blind ante. As Armin puts on the three bets up to 6,600. Yeah, 62. Alex Foxen, of course, with the decision, going to think it over. And pretty standardly goes with a four bets, being out of position. And Armin laid down. Alex Foxen immediately. And number two, going to chip up. Bagging himself roughly at seven big blinds to add to his stack. There's all of our player positions for you. Armin in seat one, Manuel, seat two, Bin Wang, seat it said seat four, but I believe that is seat three, Alex Fox in seat five. And John, there in seat six. In case you guys were not aware of Bin Wang's name, this man has 3.5 million in live tournament earnings. But we'll get back to that in a minute because Manuel picks up two kings. And he's going to ship in his short stack. All very fine and standard, but. Unfortunately, does not get any callers, but is certainly happy to chip up. As I was saying, Ben Wang, $3.5 million in total live earnings. 530 seconds on the all-time money list, according to Hendon Mob. $1 million best live cash. We are happy to have him down at the lodge. Came all the way out. In fact, his most recent cash was yesterday, the $5,000 buy-in. Hold'em tournaments that we had here at the Lodge, also a part of the Lodge Championship Series, going all the way until the 16th. Cash for just under 20 grand, so not a bad week so far for Ben. Armin, two fours. Certainly going to raise it up. 56. 56. And Bin Wang, Ace Jack, suited. Does make the call. And John in the big blinds, I have a feeling he will be seeing three as well. Though he is rather short stacked. There is some dead money out there. Does choose to just call here in the big blind. Great flop for two fours. No one should connect too often, except maybe John every now and then. How much are you playing, Messi? 
Thank you. Thank you. You're good. And of course, going to take a stab here. Two overs, some backdoor club possibilities. Wants to clean up some of the equity. Gets a fold out of king queen. That's certainly valuable. Armand, of course, going nowhere. Just a call. And a seven on the turn. How much worse could it have gotten for Armand and C1? Immediately counterfeit, now playing four high. I believe drawing to a chop, if I'm not mistaken. Been weighing with plenty of showdown now. Two pair, ace high, going to check it back. Armin playing the board. Will he choose to bluff? And he does. Certainly can't win by checking it down. That's full pots. Trying to get a fold out of a hand exactly like what Ben is holding. It has a pretty rough decision here. It's a great split shot for you. Basically calling to chop the majority of the time. Armin potentially could have a bank to nine. But Ben does make the call. And Armin does not get it through. Ben Wang... He's going to drag a nice 17,000 chip profit as we get a shot of the Lodge, the Lodge Cam, over there on the tournament side with all the other tournaments going on today with the Lodge Championship Series. Absolutely been packing the house, and we will, in fact, have more tournament streams to come. This is just the first of many here at the tail end of the Championship Series. Alex Foxen will play his button. It's six offsuits. We'll take down the blinds. And yes, chats, Doug Polk is also in the mix for this 10K buy-in, the six max tournament. Saw him out on the floor not long ago. There's some chip counts for you guys. Ben Wang, by far, leading the field, at least at this table, with 165 big blinds. Maybe. <laughs> Got a massive advantage. It's also particularly quiet in this room. The right. room itself, yeah. Yeah, bottom of it here is over. Yeah, this is the quiet side thing. Completely different than when we play outside. Oh, yeah. Ace King offsuit here for John. It's just funny how. Stark the differences between two yeah, here and there. Like everyone's yeah. loud and yeah. talking, yeah. joking. Yeah, everybody talks. He's ten for Manuel on a very short stack. Feel like, uh, feel like this might just be good enough to get it in. Big on, on the table. table. And he does <laughs> move all in, but the Tabasco card protector gets a snap call from John, and just like that, there's our first all-in moment. Manuel is going to need some help in the form of a 10. Okay. 
two and eight. It's another flop, though <laughs> running clubs. It's still possible, still no longer. <laughs> still more no chop no. Deuce to a chop uh, does not come, and Ace King will hold for John. The six seed Manuel. <laughs> He's eliminated. Certainly don't blame him. Getting it in with Ace 10. He only had roughly eight big blinds. More than strong enough to ship it in this spot. And we will fill that seat here quickly. Six handed, we can deal with four, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just so you guys know, registration is still open for this $10,000 buy in Six Max tournament. In case anyone was interested. Come on down to the lodge, fire some 10K bullets, come play with some of the best in the world. Alex Foxen opens up King 9. Offsuit under the gun. Armin. Queen 10 suited. Standard call. On the button. Just about. There is no small blind in this hands. What a flop. Two pair for Armin, bottom two. Gutter balls, both Ben and Alex. Certainly a board that favors Alex. Choose to go for it into his two opponents. For small bets, very reasonable. Stacks are quite shallow. Armin, of course, going nowhere. Ben Wang, in fact, double gutted. Jacket here. Backdoor diamonds to go with it. And it looks like you'll be going for the check raise on this board. S certainly a hand to do it with. You may just see an all-in. Armin does just call on the flop. Very standard. And there's the nine for Bin Wang. Let's try to go with it as if he needed it. Easy game. Buy in for a $10,000 tournament. Just drill a straight. You're bluffing on the flop. Bet 7,200. Setting himself up for a similar sized jam on the river.
I'm going to make the call. And what a brick on the river. The single best card, I think, for Ben to get paid off. It's hard to imagine Armin folding in this spot. There's the all-in from Ben. And Armin is now in a miserable spot. Unblock. A lot of the bluffs. Ben Wang does have some two pairs here. Some that are better, some that are worse. Potentially, the Normans. Maybe not in this exact line. It's very polarized. To total air. Or straight. Or we could potentially be thinking Ben is making a move. As Armin did try to bluff him. Previous hand does make the call, and Ben will get the absolute maximum from Armin. And in the first seven hands, we will have two players eliminated. Incredibly tough spot there for Armin. I'm sure a player as sophisticated as Bin has enough bluffs there to justify that call. Either way, well played by both opponents. And there's another shot of the Lodge. Now on the cash game side... Nobody Even on days where we have dozens of tournament tables going, there are just as many cash tables right on the other side. Looking at some 1-2 and 1-3 games. Christopher Steinberg, how many people are in this event? I believe it started with 29. We are down to now, I believe, 18, as we will get some new players added to this table. 17, in fact, by the look of the clock They're on the TV in the back. Once again, registration is still open for anyone looking to come down, play a 10K six-max tournament. Wow. Two and a half hours you have. You got a long time, guys. You're in rough shape. There's the chip count's been weighing. Yeah, on the front, His yeah. lead has only yeah. grown even larger. Yeah. 209 big blinds. I don't want it to three bit. Alex Fox is singing at about 60. Probably not going to work. <laughs> I double got it with a bed door. Diamonds. Yeah. I probably peel. Once I see the turn, I don't think I can go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, and the turn would have. Yeah, I wouldn't have stopped. Yeah, well, once you rip that, once you three rip that board, you, then you have to keep yeah. to the story. That's true. Coming in. Oh, I like that door. Fly over, and then we see the logo. Cameron, this tournament's 
has unlimited rebuys. So if you guys want to come dust five bullets real quick, yeah. Yeah. come on down. Starting chip counts 40,000. We are sitting at net what is now the 600, 1200, 1200 better. big blind That's level. Ten times better than what, what we hear last year, right? Last oh, yeah. yeah. Much, much better. The last yeah. year was on the, on the back on the back of the room mm -hmm. last year. And Matt Sweeney in the chats is telling us that Doug Polk, man himself, is going to be on this yeah. feature table. Great job. Sometimes things just work out. The good thing about the live stream, you cannot lie about the hand because 30 minutes later, you're going to find out, oh, these guys just lied to me. Lie. <laughs> like, right? Ronald Brad will not be playing this event. Oh, I have these and that. I but we do have Doug Polk <laughs> coming to the table here in just a moment. Sean Cosgrove makes a great point. So you're admitting to lying about hands a lot. Not many people not would choose to sit at this table, exactly. I'd rather not tell them what I have rather than lie to people like what I have. Yeah. Yeah. There's our game host, Miss Safi. I kind of not gonna tell. I'm as always, tell doing a great job. <laughs> Rather than telling, oh, I have died and died and yeah. lied about it. Yeah. You're going to get a fourth player, mic'd up, and in the game for you guys. While we have a moment, let's talk about the Mega Monster one million dollar guaranteed tournament with a four hundred dollar buy-in. So much. I've been in poker a while. I've never heard of a structure as enticing as that. $1 million guaranteed, $250,000 plus first place prize. For only a $400 entry. Guys, come down in August. Come get a piece of the Mega Monster as we see Doug Polk coming in. You cannot boss me. Certainly a favorable seat draw How do you on Alex Foxen's left. <laughs> Every single tournament I play with, I look over, yeah. you have like five people's skulls already. <laughs> it's been like three hours. I look over, like, how many, how many men had to die? <laughs> he plays well. No, I, I run good. You saw that. I, <laughs> I, I, I chant, I chant right with a draw and I get there. <laughs> what, can you, what can you say? It is indeed on a pretty good run. I have a one hand. I'm going to ask Alex. Just a couple of seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Last hand, we I had a jack through his, uh, through his puck. Is the lighting a little lower today? It feels a little blind battle here. Ben Wayne going to make the call with 5 3 suited. Alex checking his option. It is, it is, it is a nice one. Queen Eye paired board. A great room, though. This is super nice. We were just talking about that right before you came in, how they did it. Great. Yeah. 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 Put a lot of time and effort into it. And money. <laughs> ben starts with a check. True. Nice. Yes. Very, very happy. Alex Foxen does check it back. A five on the turn. Ben continues to run pure. People, no matter who they are, just that's cool. Just uh, we're gonna we're gonna change it because I don't like how T will bets for value and protection and on this card. See a person in focus and that behind you, like my flurry. Yeah. yeah, but we haven't been able to figure out what we're gonna make it. Scenes of Boston. Yeah, I can do something like that. A little downtown. And Alex makes the call and outdraws Ben Wang. The run good cannot last forever. Will Ben choose to bet this card? He does. To the tune of 3,700. Stay one extra now. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, you know, yeah. if I made it main final, the, it's probably, yeah. I found the table last year. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's thick. Enticing enough for maybe yeah. some ace high to make the call. I mean, that's the one that the guy won that had just couldn't be beat, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. Guy well, he, he, a deuce very likely would have bets when checked two on the flop. Open queen. Somebody like literally had just sat down. 
If he three bets it, well, four bet rip. <laughs> he just puts it in with aces. Now Alex Foxen <laughs> comes over with aces. What he has? Going to go for yeah, some value <laughs> on this river. Certainly has plenty of hands that he would have called the turn that would now be incentivized to bluff. I love this play from Alex. What else could you expect from someone who has nearly $29 million in tournament winnings? 20 seconds on the all-time money list. Someone in chat said, I've seen Fox and he's a good player. I would say so. You should Stats certainly say so. This river bet certainly says so. Bin Wang, not a trivial decision. I talked to him about He says he thinks that they had the hand wrong. Oh, well, then that would make more sense. But then I had a second source saying that they did not. I lean toward they did not. I really do, because he just, and he kept his word. Yeah. And probably thought he had some sort of miracle out, but no, I don't know. And Bin Wang <laughs> takes his chips, so hands them straight over to Alex. To fold aces um, late in the tournament. Ooh. Oh my God! Oh. Does not get the max value. Though there are not many players in the world that would go for the additional value there. We don't whisper on the stream. Thank you. I'm okay right now. Thanks. Thank you guys once again for tuning in to the Lodge live stream. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We will be doing a lot of tournament streams coming up. Today is the 10K buy-in six max high roller events. You have Greg Potter in the booth commentating. Buckle up, because it's probably going to be a long one. Plan to go into the evening. We will run this all the way down to the final table until it is over. Awesome or bad? Awesome. And so we, when someone said awesome, I, you're I, like, I, it was, how bad? No, 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 no. I think it was fine. That, no, that was okay. I, I, you know I, I was messing around a lot, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you, if you were a very needy player, you, you, you probably still don't. King, queen for John. I, I Doug going really to defend like his big blind. So much, I just kind of try and... Play a balanced range, not worry about it, you know? I, no, no, no. I, no. Oh, you, of course, you're not worried And what a flop for John. Uh, in my head. Top two pair on a very dry board texture. <laughs> well, choose to bet it, though. This is certainly a hand you could check back sometimes. Yeah, I did get him. I did you blocked him. so much of your yeah. opponent's okay. calling so range. Aces. Of course, Doug. Aces come Let's go with the 10 high. Because I don't know why. I... In the past zero two, a lot of players get crazy about ace five shooting. Just so you guys know, <laughs> probably should have thrown this up here earlier. First, let's take a look at the chip counts. Ben weighing 203 big blinds. Alex Fox at 72, John 35, and Doug on the bottom with 33. Still relatively healthy stacks, though, especially for a six max event. Just so you guys know, there are the de denominations of our tournament chips. We got the black chips 100. The purples, 500, yellows, 1,000, and the orange, $5,000 chips. Doug here in the small blind, ace five. We'll go for the three bets. Up to 68. Very standard. The ace five suited. Been weighing, of course. <laughs> ace five? No hand to call with. Ace yeah, four? Not suited. Oh, oh man. Really? Oh, I mean, really best say then. Doug will chip up. Really good vote now. <laughs> I'm sitting there having a happy now. Salt says, why are we four handed? This is a six max event. You jammed. Poker, after that conversation, we have 16 yeah, right. oh you, we have remaining, oh yeah. so that means one or two oh, yeah. tables will be short. Yeah, I know you guys, especially uh, thought you guys like, <laughs> started from the solver and everything. I'm, I'm just playing. Uh, yeah, playing I have for a heads up, not for a ring. So I don't know what the magic for me. I just try and play loose, aggressive, and put my opponents to the test, you know? Sounds like Doug's MO. Sounds like a, oh, oh, you see. 2008. He's five suited again. Oh. For Doug, exact same hand. Tried and true. Yeah. Nothing's changed. Exact same game. Jono, this was in fact a random table draw. He made a very similar comment. 
I'm going to play real tight and resource. We chose we definitely chose the right table to make the feature table. Wow. <laughs> John will defend the king at ten here in the small blind. He gets an absolutely incredible flop. Top pair, the diamond draw. Are we getting, are we getting another player? Checks to his opponent. Just keep it. I just kill it. Who bet small? It's fun, yeah, I mean, even three hit, I'm, I'm just yeah. saying it. Because they have a 16 people, right? Yeah. Oh, is that all? Yeah, 16 is supposed to be like 5, 5, 6. I, mean, I, I don't know. I'm kind of curious. Yeah. I'm not very sure. I, actually, I love heads up. Yeah. I think you, you, you do I like heads up too, yeah. yeah. 7800. John, we'll put in the check raise up to 7800. I think I like, might like three or four handed better than heads up. Plenty of draws available. You're, diff you're definitely better. A little, bit, a little bit more dynamic. I will say you're, 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 you're definitely. Trying to get all the value he can now before the texture of the board changes too dramatically. So he's not afraid of just about any turn card. Last year, that's maybe one, two. In the, in like and Doug. Heads up term? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Instantly, 10K, right? three bet rips it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> Trying to get some protection out of his five, I believe. Oh, kind of. I mean, same, same, same. And John same. has him absolutely crushed. Oh, yeah. He's our, our, our third our all in moments. Like hand number 11. I, I mean, my hands are tight. No, no, it makes sense. Don't play that. Jack on the turn. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, four, four. Deduce. You have me. Doug. Now stack reduced all the way to just over four big blinds, taking a very healthy chunk out of his remaining chips. John will double cleanly through Mr. Polk. Right now I'm definitely gonna play a five two. Hundred percent now. That was oh, the exact same suit. too, right? Yeah, same oh. suit. Yeah. Same yeah. suit too. Oh, that's. I was hoping you were on a draw. I was. He was. Well, it wasn't the kind of draw. <laughs> hey, well, I was on a draw. You know, just a pair to go with it. No big deal. There's a chip count for you guys once again. <laughs> Doug sitting with four big blinds. John has now jumped up to almost seventy. Ninth. Nice, healthy chip stack. Of course, Doug will likely be all in quite a lot from here on out as we take Mr. Clayton out of the box. I believe that was his debut back onto the live stream. Welcome back, Mr. Clayton, as we will get Horseshoe Phil to replace him. Hated four. We hated four. 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 Like a dad. Yeah. yeah, so that's why I, I, I hate it for. Why no, not why you play it for? For the Chinese people. Like, why, though? Gilbert, I do believe that shove was to deny equity like in, in Chinese. to over cards so and other draws, etc. What we say, though, dad. Oh, so it means like, okay. Dad, yeah, it could so be questionable. I guess I'm not close enough to. Okay. So you see yeah, that. Chinese intonation. You see that, you see that a lot. Max Bass has four big blinds and a chair, guaranteed win for yeah. Doug. We will see. We'll see. Certainly not a favorable spot to be in. <laughs> I think he would have rather held on to those no, 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 33 or so big blinds he had. Ace nine for Ben. You play now. I'm not sure. 70. Let's go over 70. Yeah. Thank you. That's 64. Ben Wang getting a count. The Fox's remaining chips. About. With a lineup like this, they are always at risk. Boxing will defend his big blinds. Good fair fight here. Ace high will remain the best hands. Thank you. 
thousand seven hundred. Twenty seven hundred on this very dry board texture. I had a hand. We'll get the fold. No, Alex Fox. Hey, you give a call of Adrian <laughs> Ace Nine. Yeah. You were ahead. When you fold, every time ahead, you call. Oh. Guys, do us a favor if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel, and if you are, welcome to the Lodge live stream. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let's take a look at where our viewership is coming from today. Type in the chats every time where in the world you are watching from. Always love to see where our viewership comes from. We have international viewership on the Lodge live stream. I know, I know, but I'm One point six thousand of you tuning in currently. Ben has aces. They're going to be so unfair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see if I'm going to play post-flop or not. You can fold. Or you can, yeah, we can play post-flop. Post Doug with two queens. That'll be fine. I don't know. I have a feeling I love he's going to say, did he just call? <laughs> oh, wow. I love it. We're going to play post-flop, he says. He just called with a one big, big blind chip stack remaining. Of course, flops and over pair versus Ben Wang's top pair. And just like that, the money is in. You still can just call. <laughs> ben says you can just call if you want. I'm all in. <laughs> Huge jam here from Doug. I have top pair. Oh, I thought I had the nuts. <laughs> nope. Got it, baby. Sucked him right in. I mean, good thing you only have. <laughs> I don't I'm pretty happy. If I lose, I'm very happy about that. Okay. Wow. Yeah, this is actually not that bad of a spot for Ben. Very <laughs> cheap. Like you won. All in okay. scenario here oh. and got it in. That's as good as he could with his hand. Five on the turn. Oh, nice. yeah. GG. Yeah, you're pretty, pretty dead. Yeah, hearts, hearts. And a jack on the river. Dugs. Two queens will hold. Clean double. A nice oh, clean nice double five. for Mr. Polk. You rip it all in, you got four. <laughs> You, if you've been knowing pre you can fold maybe. Yeah, I got a fold. Okay, yeah. you got a queen there. <laughs> Feels like a rigged deck. You've had ace five suited twice and now queen. Ah, There's some chip counts once weird. again. Doug now up to strange. seven big blinds. <laughs> Unfortunately, I also basically. Not dead yet, folks. It's a little less rigged. <laughs> <laughs> I won't, I won't open 9, 10 off to anymore. Every time I never won with it. <laughs> you got to stop playing it. Yeah. Six, seven, seven, two. Yeah, Max, that is certainly a different type of run good. Whenever you do lose, when your opponent only has four big blinds, that's, that's how you know you're running good. Two or three times night ten off to ace nine, ace nine, ace five, ace five. What does it mean? Where we got our viewership from? The Dominican Republic, I'm seeing. Things aren't completely. Arizona. <laughs> and then he wanted 40 to 1 that he wouldn't win the PPC for the third year in a row, and so I gave it to him. It was small. I bet one, he gave me 1K, and I own 40K if he wins it again. His argument was like, well, if magic isn't real, then you're winning. And I was like, okay, I'll take against you then. <laughs> There's like How many players is he? 100, 110. Oh, that many. Was it? I thought it was small. Maybe, yeah, no, I think UK, right. England, yeah, common. I mean. And, and uh, tough. Yeah. Like, basically the toughest. I assume he's one of the better players in the show. For sure. Oh, he's, yeah. he's a, we have a large viewership the over there across the pond. Thing. Like a new subscriber. I mean, I'm just saying, I don't yeah. think it's like insane. Like Keen yeah. Bacon, thank you. I would imagine that it's like. We're committing yourself to the live, live stream. We appreciate it. John will three bet the Queen 10 here. Or you plenty don't think so? In that one? Think about the people that play that. Maybe not plenty. Yeah, you're right. Not plenty. Also, the edges in some of those games. I'm thinking about playing those. So I don't know, like three of the games. Oh, there you go. So that helps. Chad Harmer tuning in from Oklahoma. God, I'm going to fold with such a small raise. I guess I'd put it like this. If I'm making a bad bet. It's a very, very, very marginally bad bet. Yeah. Unless magic, no, you, you unless have, magic is unless real. Lee Johnson, I don't you're, know. You're betting against magic being real is really. Might be a little biased. I think we have a fantastic live stream here. I don't know if I like. And so do 1,600 other people. 
Actually, no, it's twofold. Because There's a chip count for you guys, once again. Have to be real, and jungle would also have to be capable of conjuring its power. So, like, <laughs> if magic is real, then jungle is a conjurer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In this, so, in this so spot, it's yes. <laughs> Were you guys playing heads up? No, it was just a ring okay. game. Oh, he was. Yeah. But he he was trying to explain to me, and then he he told me a bunch of examples of things in history that had to be that were so low probability that they how could they be random? And it was a very weird conversation. Eventually, I just said, "Jungle, we're not going to be able to see eye to eye on this." You know, you can try to convince me, but. I would have liked to have been a part of that conversation. The first hour was okay. <laughs> John will raise up a suited ace. Bin Wang immediately laying on the pressure. John will quickly fold. Ace four suited, I would have just. No, I don't. I don't have ace four suited. McKenzie in chat. Hello, sir. It's a good thing we didn't mention ace three suit. Yeah. Oh, oh. What about ace five suit? Christopher, this is a six max tournament we are streaming for you today. There are currently 16 runners left. As it dwindles, we will fill those two additional seats. There were 33 bullets fired into this by various opponents. 4,800 behind. All right. I'm Tread lightly. All right. All right. Nice. All right. Good fold. All right. For another natural nine. Please. Oh. Oh. Please again. Are you kidding? What? Are you kidding? We're back. How is that possible? We're back. How is this possible? Oh, See, okay. Alex Fox and <laughs> it's in the race, and Doug picks up two jacks immediately and is all in. The fox and makes a quick call. We're going to see five. Yeah, it's going to be all low. Oh. Okay. Oh, no jack. <laughs> oh, wait, but there's three clubs? Oh, yeah, you're, you're going yeah, yeah, for two hours. Yeah, this is pretty bad for me. You're two hours. Alex Fox is not doing well on this flop. Oh, okay, all right. Not bad. And ship it over to Mr. Doug Polk. Three. Chip in a chair, everybody. Chip in a chair. Almost uh, there. Yeah. <laughs> 6,000 even. I could be putting a minus phase out there. You're a little more sweat. 6,000. We for five and six. It's a sign. Magic is real. Magic wow. is Why could you read that magic. one hand, that ace five, that behave on the ace five hand, and now you have a ton of chips? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, tons. <laughs> yeah, tons. <laughs> Because when I brought top pair, I'm not folding. Brother, you're 15 big brother, because you know I'm not folding my top pair. He looks so strong, that helmet. What do you, how can you crawl? No, I was just kidding. <laughs> I was just kidding. <laughs> Five. It's all about yeah, time. It works out. Ten. Ten. One. One guy will come right into the big ball. Twelve. Six. Oh, oh my word. Right. You've got two there. players coming in. Yeah. This is not even embarrassing anymore. Mm -hmm. Raise people makes it 2,500. Five holes. Seven holes. Yes. Another person who's a big fan of magic walking into the room. Hey, hey, hey. He's here. Take it easy. Oh, 2,500. <laughs> How's it going? Good. <laughs> <clears throat> Top fair pair for Bin Wang. With a straight draw to go with it. Does it go check, check? are Brad and Andrew in this tournament. They're not in this tournament, to my knowledge. Well, they will be back soon. The Lodge Championship Series is still going on all the way until the 16th. It's been going on for roughly three weeks now. We've had a slew of tournaments that have packed the house every single day. Currently, you guys are watching the $10,000 buy-in 6 Max 
high roller as we do fill those two additional seats. Ben does really have, we have a full ring now. Every tournament, every time, not every single time. I, mean, I, wish that I look over true. and he just has a massive pile of chips. Chipleading.com. That's where you learn it. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I learn. I learn a lot. I, I, I keep saying that. Uh, first of all, I learned. I, I began learning from what's it called? Co poker coaching that kind, like uh, Jonathan Little, like right? uh, during the during during the uh, started. yeah during the pandemic, the start of pandemic. Then I all you can eat. Live Doug, once again, all in. With the Jack Eight suited on the button. Ace ten for James. Very quick call to be made. And once again, we are going to see if Doug's. Luck can hold. I want to have to go get in line. I feel like you're, you're like 58%. <laughs> oh, shit. Nice, man. I'm rooting for him. He's right, very live. Sure. Okay. 10 uh, on the flops. Not, not the card. I want to see, but it's not as bad as an ace. Jack's still alive. Uh, uh, terrible. 19. I asked how, how hmm. we can sign up. Jack on my side. Oh, yeah. He gave me the email that works that day. And Doug cannot find another double. I hope so too. Oh, he didn't, he didn't accept that. James will knock him out. The tournament. Welcome to the table, sir. It's just like courses now. Solid 13 big blind chip up. Are the blinds up? Six twelve. Roughly ten ish. Yeah, they went up right before. Sean, how many entries so far? On that screen in the back, you can see there are 33 entrants total. Now, 15 remaining. I do not believe it has been updated since Doug just busted. Been weighing, chip leading, 173. Isaac comes in with a big stack, 144. Alex Foxen on the bottom end. Still a lot of poker to be played, folks. I think I told Steven Sun about it. I was talking to him earlier. Steve, I love Steve. Good kid. Is that who you said? Uh, no, I, I said I, I meant I, I was asking something about. Suited Ace for Ben? Alex, uh, website, some, something, info, he told me something. Eight thousand total from Steve Eight, one fold. And two queens for John. Been out of position. Four calls, eight thousand. Yeah. And Ben, this guy just can't miss right now. And even when he does, his opponent only has four big blinds. Ace high board. John will still take a stab at it with second pair. John, what is a starting stack? They started with 40,000 in chips, I do believe. Bet a call. Don't believe either player likes that card very much. John will still bet to the tune of 10,500. Been, of course, going nowhere. And a king. How much worse could it get for John? Check, check. Does go check, check. And an ace will be good. Ben seems rather confused. 
that he was not chopping that pot. Did you ever lose? Of course. Of course. I haven't he seen it. Been extending his lead even further, now sitting at almost 200 big blinds. Wow. That's a bad In a 33 entry tournament. That's ridiculous. If only that were the truth. I think you've probably had worse. I just haven't seen it. I think I saw that uh, on the talk to Ryan says, what is the buy-in to this tournament? This is a $10,000 buy-in. Why is it always the river? Part of the Lodge Championship I Series. I know. They're always the the high roller six max event. Ace on the river. Ace king versus king. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, it's always a pain. Always a painful way to lose the big one. This one you think you got like every, every time I hear a poker hand, someone's telling me. They're all, someone's getting dinked on the river. Yeah. Looks to you ever notice that? Because the most painful oh, way you give you the most. Right, yes, yes, yes exactly. He, he, he most memorable. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. I fully expected a jack on the river while I go with Doug. I'm like, okay, four jacks. Three out, here it comes. I'm not going to think of with a natural nine. One natural nine. It could be jack nine, queen nine. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know the background rules well enough. I forgot that those are also natural nines. It's, uh, the Tony told me to keep, keep them. Yeah, Tony yeah. keep Tony. Oh, I had natural nine. I can't fold now. Like, oh, I have a natural eight. I can't fold now. I, 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 I got to play well, these that's games. That's useful to keep track of against certain <laughs> players, man. Some flops hit natural nine way more than others. Of course. <laughs> of course. Still running good, this guy. Fox and going nowhere with an ace in the big blind. Alex Foxen with the nut flush draw. If you raise pre, you, you, you can win. No? No, if you raise pre, you can win. Oh, okay. No, no, no. You have better draw. I, I knew it. You had a better draw. Ace, ace of diamond. And a six. I have an ace king also. Very friendly game here at the lodge. <laughs> the high roller events. These guys are gambling. That was the opposite of gambling. You just both <laughs> had good hands and put no yeah. money in. Yeah. Oh, oh. Something's gotten gambled. Even I'm ahead right now. It's hard for me to hold into the river. I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> you you got to get there first. I know. I'm, I Actually, I'm I'm ahead, but 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 I very slow. Prefer your hand 100. <laughs> percent Yeah. Not broken. Brian says it's a nice change to watch some tournaments. Cool. When you're in luck. Because we will have more tournament streams coming up through the next couple of days to round out the Lodge Championship Series. Great board for John. This guy is also running pretty good. Fox and likely betting most of his range here. And two pair now for John. Alex picks up a gutter ball. He wanted to continue bluffing. This would certainly be a good card to do it on. And he does. 
Warren asked, do you have to pay the hourly fee if you register for a tournament? No, it is included in the tournament's buy-in. Do not pay by the hour. John will put in the raise, trying to extract all the value from worse jacks. Not what Fox and loves seeing, of course. He will lay it down. The kid in the chats with some outstanding puns. Seven three. Get this guy a mic. The kid a regular on the Lodge live stream these days. Yeah, that was coming out of the way. 2,500 for the race from C4 or 5 forward. Adam Pascal, who is Bin Wang? Well, let me tell you. Bin Wang, tournament crusher these days. Total live earnings, $3.5 million. 530 seconds on the all-time money list as we see him chip up even further the King Jack offsuits. <laughs> Joining him also at this table is Alex Foxen, who has quite a record himself Almost $29 million in live tournament earnings. Absolute crusher, this guy. Mix in poker in the chat as well. Didn't want to take a stab at this one, Mixon. Two tenths for James. And Isaac will defend his big blind with some threes. And how about a set for James? You stack Doug Polk, next hand you play, you hit a set. says, what would be an ideal bankroll to play in this 10K? A lot. Lots of money. Jasbo makes an excellent point. Hit that like button for us, guys. Hit subscribe if you are new to the channel. Welcome to the Lodge live stream. We got Greg Potter doing commentary today. Same here. I would just but it's in 2019. Yeah. Oh, you, you, you actually won that one. Nice. <laughs> oh. And, and, and you make the second a year back, right? Two years before. Two years before. 2017 and then 2017. So 17, Took a year off. That was. That was. <laughs> very, very impressive. Top field you. too, like group here from all, all from the, everywhere from the different country, from the world. Yeah. How do you guys win so much? What's the secret? Ask Ben. Ask <laughs> me. I mean, you yeah, ask the one person for sure. I just want to know the secret sauce. 
Run good. Keep running good. Two raises for 3,000. Not 2.5x in the button, that's for sure. God. Ace King for Isaac. Ben thinks better of it and lays it down. Alex Fox and of course likely not going anywhere with six five suited. Very standard just call here. Those guys out there said you would win yesterday. No. I didn't explain I can <clears throat> Got our ball for Fox and Two live cards to go with it and backdoor diamonds. First title was 3K Pond in Omaha. 2, 000, yeah. Well, almost 80,000, right? Yes. Uh, I Isaac betting a large yeah. portion of his range on a board like I this. Would not blame Fox I mean, and. They've got a Topo Chico. They can see the high road. Road. We're beginning to bluff now. There it is. A raise that is very effective against hands exactly like what Isaac is holding. I call. Keep call. But he will make the call. Maxine goes for a small sizing. Targeting hands exactly like what Isaac is holding. Not going to take a big bet to get them to fold. I call. But Isaac. Going nowhere. Base king. Will Fox and go for it? SPR just about one. Does not, the run out did not favor running a big bluff. It does go check, check. So you got nothing? Six high will not be good. You got the ace high. That beats nothing. Nice hand. Oh. Isaac holding on for dear life. That was be work. Will take his showdown and drag the pots. All very reasonably played. That was a really bad mirror card. Saved. I got saved. Uh, yeah, I love it on the one. Buddy, I was you. snapping you off the whole way. Alex Fox are now reduced to 32 big blinds. I wasn't actually Ben and Isaac a bit, so you thought I had to topping the me. charts, 194 and 153 you respectively. <laughs> you are weak, but uh, no, we did not. Yeah, absolutely. You guys think ace high? Best ace high is weak. You must not play this game very much. All right, I fold. You're too tough. Three, Honestly, I think that hand was very standard from both opponents. Yeah, any any other corner, even eight or nine, maybe. 
Good raises, good calls, good give ups. These are the types of fields you will encounter at a $10,000 buy in six max tournament. A lot of very good poker being played as John. We'll three bet his queens. That is certainly good poker being played. King high board for John's Queens. Though it will not slow him down at all. I'd say it's just, you know, this is a tournament. Six max, $10,000 buy-in. Nice shot of the room. And of course, we see Safi, the game host in the back. Getting at these players, whatever they might need. Let's try again. Isaac trying again. Two nines. James will defend his big blind and flops a pair, though Isaac has an over pair. On a very dynamic board, certainly a healthy bet incoming. Close to two thirds, James going nowhere. And in fact, it's on the check raise. Not going to be pushed around with his four. Isaac, of course, going absolutely nowhere. And wow, look at this turn card. James, strongest draw in poker, the old bottom pair trip draw. Banks it. That's roughly a third of the pots. Too close. Isaac will continue. And a 10 on the river. 22,000. Might give Isaac some pause. James is not afraid. 22,000 is the number. Diamonds bricked off. 
Probably, well, Good honestly, thing. you'll lose focus. Damn, I gotta pay yeah, you off, man. Yeah. Call. Isaac double blocks straight. Wow. Makes the call. And James, my goodness, James and John and Ben, all just running pure in this $10,000 six max tournament. Watch. Definitely don't blame the call there. Watch. Block straights, unblock Dude. all diamond draws. Hard to get away from it. I like it. I love it. Yeah, I saw that. He had a four, right? Yeah. I pulled it a four, too. Oh, oh, my God. King's the dream card. King helps out. <laughs> okay. John will play his button, and Isaac will defend. Yes. Two and eight in. That goes check, check. We'll see a turn. It went check, check on the spot. Yes, two and eight in. Check. And a flush for Isaac. Six high. He takes 2,000. John turning his eight into a bluff, I believe. Isaac is not convinced. Check. Two checks. Check, check. Flush. Flush. And Isaac will drag the pots. Check, check on the river. And there is a shot of Andrew Nimi out there on the main floor on the designated final table, currently playing the main event of the Lodge Championship Series. Good luck to you, Andrew. Excellent camera work there by Miss Kimmy, who is on the video switcher today. Jonah says, who's that guy? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe just some regular. Blends in a little. Been going to defend his ace five. And an ace on the board. A jack to go with it for James. Ben is drawing One, that's two runner clubs, I believe. Certainly a cooler scenario. How big will this pot get? We'll call. Standard bet and a standard call from Bin. And two pair on the turn for Bin. This just turned into an all in pots. We'll check. Top two versus top and bottom. I'm at 7,700. Ben's hot run could be over. Of course, he does still have James covered. So it can't be all bad. Just a call once again from Ben. And a jack on the river, that will save Ben some money as James will fill up. Ben now counterfeits. Worst river card ever. 21,000. 
600. What's the bidding? 21,600. James doesn't know it, but he did not want to hit his jack. Stops him from getting paid. Once again, this is a different kind of run good for Ben. Even when you lose, you're running good in the sense that... What's your show? Ace five. The, the river saves you from losing a monster. At least I made right, right fold. That's, yeah, all, that, that's all matters. But you had the bigger two pairs. That's what I said. The river saves him from losing oh, a yeah. monster. I mean, yeah, could, be, could, could be fine a diamond. <laughs> you could just check. <laughs> You bet too big. He thought it was a bad river, but it turned out it was a good river. river. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. River saves him. Yeah, because yeah. he just has the aces and the jacks now. Right. I, I got some weeds. Jonathan says, are these tournament chips different from the cash games? Yes, they are. There's a breakdown for you. The black chips are 100. The purples are 500. The yellow, 1,000. And the orange, 5,000. If I raise the turn, it'd be a lot worse. We play big. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was trapping. I guess I'm not. <laughs> Most of the time, you're way ahead there on the turn. Both had two pairs. Yeah. yeah. I think I, I lost a minimum on that one. First of all, I, 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 didn't, I chose not to grip it this time. One, two, four. Oh. Yeah, I get hit away from it. This guy, Ben, is on. Run of his life, chip leading in some WPT tournaments, I'm told. 38, 38. Cashed yesterday in the $5,000 entry tournaments, part of the Lodge Championship Series. I, I want to say he's the chip leader in this. I could be wrong. But either way, he certainly has a healthy chip stack. 42. 42, C5. 42. Slick Rick in the chat. Lodge is hopping indeed, sir. No ace king this time. No ace king this time. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> packed. Like, uh, Tables stacked the walls. You should have just walked me again. No, I, I should just raise my chip. What was I decided to win? Like, I, I can't call a raise. Okay. Bad hand, bad hand. Queen three? Middle in car off suit. was a good middle in car. Uh. You know, lower than okay, me on. Seven, eight, seven, eight, five offshoot. Oh, seven, eight, I might call you. Seven, five offshoot. Okay. I was ahead. You're, you were. Okay. You, if you have a nine, two, it's offshoot, you were hurt. You, you drilled it. One raise is two, three thousand total. Two forty. How much is it? Three thousand. Been with yet another suited ace on the button. 8,700. 8, Choose to three bets. 8, Certainly reasonable. That's the best card in the whole game. Nathan, this is not a sit and go. This is an MTT. We had 33 entrants so far into this 6 max 10K buy in. As you can see there, 34 now. Wow. Bullets are being fired, folks. Even, even though I lost. How do you not raise me on the turn? I mean, I you think, hand, you think I the choose turn low is frequency gin. both ways. Pre-flop, on the turn. <laughs> I used to, I mean, I guess, I guess that's part of a run, running good, I guess. <laughs> I had a hand that's supposed to raise a lot of the time there, on the t especially on the turn. Right, yeah. I chose I not to. Because there's a front straw too, right? Five of hard. Right. On the turn. No, no. Yeah. There, there, there are two diamonds, two spades on the turn. No. There's two right. diamonds on the front. Two. No. It's a rainbow prop. Spades hard. Fox will play his button. Jack six offsuits. Hard on the turn. Eight, four. 
James, two nines. The big blind. Sometimes you have to believe you instant. We will put on the three bets. And a quick fold from Foxen. James drags yet another pot. A lot of questions about payouts for this tournament. Registration is still open for another 54 minutes for anyone wanting to come down to the lodge. Pay $10,000 and get in here with these crushers. We will have payouts as soon as registration closes. <laughs> right timing. <laughs> I don't know how I get away from it. It's so cheap. You played it well. I mean, I mean, yeah. But a lot of time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cherish the turn there. Right. Yeah. yeah charge you up. He's jack suited. Or, or, or ace, queen, ace, king. Certainly right. good enough for a raise. I, I just chose not to on my hand. Yeah. Eight folds. That's crazy. Three thousand total. One fold. What you playing, Alex? <laughs> Does he have to answer? I'm about 40. He doesn't have to answer. He just has to make the chips available to be seen. Show me. He might be lying. I could be. I'm going to call. Isaac will defend with an offsuit king. Watch it, buddy. Great flop for Foxen. Really got to practice my enunciation there. Two overs and a club drum. Three to a straight as well, and he does bet it. Certainly good enough to call a check raise. He will drag the pots. And registration is still open for this tournament, but if you guys are not interested in the 10K... High roller events. We currently have the main events going on right now. The Lodge. $3,000 buy in, $2 million guaranteed. Flights at 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. p.m. Excuse me, from the 10th through the 16th. Come on down, get yourself into the main event. There is the winner of last year, Alan Bauer. 375,000 up top. I have a feeling it will be even more this time around. Ace five suited for John. He will raise it up. For a six max game, this has been a pretty action table. Fox in defense his big blind with the Jack seven. Bit of a spicy board here. Top pair, straight draw for Foxen. Flush draw for John. Two thousand five hundred. This time, huh? you got it. Black ten of hearts. Top call. Boxing will defend. Queen on the turn. Check. Okay. 
counterfeiting Foxen's straight draw. Still has a pair, though. John will, of course, keep betting. He has all the nuts. On a texture like this, can get some folds from some nines, some tens, even some jacks on this card. Potentially called by some worse plus draws, though there aren't many out there. He does lay it down. That turn card is brutal for Alex. Certainly don't blame the fold. Will only lead to tough decisions on the river. His opponent still had plenty of outs against him. Yeah, when I came in here, they're like, do you want to keep the hoodie? I'm like, I'm always cold. Yes, what is it? How warm it is. Chip counts once again. Ben Wang, 187 big blinds. Alex Fox and on the bottom of 28. He cannot get much going here on this feature table. Chip down quite a bit since the beginning. Always say hot. Still very much in the game, though. I guess. <laughs> Honest, I'm always hot. Really, you yeah. always, yeah, that's why you're athletic. My body, high temperature. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I run hot. Okay, okay. So you don't mind? <laughs> no, no, no. I'd rather colder. Always. Okay. Always. Like, almost. Nice. Literally always. Until it gets two, and then it sucks. I hate you never it. feel cold, cold, by the way, right? No. Even when you leave it long. Long Island, the, the north. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't wow. get cold very wow. easily. Wow, wow. Yeah, you have a strong body for sure. 100%. <clears throat> Me too. Of, of, of course. And then you much younger than us too. Me and him got the athletes. 9,000? 9,000 9, total. Okay. I agree. <laughs> You're professional poker athlete. Yes, sir. I knew that. Foxen is the short second at the table, but still getting after it. He played college poker. With ace three. <laughs> college poker. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> uh, uh, college football. <laughs> Basically the same. <laughs> Basically, yeah. They, they all sports, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sports is sport. Yeah. Whether my sport or body sport, they're all sports. <laughs> Ace 10 for Ben. I'll wait till the end. As we are about to gear up for a dealer swap, you've had Horseshoe Phil in here for the past hour. Thank you so much, Mr. Phil. For that, we had the great return of Clayton, the tallest dealer in the world, with a wingspan of 10,000. Fox with Ace 5 suited. We will put on the three bets. Oh, wow, but look at this. John behind has two queens. There's the four bets. James says, no, thank you. I'm still running. Take my exit. Typical spot just made me so e made me much easier. Yeah. 
And once again, Ben says it's still running good. Facing a three bets, rough spots. Four bets, easy fold. Not so much for Alex Foxen, though. Both ways. Easy to get away from, easy to get it in. I'm fine with the But he does lay it down. I was facing folding or four bet jam flopping. Look at this, still a friendly game. John will show that he made a good lay down as we get our dealer swapped out. There's a chip count for you. Been still with the largest chip stack by far and away. Fox and still <laughs> bleeding I chips. <laughs> I know. Not due to mistakes, just simply variance. For, for yeah. Camilla, you are correct. Yeah, Alex Foxen has earned almost $29 million in live <laughs> tournament <laughs> winnings. This guy is an ultra crusher. Uh, I got to keep him on their toes. Top of the game. I think I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. If anyone can turn at 26 big blinds into a win, it's certainly Mr. Foxen. I will never call in there. The classic. The classic. Classic button. Ace fives. Ace five suited. Yeah. I will never call in. Wow. If both of you know respect to Alec, I can open. <laughs> I can have aces one time there. <laughs> you both got screwed. You don't need aces the way. All right, just ace ten is good enough, right? You'd find a way, man. All right, I'm gonna check. I, wow, I, I can't have a good head every single time. You have I'm mercy on me. Can't for always head it. No. no, cannot always head it. Sometimes you have a good head. Sometimes. Can't always hit it. You hit your ten, sir. Fold a two pair on the river. What do you want me to? Do? I wanted you to raise the two pair on the turn. I'm gonna check too. Let's go check. Wow. Okay. I'm, I'm Let's go check. Check on the flop. He's showing mercy for once. This is unusual. Okay, I'm gonna check my option. Okay. I'm gonna take a step. Texas Poker Monthly, we will put up payouts here shortly whenever registration for this tournament ends. There's still roughly 45 minutes left in registration. I'm so you. I'm not even. I'm not even lying. Is that the best hand? Of course. You know, I folded a jab. If Winner. you bought anything better than that. <laughs> Winner. Yeah, I, uh, I feel. I, when you double check, I pre. This is indeed pre just a feature table. We will be streaming all the way to the final table. We will run out this tournament today. It is a one-day event. Ten thousand dollar buy-in. Six max. High roller check events, again, part of the Lodge the Championship game. Series. If you guys like, you don't want to play this, you can come out and play the main. I just if there are any name. ladies out there, <laughs> we have a ladies tournament coming up May 15th, starting at 10 a.m. with a $500 buy-in. And Bill Perkins has recently added $50,000 to the prize pool. Does not change the buy-in whatsoever. That stays the same. It is simply a little extra juice. Coming from Bill Perkins. So if you're a woman out there and you like playing at poker, certainly come down to the lodge and hop into the women's events on the 15th. Alex Foxen with Jack 10 offsuits. Dominating Isaac. Jack for both players. It was 32 or 33 when we started here, right? Almost two hours ago. And right now it's only 34, right? So within, within the past two hours, an hour and a half, there's only one, one player reach. Yeah, Doug's the only one that's. Let's oh, come back. He's only one coming, yeah. well, I mean, Bet from he's Isaac. Back. I'm assuming he's yeah, the yeah, one that. Yeah, that, that him. Very likely just a call from Foxen. First, first two hours, like, boom, boom, boom. Like, so, so, oh, or, or so right. quick, yeah. Right, of course. It's, I mean, a, it's supposed to be later, later levels. It's going to be which is like more. Three on the turn. Bust out faster than more people. Yeah. Changes nothing. 
I mean, right now you get in, you got 20 bigs. So. Uh, yeah. Very deliberate check, check, and a 10 on the end as if he needed it. Yeah, by uh, about 40. For Alex Fox. And right, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, so the diamond draw does come in, straights come in. 15 minutes. Press, 15 press 25, so 40. Right, right. Okay. Not such a slam dunk value hand. Blind. Certainly good enough to bluff catch, though. For the top, for the good players, still good enough. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, especially there is a three, a pair of threes on the board as well. He is still counterfeit to an ace. For the athlete player. <laughs> but Foxen <laughs> is trying to squeak value anywhere he can. Ahead of all the jacks. Or, or, or maybe just me. I just, I just personally, personally don't like to reach really late and getting super shallow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a jack. Just do fog. And a 10. Ooh. The 10 <laughs> will <laughs> give him the win. It was a chop. Wait, oh, sorry, we can't do. There's no chop. Well, that's a 3700. You won the hand. Just yeah, two pairs. I mean, yeah. Oh, uh, I don't have. You, I don't yeah, have yeah, three. Okay. Here. Have, oh no, you do have black. Here, okay, so give him two thousand more. Or sorry, one thousand more. Yeah. Oh, 3700. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so 1300. Yeah, yeah. No, I wasn't even looking. I forgot the you guys row rolled by the best. What happened? <laughs> it's not effective when he does it every time. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that to you before. He did just have Doug Polk sneak his way into the commentator booth. Okay. Fired another bullet, and apparently it did not go so well. First time for everything. You've done that to me, I will not be mad. <laughs> I swear. Okay. But evil made me want to get your chip more. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I froze. I didn't see that. Open. I was thinking, do I open down the pine? <laughs> I didn't see that. You I can reopen. I do have a yeah. I do have a bottom open hand, but but once you open, I'm, I I I don't want dancing too much. Respect. Thank you to the pro player with WSOP. <laughs> oh, swear it on only, <laughs> only non pro in the field, sir. Only non pro in the I field. Don't, I don't think so. Uh, well, I don't think, I don't think the, that's true. The, the facts tell the truth, sir. I have a day job. Me too. I took <laughs> vacation from my day job today to come here and let y'all beat up on me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make 32. Ben Wang, man. This guy's V pip's got to be like 50, 60%. And they're all just good hands. All right, Getting an absolutely I'm insane string of hands. Oh, oh. <laughs> Damn. Now we see. Getting away. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. For cheap in some spots. We're right. Winning big in others. What a hot streak. Let's go check check on this board. Getting worse and worse for Ben. Though easy decisions are always nice. But he does put in the floats. Not, and, it's really good. Just, and he gets there. Right. What in the world is happening? I, I had never even heard of this brand until a few days ago. Yes. Floats with ace high. Uh, yeah. Binks is king. Started selling them in the, some of the Hispanic markets and stuff. Oh, and okay. Now the, what a river indeed. The yeah. And everybody's got it, yeah. He will go for value, as he should. Very healthy size. And a call. Flicks it in. James. Who will bluff catch. But Ben. Not bluffing, man. 
This guy's just running so good, it's it's outrageous. Ace King again for Ben. My goodness. Run of a lifetime. We'll raise it up. Those asking about payouts, we will have those for you as soon as registration closes. Two nines for Isaac. Just a call. Certainly not a bad board for two nines. Take a stab. Not going to get it done on the flop. Jack's full for Isaac. Been with plenty of showdown. Still betting. Maybe thinking he can get called by some worse ace high. Maybe get a hand like threes, fours to fold. Isaac, not having any of it. I thought it would lie your hand, I swear. I, I, think, I think you had a pretty strong hand. What's in the check raise? Did we get the fold? I had the same hand. Uh, From Ace King. Last hand. Wow. Yeah, bad to bad. Sick. I want that. But it was off suit this time. Yeah. I want to see. He, he was thinking three betting, three five. I'm like, come on, do it, do it, do it. Two fours for Foxen. Ben will defend. King six offsuit. Boxing will bet for protection, and he gets it, We're holding out the king high of Ben. <laughs> it's a good thing he did, because Ben was probably just going to bink the king on the turn. I, I saw someone oh, like Isaac. I, I saw someone like 10, 10, 10, nothing, 10, 10, 10 second, 50 yeah. second fold, and it made no sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I understand and try to balance things like what? Yeah, that's like, you that's don't the one thing that bothers me. Yeah. If you don't have anything, just fold it. Yeah. Ben, you got what you wanted. There's another entry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
I like to be in a 40. Glad I can help. 40, 40 is fine. 40 is reasonable. I, I actually told Anthony. King Jack suited director, I say, for John. To 40, I, say. <laughs> I was yeah, taking good, good, right good, good case. Isaac will defend his button. The over under at 27. Obviously, it went well over. Ben certainly has a hand to mix in some three bets, and he does. Some good card removal through some strong hands. Alex Fox in behind. Two fours again. Hate seeing this action. He does lay it down. King Jack in the muck. And 10 8, quick behind. He's been making all the right moves at all the right times. Or a little bigger, I would have said. That's a big mistake. I, I was thinking about making 13 3, and then I changed my mind in the last second. I just grab a 3. If you guys are enjoying the high stakes $10,000 buy in six max tournament you are seeing in front of you, do us a favor, hit that like button, hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in on your Thursday evening. We've got Greg Potter in the booth. I am in here every Thursday. Slick Rick Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And we are wrapping up the Lodge Championship Series with some tournament streams. Feature table with Ben Wang and Alex Foxen. Doug Polk made an appearance early on. Got stacked. Fired another bullet. Got stacked again. That's a, that's a beautiful Sometimes it's the way it goes. No one always had it. Right. right. Yeah, no one. Nobody. Almost. Not, almost not reality. If someone always had it. Sure. Almost impossible. I mean, that's the, yeah. that's the, beauty that's of the biggest part of holding them that people don't realize. It's fold it. It's not. What you have, it's what you can convince people. You're, you're good. Nobody connects except Isaac. You're coming this way. Diamond draw. I like it. Let's yeah. check it back. And gets there. How about just the nuts? <laughs> That's what I'm here for. For Isaac. A lesson from the best. We, we all try to learn from the best, right? Foxen with the diamond blocker. We'll take a stab. I, I don't think we're running straight the into it. After the break, right? They gotta, yeah, they gotta all, all the way through the end. No, they got to rotate the table, though. Oh, is that what they're doing? I don't know. I'm, I, I, I'm not sure. Oh, not when they got three oh. stars on the table. Oh, okay. Because that's normal, like, like what's his poker or other streams, they, if they have future table. I got to try and poker they just low tail with the tables. I, I don't know how it's how What do I do with the nuts? I, I've never seen them do the tournament before besides I raise the, know, nuts. the final table, obviously. But I, I have no idea. I know final table is kind of like Right, right, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know. Now we have a three table. So Putting Fox into the test here. You're probably right. They're probably going to. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I mean, it's not going to bother me. Either. And it, in a way, we're going to fade it out, right? <laughs> Foxy does lay it down. We're gonna, we're gonna battle. Stepping in it just a little bit, and Isaac will drag a nice pot. All right, guys, it's not the literal nuts, but if you think King High Flush is not effectively the nuts, I don't know what to tell you. I think that most live streams do it, but I don't know how they do it here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Always keep me honest, chat. Yeah. And count on you guys.
wouldn't he's be hoping. Fair. He's Thank you so much, Chad. No, you don't me. like people seeing I you. I prefer <laughs> mainstream speed. No, that's me. I mean, Alex is different. He plays, yeah, sure plays so many of them. He's so used to it. Table. <laughs> so, like, you guys will stay on this table. And yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. This is the final table, baby. All right. But we're stuck here. We already made the final table. Yeah, we This is the final table now. Of course. Congrats, guys. You made it. Thank you. Thank you. Now it's official. Draw a date. 32? Yeah. Always 32. I know, that was... No, weird. must, no, less. Minimal. <coughs> I'll call 32. Give me a call. King, queen of diamonds for James. Sweet. Certainly good enough to put on the three bets. You were supposed to call. Talking about squeeze spots. That's true. He was about to call until you call, and then he turned to mine. Mm. <laughs> and then he says, squeeze these out. <laughs> Suit. Probably had me over a suit. No, I had a spade. Oh, okay. Then I'm good. <laughs> My cards were live. Okay. My card was live too, I think. Five for Isaac. It will be good for John. It would be some very razor thin value if he chose to bet. And he does, it seems. Grabbing chips. Look at this. Forty five hundred. Roughly one third of the pot. And he gets it. Wow. Nice bet from John. Truly getting max value. Gotta love these high stakes tournaments, man. You see plays that people just don't normally make. Just speaks to how tough this field really is. the level you have to be at to compete. I love seeing Jack getting feisty today.
see him once before. Hope those lockers are secure. <laughs> I hate not having my backpack, you know, with all yeah. my stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. I had it taken before I was like 40 seconds away. It was at my feet at a relay table at Caesars Palace. This was a couple of years ago. And I'd hit something big and I got my money and I walked off and ruined oh. it. Been weighing. This guy just will not slow down. He's making all the right moves. Getting a little lucky along the way. Certainly doesn't hurt. They, never they couldn't find him. Mm -mm. Wow. And I searched all just to It's on that three bed and gets a fold. Maybe they would take. Maybe anything valuable, and then toss the bag in the bushes or something. So I was all outside seizures. And, wow, that's yeah, tough. I was so lucky though because I normally would have wallet. Three minutes and forty yeah. seconds remaining Didn't have wallet or in this level, and then we will uh, be on a break. Just soon yeah, after, registration place. will close, and we will have those. Could have been much worse. There were winnings for you guys. I hate having, you know, my info in somebody's yeah. hands, but. As far as value, I had a big scare like that too. Where it was even worse though. I had like like six figures in a bag that yeah. I left under a, a, a um, table at a restaurant, and I got, I, did, I got all the way back to the Rio on a dinner break of a tournament before I realized. I bet you turned. Wild. Yeah, yeah. I turned around and and I got there and somehow I was still sitting there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Now that's run good. You just called? <laughs> uh, yeah, for now, yes. Everything. <laughs> Alex Foxen says, I will wager everything. I guess I call. And he is going to need some help. This must be coming. Trapping. Ben has him absolutely crushed. Deuces, though, yeah. Uh, Kicker wise, uh, though, he's still live. Premonition. Both his suits are live, Deuces <laughs> live. Like, uh, and I do we have an all-in scenario mm -hmm. from Ben Wang and Alex Fox and Ace on the board. Six. It's Ben. Or ten of hearts. Ten. <laughs> what about yeah. King in of the hearts. lead? Two hearts available. I don't like King of Hearts. That's reasonable. Part. So we That's chop ten, queen, right? Chop outs now. Queen ten. Or pair. Or jack, six. Or jack. Or king. king. Six. Deuce. I went. Oh, not that. That's not one. Oh. And that. Nice playing with you, Will be it for Alex Foxen. You look happy, bro. I am what, happy. What is wait, wait, on? wait till he leaves. Top 25 all time money list. $29 million in live turnings. Can't. Good job, Ben. <laughs> Win them all. <laughs> Do it. And he does not against the absolute steamroll run good of Ben Wang. This guy can't, can't lose. Just can't lose. Trap the best. The good game to you, Mr. Alex Foxen. If only it was a bounty tournament. <laughs> yeah. And Ben Wang continues so we to did chip up. Isaac will raise in the cutoff with nine eights. John defends in the big blind. He gets a fantastic flop for his hand. Backdoor clubs. Got to go with it and an over. Probably the last hand. Maybe not. Isaac will make a bet. Call or raise both on the table for John. He will make the call. Ace high still good enough, um, often enough. Uh, and what a turn card. Proves to a pair with okay. sure. the nut flush redraw. Yeah, because probably the stream looks weird if like only two people want <laughs> to sit on a table or something. Uh, well, I'm in, the, I'm in the middle of the hand, yeah. But the yeah. two guys who aren't in the hand want to know if they can leave or if they go. Yeah, you guys can get up. Okay. Do we leave the mics here? Or? Um, if anything, don't help you because that's off the mic. So okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, sorry. That is six. Okay. He will lead yeah. on this turn card. Very reasonable lead. You 
And he will win as Isaac will lay it down. And I do believe that it's the last hand we have for you folks before our break. These players will be on break for 15 minutes. Thank you guys for tuning in. There's a chip count for you real quick. We will probably shuffle these players around depending on how many are left. Four currently been weighing 233 big blinds. Absolutely running over the game right now. James sitting at 100. Isaac, 95 big blinds. John, 58. Still plenty of poker to be played. Still 15 runners remaining in this $10,000 six max high stakes poker tournaments. All a part of the Lodge Championship Series. While we are on break, we're going to run some highlight hands for you guys to enjoy in the meantime. He's taking the whole bet. I would have to honor it. I would have to honor it. What is it? It's so silly. What is it? Four. What time is it? This is my last hand, boys and girls. This is it. Last hand for Bill. They're like, oh, he was raising no matter what. We're going to owe you 2K, and then we'll just settle it afterwards. Yeah. Last hand. Uh oh. Wait, we might have a fast. Uh, someone system. will pay on our. Yeah, yeah. I'll just, I'll just leave the chips here. I'll take care of it. He'll take care of it. What's Doug up? is in charge of my. The three three hands, hands with the pocket tents. I appreciate it. In fact, there's only one person. <laughs> <laughs> 17. 17? Got the fucking neck game wrong. You didn't even ask for a discount. Back no. over to Alex, the British Bulldog. Oh, that's true, that's true, that's true, that's true. Oh, Jesus. That's true. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Lays it down. Come <laughs> 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 no, I mean, it's obvious you're folding. You're never calling after. I was not, I was not gonna call, I was such. not gonna call, I was not gonna call. 20. 40. There's the raise from Bill. <laughs> Can we title this YouTube clip of Bill's hands? Bill's got a plane to catch. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to the turn. 117,000 in the pot. Okay. Check mark for hands. Forty thousand. <laughs> Dude, defensive player of the year. Oh my God. I, Bill goes all really in. Matter. I have a plane to catch, and that's more important because my wife will be fucking pissed. So whatever happens, happens. <laughs> what? All right, I'll take care of it. Okay, I got you. Thanks. Right. Bill is leaving <laughs> after going <laughs> all in. Okay, thank you. Should so so give a discount or no? Can't yeah, do it three whatever, whatever Doug says. Doug can do whatever. I don't know. Doug can do whatever. I'll get, uh, your, I'll get your number I'm, from Doug. I'm gonna just let that stand. Okay, guys. All right. Thanks. I don't feel comfortable offering a discount on whatever the hell happened over here. So. <laughs> oh. But, uh, Bill left the life. building. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get you the contest. Has a plane to catch. Anyway, bet stands. I'm not offering a discount on whatever the hell. I think one K. One K off. You want one K back? All right. I'll tell you what. You can get one K back on this. So it's one K off. That's a good point, Dan. <laughs> and Hans is left with a decision. This call will pass you can't get a read however, however, <laughs> on. However, that one K has to be in $5 chips. So we're going to go get you two racks of red, and you got to play with it for the rest of the session. <laughs> 1K discount. Just good marketing. Are you kidding me? That was like, that was a hell of a performance. <laughs> like, you leave on this note? I can't believe you've resisted temptation not to have a look. It's I don't want to. This is gonna be a good thumbnail. This is scary. <laughs> well, like, what if he tries to counter negotiate? I know the cards. I don't want. I don't want that. Yeah, yeah, I don't for the best, no, yeah. we have to just leave it. Two racks of red back. But regardless of outcome, I think we have to see. We have to see it. This is it. Well, Hans doesn't know what to think. Yeah. yeah. I will. I will turn it over regardless of action here because yeah. it's gonna eventually be. Yeah. Also, because it'd be funny. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's the main point. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. When you said, I mean, yeah, this is. It's hard to get a read on that guy, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he looks, he doesn't look nervous. What are you thinking? I mean, you don't have to worry about any tells here. <laughs> yeah, you can show, you every, you can show everyone what you, you have. have. Yeah, you can. 
right. Okay, that's easy. Hand shows everybody what he has. Imagine if he was slow rolling. <laughs> <laughs> That would be the best soul of history. Bill is watching in chat right now on the delay. He does not know what happened. It's hard to think of that in the moment, though, but it'd be so good. You have to catch an airplane. Goes all in and leaves the building. I'm okay, thanks, Sam. Actually, okay, right? You're allergic to peanuts? Trina. Oh, it's the bathroom. Trina. Which ones are the Trina? Oh, everything but peanuts. Oh, this well, hand. Right oh, it's a big hand. It's a lagoon. It's a big hand. Big hand. That small raise on the flop did seem like maybe top hair or something. What was the turn action? I do have 200k back. Check, check. Yeah. Turn was checked in. You're going to trigger a case for a reload right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would change the negotiations. What's up? We have to renegotiate. Yeah. We want to pick that guy. Bill Perkins in chat says it's so suspenseful. Wow. So, worst case, you'll have to pay in $10. Never seen no. anything like this, folks. This one came back. <clears throat> in red, in red. If all is wrong, you have one K back in two, two after one. And it'll live on for the rest of the three. I think I might go with it. I am not envious of the position that you're in right now. <laughs> Yeah, one more minute. You have, Doug, you haven't seen his hand, have you? No. I'm actually really happy I didn't because this would be way more tense for me if I knew his hand. Yeah, it, it is be. really tense. <laughs> Dude, look at this moment right now. Yeah. This is like up there for, for like all time stream moments. He he jammed two hundred or a hundred whatever over a river bet and just left town. <laughs> <laughs> He's like in another city. Well, right He's like, I don't have time for this shit. Hans is laughing at that I'm comment. Then he asked us or before Are you gonna still be running it at three thirty AM? I love playing poker with Bill. <laughs> Lays it down! Uh, and uh, Bill Perkins! Uh, uh, from the Austin uh, airport! No, that's not, that's not a good thing. Well, 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 does Bill, anyone want to take bets on this card? Holy shit. Ooh, I've got four. Four or five. I've got four or five. I got four bluff, too. I got bluff. I got it's, bluff. A, it's a four or five. You got value? Four or five. We can go small if you want. Who wants to bet it's a four or five? Like even odds. No, I like four. All right, we got. You think it's a four or five? We got five hundred. I have one sheet. I'll bet against for two k. Anything except the four or five. Yeah. Let's bet one k. Yeah. All right, ready? Everyone knows. I think it's a six of spades. I guess if it's a nine, it's a. And Phil Perkins. Something we've never seen before. I don't think we'll ever see again. A man goes all in, leaves the building, and finds out from the Austin airport that he just won. He would say, I'm jacking off. And Hans is distraught at the bar. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my. That's, uh, that's some balls there. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Got okay, Doug got cannot beauty. believe it. Game's over. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the mic. <laughs> Bill Perkins. And there you have it, guys. Absolutely ridiculous clip involving Bill Perkins. Who, if you guys have not seen it, please go check it out. It just gives you a peek into what kind of madness 
happens here at the Lodge in these cash games, man. Bill Perkins an absolute legend for this hand. Shoves all in. And then it leaves the state. Can't think of another instance in poker that has been recorded where something like that has happened. Bill Perkins, the man, in fact, also has added $50,000 to our ladies tournament coming up here on the 15th if you're a woman in poker please come out to the lodge and play this tournament it's a $500 buy-in with an additional $50,000 added to the prize pool what more could you ask for that is an outrageous donation from Bill Perkins the man you just saw in that clip going to women in poker what a guy what a guy. We do have just a few more minutes here on our break. And, oh, and of course, I did see someone in chat say, did Bill get settled from this hand? Yes, he did. And in fact, he didn't even know the results of it until 30 minutes later when it showed up on the live stream feed. And he was watching from the airport. He did not even know if he got called or not. And he trusted Doug to settle up for him, and he did. Absolute legend. And we're happy to have him anytime he wants to come down to the Lodge to play, as should you guys. And if you do want to come play on the Lodge live stream, hit up Skull Mike. Hit him up on Instagram or Twitter at Skull Mike Poker or email him, Skull Mike at the Lodge Poker Club dot com. There will be a short questionnaire that you fill out. Give us a little background information on your history in poker. Helps out the commentators. That's who you got to talk to if you guys do want to come play the Lodge live stream. We have cash games typically Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Bigger games on Saturday and Sunday. Usually 510 or roughly the equivalent of a 1020 on Thursday, Friday. So if you are interested, go ahead and hit up Skull Mike. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this feature table. Of the uh, High Roller 6 Max buy-in a $10,000 entry fee. We will have payouts listed for you shortly. The top four players will receive payouts. And very quickly, we will get back into the action. I do believe... Both Doug Polk and Alex Foxen have rebots into the tournament once again. Two bullets for Foxen, upwards, at least three bullets for Doug, upwards of 10. You never know. You never know with Doug. But they are back in the mix, and hopefully we'll see them on the fe feature table once again. And while we do have just a minute left, I want to hear from our most recent sponsor, real quick, WPT Global. WPT Global is your destination for big Sunday tournaments. You'll find tournament buy-ins at all levels and huge guarantees. Head over to WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code LODGE and your first $110 Sunday Slam ticket is free. There's the chip counts for you once again as we come back from our break. Registration is now closed. Bin Wang still leading this feature table at 152 big blinds. New addition to the table, Brandon, coming in at 33. Everyone else in between. Still plenty of poker left to be played. And we're going to get back into the action. One, two, and two, and I said yes, ma'am. And the run continues for Bin Wang. 
sits back down, picks up two nines. <coughs> Blinds now 1,000, 2,000 with a 2,000 big blind ante. John, ace queen offsuits. Certainly going to be putting in a three bets. Yeah, like 80. James with two fives. Does let it go, wisely so. There's the all-in for Bin. It is a rough spot here for John. Ace Queen does not love facing this action. How good has Bin been running? Registration is now closed. You cannot rebuy, John. Do you want to risk your tournament life right now? He does not. He does lay it down and bin. Takes down a big pot with no flop. Absolutely. Absolutely. I want it to be bin. <laughs> oh, you want to do two or just one? Whatever. And chat, you are correct. Both Doug and Alex Foxen. Bought back in just before registration closed for what I believe is Doug's third bullets, Foxen's seconds. They are still in the mix. They are not on our feature table. But we have two other tables running out on the floor just outside this room. And they're in there. Brandon, ace-queen suited. Sitting out on a 40,000 chip stack. Raise. Even 20 big blinds. But John, right next door, two queens. Gonna put on the three bets. Brandon, stack's already getting very short. John's three bet size was pretty healthy. Does he want to play for all of its, the ace queen? Or just call and see a flop? There's the all in. And a snap call from John. Brandon needs to see an ace, some spades. Maybe some Broadway cards. We're going to run this out. This will determine Brandon's tournament's life. John does have him covered. No help on the flop. Spade on the turn gives Brandon a lot more outs. But he does not get there. John's two queens will hold up. And Brandon just got to the feature table and is quickly eliminated. Good run, Brandon. 
had ace queen. I know it was a good Not really sure what else you can do there. I had a best hand. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So and two queens will there, hold up for Mr. John. Because ace king is going to call for sure. Ace queen is jack. Maybe, maybe ace. Where do you guys find these hands? I know. <laughs> Four handed. Dude, last time I was playing it, now it's fine. It was crazy. I folded a pair between you. I, I definitely had a better pair. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I 1,000% believe it. I, I, <laughs> if you have a better pair than mine, I don't think you're going to fold. Exactly. That's, <laughs> oh. Let's put it that way. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have to land on this live stream. You, can, you guys can find out. Find out. Oh, I have an ace five. No, I don't have that. <laughs> no, I, I mean, yeah, you can see. Like, <laughs> I folded a pair of fives. Do you normally lie if you're not on a stream? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes I will be, be honest. But, but most of the time, I just rather not talk not to him. Chris, you make a good point. That is yeah, you know what? terrible timing right when registration closes. You say, or like sucks to bust away. immediately after the fact. Because we all know when you fold it, you're one of As you have no opportunities to re-enter. I mean, 100% to leave you one of them anyway, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You must concede and go home. But yes, I... Yeah, like a sound, two sound big spot, big hand. I want just not. Let's take a look at the <laughs> payouts. The prize pool, $376,000. 40 entrants, $10,000 a piece. Up top, we have $176,720. Not a bad day. Certainly. Second place, 101520 Third place, 60160 Fourth place, 37,600. We are only playing out the top four players for the Six Max tournaments. As we see, tournament director Anthony Chester coming in with someone's chips. We will find out whose quite shortly as they readjust the tables, make them a little bit more even as we are now down to 16 runners. Some chip counts for you once again. I don't think so. Ben Wang, well, I guess that would still be leading the field. James <laughs> at 59 big blinds. Isaac 53. John, D1. And I believe I saw Ram at 23 or so. I'm like, I, I thought the car is no, no, no. the line. 20 big blinds is plenty indeed, Mr. Dart. They're, they're bringing us a big blind. <laughs> Certainly chip in a chair. I thought, material. I thought I had a car from last hand. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> still had a car. <laughs> Someone says the dealer is a superstar. Jess is top of the game. There's a reason she is dealing our feature tables on our live stream. Deals the cash games as well. Thank you. Our stream dealers were selected by Doug and other members of management, including Joseph Strazera and Anthony Chester, to give you guys the best dealer experience when you come play on the Lodge live stream as we get a shot of the Lodge. Over on the tournament side, while the $2 million guaranteed Watch Championship Series main events is going on. That one right there, $3,000 buy-in tournaments going on from the 10th to the 16th. Last year, top prize was $375,000. If you guys want a piece, you got plenty of time. Let's come get one. Come on down to the lodge, play the championship series, main events. Where do you have to put the cards or something? Just, yeah, so, and it's just in the square. As long as it's close by it. Put it in the square. There's a lot of people indeed, Mr. Valori. The lodge is packed to the brim right now. Has been for the entire last three weeks. Can't get enough of this place as Bin Wang continues to get ace-queen. Can't get enough of them Broadway cards. He will put on the three bets. Welcome to the feature table, Aram. Ace-deuce, quick fold with Isaac to follow and Bin will collect four big blinds without a fight. One hand? Who was one hand? 
Who was it? Oh, uh, 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 Brendan Wilson. Oh, uh, one hand. Yeah, uh, Ace Queen versus Queens. What? It's not Valerie? <laughs> I'm sure you get that a lot. You guys are gambling. I'm just waiting for aces. I had ace dudes, so I was all in. I was, I was laughing my ass off in here. Once again, thank you guys for tuning in on this Thursday evening. You got Greg Potter in the booth commentating this feature table. We lost a few of you at the break, but I know they'll be back. Can't get away from the lodge. Live stream. We have 1,300 of you tuning in. Do us a favor. If you are enjoying the content in front of you, and even if you're not, hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Helps out the channel. And it costs you absolutely nothing. Ram hits his five. We will check it. John will quickly check it back. Five will hold up. Only had to fade a seven. Does check it once again. John can't win with ten high. It's out of three thousand dollar. Excuse me, 3,000 chip bets. And Aram not going anywhere. We'll take it down with the five, inducing his opponent into a bluff. You guys can see they're in the back. 16 players remaining. When we get down to 12, we will do a redraw for this feature table. Jack 5 suited for a ROM. He will raise his button. James will defend the threes. Five once again for a ROM. Rumble bets one big blind. James will call. Excuse me. He will, in fact, raise. To 6,500, Rom going nowhere. Queen on the turn. Not a good card for James. I do believe he was just looking for a little protection, a little equity denial for his threes. He did not get it. Goes check, check. Two pair now for Aram. Checked already. James checked already.
Value from Aram and James has already found the muck. Welcome to the feature table, sir. Sit down, win two hands, chip up, easy game. As we will have yet another dealer swap. Miss Jess done an excellent job thus far. We will get Clayton, the tallest dealer alive, back in the box. Welcome back to the Lodge live streams. Clayton, he was a regular on our old setup. We brought him back. How could we not, after all? Take a look again at those payouts. First place, $176,720. Not a bad day at the office. Second, 101,000. Third, 60,000. Fourth, 37 and some change. Got to fade quite a lot to finish in the top four, even in a field as small as this. This field is exceptionally tough as it is a high stakes six max tournament. Once again, you guys have Greg Potter here in the booth. Doing commentary for you here every Thursday now at the Lodge. Slick Rick on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Skull Mike popping in as he pleases. Three for Isaac. Open ended for John. Bet Nicole. And wow, look at this. Isaac turns trips. Certainly a good hand. Will John continue barreling? Isaac has plenty of threes in his range. And he's got plenty of other hands as well. John will try and get those to fold. I'd really love to see a four if this goes to the river. There's the raise. I don't think we're going to see a river. John lays it down. Certainly a pertinent fold. And Isaac will chip up. This is another shot of our beautiful live stream studio. And a chip count for you. 102 big blinds. In the stack of Bin Wang. 60 for Isaac, 53 James, less for John Laram. Two nines now. Five raises, 
We'll raise it up. Sevens for James. True to the flop, pair versus pair here. Not the flop either player was looking for. Jen, I do believe there are 16 players remaining. Registration is closed. Doug and Alex Fox in both rebots. I do not know if they are still in. They're not at this feature table. James gets a bet at sevens and gets a rom to fold to the better hands. Certainly a good result. Blinds are 1,000, 2,000 with a 2,000 big blind ante. Average stack right at 100,000. Total prize pool, $376,000 for a 10K buy-in six max high roller tournament at the lodge. Ben Wang will put in the call with the 7-4 offsuits. Aram's got him. Dominated. We'll check it. Ben Hout flops around by a mile. We'll go check, check. Deuce on the turn. Changes nothing. Ben will bet for a little bit of value and protection for his seven. Rob going nowhere. Thinks his ace high could still be good often enough. And it certainly is with that river card. Small bet from Bin. Potentially a blocker type bet. Does not want to check and face a large polar bet from around. Rom will carve out raising chips, puts it in, going for value. 
rivering top pair. Razor thin. Been now in an absolutely miserable spot. Will most likely find a fold, but you never know. Eric, Doug Polk, and Alex Foxen did bust the feature table, but I do believe they are still in the game. They rebought just before registration closed. Ben will lay it down. And Rob does not get the value he was hoping for. And Rob, I don't believe, has lost a hand since sitting down at the feature table. Has maybe absorbed... Some of Ben's run good. He is sitting right next to him. You are very welcome, Eric. Happy to be here. Greg Potter, doing commentary for you guys. John with ace four of diamonds. Certainly a three bettable hand. And there it is. We'll get the job done. What book is the game host reading? That is actually a great question. Safi, Mickey, and Jordan all have a stack of books that they have been burning through. There's a lot of dead time on these live streams for the game hostess, at least every now and then. Plenty of time to catch up on a good book. I think we could all stand to do that more often. Ace Queen offsuits for Aram. Nice table change, sir. Sometimes that's all it takes to catch a good run of cards. Double checks the blinds, and we'll raise it. John's got something now. Little little something. Ace Queen. We'll just call Ben's under the gun open. James, however, out of position. Ace Jack. He's gonna put on the squeeze. Thirteen thousand. Nine eight, of course, in the muck. John. Not a trivial decision. It is hard to imagine him folding, though. In position. Isaac, Big ace. Are you related to Joe Biden? Am I related to him? Yeah. Or like your family is like friends with him or something? I don't think I'm related to him, unless you go back pretty far back. Are your family friends with him or something? Yeah, I mean, I've met the guy a few times. You met him a few times. That was before he was president. I haven't met him recently because now he's like a big shot. Well, you wouldn't be meeting him again. You would just be seeing him again. Yeah, I haven't seen him. I've seen him recently on the television. Have you seen your old friend Joe Biden? <laughs> I haven't seen him in person, not recently. 
Was he like a friend of your family? He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's John thinking over. He does lay it down. He used to come to your house and stuff. He's Queen and James. I mean, we it's a little bit of aggression. Not all the time. I mean, we'll chip yeah, up. That's pretty cool. It's a small state, you know. A lot of people know each other. <laughs> I think it's that small. What state? Delaware. You don't know what state? No, I actually don't. <laughs> I don't know what state you're from or where he's from. Delaware, the great, the first state. Delaware. Okay, yeah, I, I wouldn't know what state the president. You were the from. first state. I'll tell you one thing, though. I'm proud of him. Yeah, I heard. I didn't. Big fan of Joe. I, I never thought he'd make it this far. But here we are. He used to be Joe Schmo. Look at him now. I mean, he was a pretty big deal back then, also. He was a senator. But, you know, president's like a lot better than a senator. Yeah, the president. At least you can, like, maybe you can do something really illegal. That ain't suited for James. <laughs> oh, he's a good That man. did just get word. He doesn't play favorites. From a little bird that Andrew Nimi bagged for day two of the Lodge Championship Tournament. He did. I Main event. No, but like he was supposed to pardon. Like, Congratulations to him. I don't think he did at the end. Just Morning the flights wrapped, wrapped up, I believe. 8 p.m. That's a long flight. Music industry, but I don't know if it was a rapper or not. Oh, look at this. Bin Wang, though. Like Queen time. five. I, I remember what you were talking about. I don't remember who it was. Do you guys know who it was? No. Well, we can ask for Dr. Maybe. Playing aggressively, James. Not backing down, though. And Ben is rewarded. What in the world? What kind of water does this guy drink? Because I kind of want some. Got a lucky rabbit's foot in his pockets. Might have to confiscate that, sir. Because it's just out flopping everyone. Two pair. Not much going on for James, though. He does lay it down. He's queen for John. Don't think he's folding it this time. You gotta look at him too, you know. You don't just play for him. You gotta look at him. Before you raise, I messed up. Four thousand. You have twelve orange hands. Thank you. Bin, not taking his foot off the gas. Well, maybe he should ease off a little bit. Does put on the three bets, 9-4 suited. Certainly better than calling. Well, John Foley's queen again. In position. The call stacks will be incredibly shallow. Wow, he lays it down! <laughs> what a fold! <laughs> Ace Queen Bin! What kind of run good are you getting right now? People just folding Ace Queen to you. And look at that! Brad Owens here. Didn't even know it. You know, I'm starting to doubt He's in the main event. But it seems like it happens. Chopping it up. We had this last time. We're gonna see it anyways. Last With his fellow poker players. Uh, uh, Great shots, from Mr. Bradley Owen there. Is he, Welcome, which is back to Texas. Or a nice which is better? 
I have better suited cards than you, for sure. I don't think so. I feel like his definition of a good hand might be different than ours. This might be the problem. He always has it. Yeah. Well, you're, you're Ben's always got it. But frankly, it doesn't matter if you fold to him. Like old man, like your, your old man Joe. <laughs> I probably kind of like a second or third nut. When you, uh, when, when, oh, when you, you call my What are you going to flop this hand? <laughs> I don't know. If you will continue I had that. to put oh, chips in the pots. You I said maybe he's off the gas, but pedal to the metal, sir. That's bad. I just, I just told Alex. John not folding a suited queen. Out of position. Got to make a stand sometime. Not going up. Not much going on for both players. Queen high, still the best hand. He is on a heater. It's on a heater. He's been on a heater. That comment could have said the same thing. Two hours ago, and it would be true. There's another shot of Brad Owen. Give this guy all the camera time he can get. I only play different. I don't play like today. <laughs> As we are deep into the evening, what I believe is the evening flight, the 5 p.m. flight. I'm still going to study it, man. For the main event. Law Championship Series, as we saw tables right next to it from the early flights bagging up. Yeah. There's nothing to study. I have aces. The board probably is going to look good. I'm looking to expand. I'm looking to mix it up once in a while. You're Two sevens you're for a rom. Like One thousand times better than meeting Pali in Omaha. Oh. Good thing you, see, you, you see how I played that one? Five, five, five six, ten, three, three diamonds, and just three bet and get it in with the first chip leader you, when just money <laughs> approaching. What, what kind of moves? You almost hit, man. That's the sick part. I, I know. I don't know what to do. I, I, I know he's open line. I don't know what to do. I just don't want, to, don't want him to run over the table, I guess. I just, <laughs> but with a bad hand, though. <laughs> James will defend the 10-7. A little better hand. <laughs> good and a 7 the with a 10 behind it. So even if you're bad at Pot Lemon Omaha, that was only one. How much better of a flop could we have asked for? I never do good in the Pot Lemon Omaha. Not even Pot. Any, any Omaha. Bottom two pair versus bottom set. I never do good. Rom yeah, does not no have James it's, covered. It's, 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 it's too much di different than the no limit. It's, it's what an absolute cooler. Yeah, two more two cards. Much, yeah, two more, two more possibility. Too much possibility. <laughs> two cards too many. Too crazy. Oh, oh yeah, 100%. When I was much younger, when I was like 10 years younger, I played cash game, part of the one like crazy. I don't know what to do. I just surprise, almost played like 95 big pips, I think. It's just, <laughs> yeah, just part, of big, part of it with any four cards. Ron bets James example. snap raises to 11,500. Dead Award, by the way. I've heard of I have a good friend from Dead Award named Sing Lee. His parents own a Chinese restaurant at years back, but I think they, they left it. Sing, Sing Lee, XL, he, he probably like five or Hard to do anything wrong with this hand he, other he, than he fold. He's like a little over 39. How do you spell the first name? X I N. I've seen people do it though. Yeah, yeah, I don't think, but he's leave quite a different. You just have to have pocket tents. He, uh, he was, uh, he graduated from college public. We're in an interesting stack depth. So he's way too long ago. Because you say you, you almost know each other in that small state, so that, that's why I bring him yeah. up. Uh, that's why I bring him up. A jam would be rather large. That's yeah. for sure. It's one Facing of this race. Like a, like a same age around, so you might know him, but he, he he's much older than you, so. Uh, I don't know everybody. You know, yeah, but, but you know a lot. Like a, a state is still pretty big. Yeah. Even, even if it's. I know. I've, the I've been there a couple of times. Yeah, uh, I, I go there. Stop, stop Rob makes the call. James will sit up a little bit. Knows he's about to play a very large pot. That king might slow him down, but I just don't see him getting away. Because I'm I'm from Philly, so not too far from me. Yeah, you just drive on over. Yeah. Healthy bets. Looks like a jam. And a snap call. Oh. Not over. James drawing incredibly thin. It could come out a king of hearts. That would be a real bad beat. I'll take that over a 10. King of hearts. Where is the king of hearts? I'm saying it could <laughs> come on the river. Yeah. Good. 
And Aram will double clean through James. James was sitting on a healthy chip stack, now down. <laughs> two, two more people. It says 14 oh, okay. over there. Okay. I see it says 12. Okay. That's when they'll do the... Okay. We will do a redraw for the tables here shortly, once we are down to 12 runners. So we will probably have a short intermission. Currently, I believe there are 14. Because when the 8 declare left, the 8... As we are seeing the early flights wrapping up, bagging up, getting ready for day two. Pace much faster pace than the table before. This tournament's going to go into like 5 a.m. This one or the one on the floor? Both have potential, I'm sure. Rom will continue raising. Isaac will, of course, make the call. Could three bet sometimes. I do like just to call here and is rewarded Check. with an ace. Hammer lock on this hand. Rom has dust. And not much you can do about that last hand. Bottom two over bottom sets. The money's probably getting in. Rob double checking the blinds once again. He's looking for when he looks back at the clock in the middle of every hand. How many minutes left or how many players left? 45. Isaac will put on the check raise. Well, Single race pot, certainly. <laughs> I don't know. He's oh, I'm sorry. He did just call. And Binks, two pair on the turn. Will Aram continue to barrel? on this run out. Thinks better of it. And a 10 on the end. Isaac is now counterfeits. Small value from Isaac. Rob flicks it in with King High. And Isaac will take a piece off of Rom. First misstep so far. Yeah. Good river for him. Oh, yeah. Might on some other rivers. There's a chip count for you guys. Updated James sitting with 12 big blinds. Hanging on. Yeah. Chip in a chair, folks. Bin Wang 87 as the big blinds get larger, but he is still incredibly deep. That makes sense. At this yeah, point in the tournament. But now I have like five more questions. I don't like the light. In it is very nice when you cover the entire table. No one can bust you. I don't like to hear that. <laughs> no, you don't. The, one of the, the first question that came to my mind was you couldn't just look at the pot? But hey, play your hand, buddy. And you want to say you're speaking speech like right. kind of like Joe Biden. Raises like a speed. You're, you're speaking speed. My speaking speed is kind maybe, of like Joe Maybe Biden. you guys are from the same state. 
people. No, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm not teasing. I'm just curious. We are from the same state. I'm not sure if that means that we speak that the same. No, by, by the way, I, I didn't hear a lot. Oh, this is a race? I'm going to vote. I mean, I yeah. guess we have the same accent if we're from the same area. Yeah, that, that was 100%. But I'm not 100%. sure. Rum will take this one down, getting just a little bit back. Maybe with that's the accent. at the moment when, when you when you're talking to him, you can feel like you're... But I, I like it. I like it. I love it. I, hey, I, I like I, I like you too, I, man. I, I don't... I'm not native English speaker for sure, so I, I, I'm, I'm st Once again, I'm just really so you guys are aware, those are the chipped yeah, nominations in the Six Max tournament. Black chip on the left, 100. Purple, 500. Yellow, 1,000. Orange, 5,000. And Ben certainly does have quite a lot of orange. Deuces for Isaac. Ten three, not good enough to defend the big blind. We will fold. Christian six max means that there's a maximum of six players at each table. It is not a full ring, nine-handed game as a lot of tournaments are standard. It is a different format, so you get to play a little bit more hands. Not a bad hand. Yeah, not a good hand. Not a real good hand. Way better than six. A lot of high six pros prefer the six max formats. I didn't feel it. Get to battle like right. a little bit more. I kind of had to tell. Nine-handed, you are subject to a little less control, <laughs> having to get through more players. Bold. That's like, unbelievable. He just has 5K, but this time he's... A lot less multi-way action. It seems a little off. Well, the thing is, I wanted to use a single chip in the 6-max. But I wanted to make sure it was interpreted as a race, so I had to say it out loud. You could have said, but like lately you, you say the number, but this time you said race. Oh. Usually you say 5K. Cat, you say, if, you say, 4K. if you say race, I might So, so you read that as strong. Way. You thought that was a strong yeah. hand. I think you had a really good hand, man. Well, <laughs> how good is really good? Because I need to know if your read is good or not. <laughs> like you wouldn't mind if I popped you. You would have like played yeah. if I popped it. Man, I think your reads might be bad. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Another shot yeah, we'll see. Well, we'll of the lodge. Corner we the haven't lodge. seen yet. So there is the PLO 1-3 and 2-5 games over near the cage. So you had it, like, King Deuce nice shots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, While the table's there, Anastasia out there dealing, I believe I saw. See, I didn't have to say it that time. I used Once again, this is Greg Potter doing the commentary. Someone in the chat asked. I don't want to comment on your hand in the middle of the hand. I appreciate that. But I think... Isaac with ace-king suited. <laughs> Going to raise it up. Hold it for the very end. Die, ben die, die, just die. flats the ace-10. Ace I kind of wanted to play oh, against players left. Giannis. Now I'm stuck with you. We are heads up. Oh, don't bust me here. you got to want some more people down. This could get interesting. Watch out for uh, the anal beat. Top, top for Isaac. Gutter to the nuts. That's, that's what, that Doug made a video about it. For Ben. You should Google it, actually. Have you seen it? Did you guys see Slick Rick in that? I didn't see him. I didn't catch him, but I'm sure he's Have out there. It? I'm sure he's around. Can't get away from the lodge, this guy. The video? Have you seen the anal beat video, Dylan? Ben will put in the call, so missing a bet from Isaac. Reasonable enough. <laughs> no help on the turn. Isaac, slight 
over bet. Setting up for a pot sized jam on the river if called. Wow, Ben is not backing down. Needs help in the form of a queen. Does not get it. The draw is bricked. Isaac has top, top. Gamble. Isaac announces gamble with top pair, top kicker. He will gamble it all. Ninety-two. That's ninety-two. I was right the first time. What's the total again? Ninety-two. Sixty. Ninety-two. <laughs> Isaac did actually not shove all in. I believe he, whether by mistake or not, left. A purple chip behind. Darren asks, will we play down to the final table tonight? This is a one-day tournament. We will play all the way down to the winner tonight on the Lodge live stream. We will be here as long as it takes. I will be in the booth the entire time. As Ben oh, makes the fold. I think you got a uh, King Jack over there. That would be my read. Would certainly be an ambitious bluff yeah, catch. Medium strong hand. Not to say it couldn't be correct like sometimes. Medium strong pre. Hopefully. But that is the first all in we have seen from Isaac. It didn't say anything. Yeah, King Jack suited. King Jack was t two pairs. On that board, yeah, that was a good one on that one. That, was, that would be my guess, King Jack. Yeah, maybe off suit. Probably off suit. I'll the 3,500. I'm going to find out. So I had Jack pool. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. And I do believe we are down to 12. We will be taking a break, pausing the clock to reshuffle the players as Anthony, our tournament director, will get in there and give these players their new seat assignments. There's the payouts for you guys once again. 40 entrants, $10,000 apiece. Total prize pool, $376,000. First place, $176,000. Second, $101,000. Third, sixty, dollars And fourth, paying $37,000 and some change as we will get these players resituated. And while we get this settled, let's hear from our sponsor, WPT Global. WPT Global is your destination for big Sunday tournaments. You'll find tournament buy-ins at all levels and huge guarantees. Head over to WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code LODGE and your first $110 Sunday Slam ticket is free. Once again, I wanted to thank everybody for tuning in to the Lodge live stream. As we get a shot of our resident dinosaur overlooking all of the cash games. We hit that up there when we installed these cameras and it has not been found yet. Great shot over the one, three, two, five and PLO cash game tables. Look at all that money. If you didn't think there was action here in Texas, you were wrong. Dozens of games every day, especially during the Lodge Championship Series. So if tournaments are your thing, you can always still find cash games every day as we see Miss Jess 
dealing out on the floor as well, hopping into the feature tournament table, back onto the floor to be a part of the action. And just as a reminder, we do have day one flights for our $3,000 buy-in, $2 million guaranteed main events for the Lost Championship Series going on from the 10th to the 16th. Last year, Elaine Bauer won roughly $375,000 for first place. I think it's probably going to be much more this time around. So if you guys are interested, come on down to the lodge. Try your hand at the Championship Series main event. As I said, we are down to the final 12 players out of 40. I did get word that unfortunately, both Doug Polk and Alex Foxen did not make the cut into the top 12. They certainly had a good run. We will pay out the top four runners, $176,000 up top. Not a bad day of poker. We are running a feature table here on the Lodge live stream. If you want to play on the Lodge live stream, just come play the tournaments and make the feature tables. We will be doing tournament streams all weekend until the end of the Lodge Championship Series, to my knowledge. So if you do want to play on the Lodge live stream, just come in, run good, hit a feature table. But if not, you can hit up Skull Mike. If you guys are more interested in the cash game side of the Lodge live stream, Hit him up on Instagram or Twitter at Skull Mike Poker or email Skull Mike at LodgePokerClub.com. Fill out that questionnaire and he will hook you up. We are always as accommodating as we can be, trying to get as many different people in and out of the live stream. If you guys want to come play, let Scully know. Did I see Joe Strazera in the chat, or am I seeing things? There he is. Just checking in on Chatsville. Ramirez, I do believe Alex Foxen, top 25 all-time money list, $29 million, five tournaments earnings, did not make the top 12 of this tournament. Certainly not for a lack of trying. And I do believe there's some question about what happens when we get down to the final two tables. I do believe until we are down to the final seven, we will have still two tables running. Confirmed by the man himself, General Manager Joe Strazera. Lovingly referred to as Poobah. Self-designated, 100%. He loves that nickname. Crypto King, just tuning in. We're going to watch some poker. Absolutely, we are reshuffling the tables right now. As we have come down to the, to the final 12 of this six max tournament, everyone redraws for new seats for these final two tables once we get down to 12 players. And that is what is happening right now. Tournament director Anthony Chester taking care of it.
You'll come around eventually, Joe. Everyone else has. Well, we've got a minute. I also want to plug the Mega Monster Million Dollar Guaranteed Tournaments coming up here August 3rd through the 14th. Massive tournament. This is a ridiculous tournament. I've never heard of a million dollar guarantee for a $400 buy-in. That is some value right there. First place will be over a quarter million dollars. That's insane. That's insanity. I've never heard of another tournament like that. Certainly not one in the state of Texas. And it's all happening right here, Round Rock, Texas, at the Lodge. And just like that, we are back. Movie magic. Suddenly six players at the table, all in different seats. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and we are going to get back into the action. Twelve players remaining. Once again, here are the chip denominations for you guys before we get back into it. Oh, 100 chip black chips, 500 purples. 1,000 yellows and 5,000 orange. Okay. Yes, that is the amount I arrived at. Welcome to the feature table, Mr. Connor. Ace Jack suited here in the hijack. Certainly a welcome, welcome. Ace Queen, though, for a ROM. Maybe not so welcome of a welcome as he thought. So quiet in here. <laughs> Certainly a three bet incoming. But what do I know? Just a call. John will come along in the big blinds, hoping to bring something. Yeah. This could be a big pot. That flush draw for Connor, top pair, best kicker for Aram. How's Aram going to play this? Does he want to raise now? I think he does. 26,000 is the number. Connor, of course, drawing to the nuts two different ways. Can't fold yet.
makes the call. We'll take this heads up to the turn. Pure flip on the flop. And a jack. Giving Connor some showdown. Complete some draws. Could slow Rom down. Though SPR is very low at this point. And the diamond, there it is for Connor. It is a welcome, welcome indeed. Nut flush, and yes, the nut flush. Versus top pair. Top kicker. Healthy bets, confident bets from Connor. Tune of two thirds pots. Rom. Honestly can't be loving it, though I don't see how he can fold. He's still ahead of all the king queens of the world. Queen nines and some bluffs. Ace of diamonds, X bluffs. Doing a little inventory real quick. Also worth noting, Aram is behind some straights, though he does block them. The ace kings of the world. Rob does call here. He will have put in quite a lot of his chip stack. Can he find the fold, or will he pay off Connor's nut flush? Wow, he lays it down! Aram manages to lose the absolute minimum to Connor. Had him crushed pre-flop. We all know how that goes. Not a guarantee you can win. Six max is not for the faint of heart indeed, especially the high roller 10K events. We've had some absolute crushers in the field. As Connor... Picks up Ace King. The run good is just moving slowly to the left in the table. Ace 10 suited for John. At least you get to see it on the stream. I mean, I had a hand that should never fold. Yeah. I feel like it, it was, you might be happy. <laughs> I thought he was blocking. 
You did? <laughs> and John will ship it. Only got a few big blinds left. I feel like not. Roughly 20. Ace 10 suited. Certainly good enough to get it in. It's unfortunate, though, that Connor snaps. The ace king, not something yeah. you want to see. The ace 10 suited. We are going to a run out. American flush or crazy straight? Just a big one. <laughs> Definitely a sweaty board. Awesome. Club draw for John. <laughs> a king gives him Broadway. Four does not help him. Or king. And John does not get there. Too many outs indeed. Good game to you, John. Thank you for coming out of the lodge, but you are eliminated. I that big. From this high roller events and Connor took all the run good. I mean, someone had to get it right. Ben left the table. <clears throat> Ace King will hold. It'd be sick if he bluffed me and he just straight. Oh my god, that would be. <laughs> I, I think that's what's happening. Shit, by the I, don't, I don't want to. <laughs> pretty I'm, sure that's what's happening. I would like. Find him and just like give him a hug. <laughs> you're not supposed to do that when you're in here, right? <laughs> that would be a, you're just like, <laughs> that like King Jack. I was like, yeah, I had a kid. Sorry. See that gold? Kristen, I do believe this is Kristen Foxen. If I'm not mistaken, wife to Alex Foxen. Both players entered the tournament. High stakes crusher no, I haven't in our own rights. Flops the best hand. I'm waiting for the right moment. I just want to make sure you still have 193. Yeah, no, it should still be 193. That's, that's okay. probably, it's probably that. Oh. Bet in a fold, and Kristen will take down her first pots on the feature table. Welcome to the Lodge live stream. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll keep you posted. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. You know that Joe Biden used to go to his house, Christy, when he was a kid? I didn't. His house? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Tell me. I don't know. <laughs> They're friends of the family. Before he was a president. Well. Well, yeah. I I, yeah. well, apparently Isaac I mean, has some we ties like to best friends or anything. <laughs> presidents. I met him a couple times. I mean, I don't know why you're making such a big deal out of it. I mean, it is pretty cool that. <laughs> what do you mean? It's a huge deal. It's the president. He's from your house. Yeah, he's the. He wasn't the president back then, though. Yeah, but our if he was doing it now, then it would be like a big deal. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Maybe you wouldn't be able to I talk mean, about my it. My house might be on national news or something. <laughs> you know. But he was just a senator back then. No big deal. Just senators come to his house. I'm sure that happens every day. Commonplace in the mind of Isaac. Open ended for Aram. Clemen with the best hand, though. Some back doors. Clemen will bet. Healthy size. Rom overs of his own and a straight draw not folding and what a break changes nothing nice split screen shot for you guys
thousand. Kelly Shields says, I've been to Portland. I'm going to Portland for the first time this summer. Should be a good time. I'm going to do lots of hiking. Never been to the Northwest. I will not sure exactly what you're asking. I check. If you visit the lodge and you pay the membership fee and your hourly rates, you can buy in at one two one three two five five ten occasionally, or any tournaments for the required amounts. You do not have to have a set of number of buy-ins or anything like that. You can sit down with the men, run it. I call. One call. And go from there. Ducks are still good. Not going to back down to one bet on this board, though hard to imagine them improving. Does go check, check. And a queen for a ROM. Maybe going to get a little bit back. Though he did make a great lay down versus Connor only two or three hands ago. Adam Jones, the lodge, does not have rake. We're not a casino. We're a card club, social club. You pay an hourly fee to rent the seat, and that is it. In addition to a daily or a monthly, I believe, membership fee. No rake. Value for Aram. Hard to find hands. Isaac is still good against, and he does let it go. How many players are left, Mr. Steven? There are 11 players remaining. Five here at the future table. We did just lose John a couple hands ago. Bit of a cooler scenario. When we get down to seven, I do believe we will condense the two remaining tables into one, and we will have ourselves a final table the high stakes, six max, 10K buy-in tournaments, all a part of the Lodge Championship Series. Still going on. It's been an absolute three-week stretch of madness. Isaac with a deuce and some backdoor potential. Kristen, gutter ball to the wheel. King high board, very dry. She will take a stab. In the form of one big blind. Of course, Isaac not folding just yet. Hard to make a pair in this game. King on the turn changes nothing about the board. Not a great card to continue bluffing on. 
Ace High still has plenty of showdown. Not unreasonable to try and go to a river. But the deuce will hold for Isaac. Goes check, check. Deuce will be good. Kristen, a little excited. Thought Ace High might be the best hands. But we got to see two. It's indeed the old Israeli Ron held up that time. There's only nine. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. That was fast. <clears throat> oh, wow. We just had two eliminations here in the past minute and a half. That is a very quick thinning of the field. Nick Holmes, there were 40 entries into this tournament, 10,000 apiece. Give you the chip average when we get another shot of the clock in the back. Ram will raise up ace queen. And he will take down the blinds. Oh, I can see them. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. I can see them. But yes. Yeah, thank you. Good point. I didn't lose them all yet. <laughs> Lost about half of them so far. <laughs> Kelly Shields is going to play until the sun comes up. Well, I certainly hope so. Got to get this content for the Lodge live stream. I'm happy to be here the entire time. Greg Potter in the booth. For those of you who are just tuning in, thank you guys for watching the Lodge live stream. Stephen, we have chip count updates periodically. We we'll keep you guys informed, typically after large hands or every 10 to 15 minutes or so. We will update Chatsville and the viewership. How many people do you think Ben knocked out out there? Both of them, right? Ben. Uh, see, I'm sure Ben ben's knocked ben's them both out. That's absolutely ben's what ben's happened. There's no way. <laughs> it's an appropriate name because yeah. he puts people in the bin. In the bin. He did that like to me So that's his nickname? Yeah. No, it's his no, actual it's so name. Yeah. I know. I was like, how have people not used that expression yet? Or have they? Because I thought I made it up yesterday. He plays like a minute. I, like, oh, I okay. haven't heard anybody say it Fair. before yesterday. Okay. But I've thought it. Yeah, right? It's great. It's perfect. And it's his real name. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. All right, he's going to be putting people in the spot. Ben Unless he gets knife and knife, then he might not. Average chip stack for whoever it was that asked yeah. earlier is roughly 180,000. I hope he keeps putting Isaac in the spot. <laughs> He's fun. Oh, Only he nine players back? remaining. He definitely had all the chips, yeah. He usually has a, and a couple How of chips. How does he do it? I think he might. Yeah, I, well, I got it. He had like 250, but I think How I does he do it? Ben just binks. Uh, okay. We should take like 50 from the guy. You got him down to two? You got two. Yeah, something like that. You knocked him down to two. <laughs> that was it, though. He didn't pay off the river, unfortunately. He <laughs> always makes the right call. Mm. Yeah. Five, eight, six, seven, no, no, five, no. He's, he's dialed in. He's, <laughs> something's going on. I don't know. Seems that way. Very impressive. <laughs> Aram in the big with King Jack has a decision. Three players. Three players. Call and squeeze are probably both acceptable. Calling being more standard. And look at that. Rom, change your name to Bin. Big stop pair.
You guys have Greg Potter in the booth. I'm in here every Thursday. Slick Rick, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Skull Mike. In and out as he chooses. Clemens will be betting his three. Gilbert, I do believe to avoid that scenario where a table is only playing three-handed, they do combine down to the final seven for the final table of a six-max tournament. A little odd, but I think it is the best way to handle it. As playing with only three players at a table in a six-max tournament seems a little more crazy than playing with seven. There's the chip counts for you. Connor, 79 big blinds. Isaac, close behind at 77. Clement, 51. Aram, 44. And Kristen, down at the bottom with 33. All still fair game. All still very much at risk. And makes a great point. We will have Jamie Kerstetter later in the week. She will also be participating in the women's tournament that we have coming up. And she will commentate that final table if she does not make it there herself. But I think she will. King Jack for Isaac. It's worked well being called out of the big blind so far. And that's a good flop. Ace high, technically the best hand right now. Does go check, check. Still basically a flip. It's a club turn. Isaac will bet it. Clement will lay it down. As I mentioned, Jamie Kersetter will be here for the women's tournament that we are having on the 15th, starting at 10 a.m. It is a $500 buy-in. And you can see that there is $50,000 being added to the prize pool. That does not raise the buy-in. The, fi the buy-in has always been 500 But Bill Perkins, the man, the myth, the legend, has been kind enough to donate an additional 50k into the prize pool for the tournaments, juicing it up just a bit, trying to get more women active in poker, as we all would love to see. You said Christy. I think you said Christy. So come on down to the lodge. I really don't care that much. If you're a woman who loves to play poker, and I know there are plenty out there, it's a great value. Seriously, $500 I apologize. to have a prize pool of well over fifty grand. that's ridiculous. <laughs> I think I'm just going to call you Cliff, though. That's fine. I like that better. I have a lot of uh, nicknames. Smackums. People call me Smackums. I like that one the best. Smackums, yeah. Smack Daddy. I'm if not going to call you that. No, yeah. You know, <laughs> like, anytime like, someone would beat me in a pot, they'd be like, thanks, Smack Daddy. <laughs> that's, a, that's when they would use it. Um, AO. Okay. Crypto King says, I sure wish I lived in Texas. Would have loved to play at the Lodge. What's stopping you, man? You like smack them? Plenty of hotels oh, right yeah. around the Lodge. <laughs> Flights every single day to Bergstrom International Airport. Come on down. Mine? Yeah. I don't know if I it's only a 25 to 30 minute drive, depending on traffic. Uh, Brent Hanks calls me the night crawler. The Nightcrawler. <laughs> it's kind of fitting. It's a good one, yeah. <laughs> so I love that everyone immediately agreed. It's like, yeah, I, I could really see. Know. Nightcrawler also, makes a lot of sense. One, I can't say it because we're on stream, but it's API is the abbreviated version. API, they call me. 
I'm quite a little Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah. I, I would appreciate that, actually. He's a good man. Oh. Isaac going to raise it up. The ace check. Suda does not get any love, though. Well, yeah, but being the president doesn't mean you're automatically a good man. You know, I'm sure some presidents weren't good men, but I think he is. I think the only, only the ones that didn't get assassinated were bad people. The ones that, if you got assassinated and you're the president, you were a real good person. Very interesting table talk. <laughs> so we saw Safi gave some hard side eye at those comments. Drew her away from her book. Damn, Very MK interesting. <laughs> you know what MK Ultra is? Yeah, Crypto King, I, uh, I feel you on that, man. I'm lucky I live here. Well, you know? Flights are ridiculous right now. Do I? Of course. You know, but that doesn't mean you can't sell your car and come on down to the Lodge. <laughs> come get a piece of the Lodge Championship <laughs> Series going on $3,000 buy-in. Educated you? Yes. Or hop into the cash games. <laughs> I have a question. Why aren't we allowed to go to Antarctica? He told me. You know about we this? talked about that last night. Well, I know. Why? Well, we can well, give you a book that's very interesting. I actually told Alex you should bring you a book all about this. Is it because the world's flat? He has flat? a book about it. I mean, that's not necessarily the case. There's but something there, clearly. Here's the thing. They, you try to go to Antarctica, they say, first of all, it's not even a sovereign entity. It's not like a country or anything, so I don't know who has the authority to keep us out. But you try to go there, they stop you, and they say, oh, you need a permit. You know, you need to contact the ACA, you know, Antarctic Conservation, whatever. But then you apply for a permit, and they just put you on a loop, and they never give you one. Yeah. Oh, really? And, yeah, and they don't actually let people go. It's just like they pretend like you could, yeah. hypothetically. It's very interesting. And you should you, ask Mr. Biden. And if you look at the examples of the people who they do let in, they're all like connected to the government in some way. You know, these aren't, they're not letting citizens in, you know? I know. Like, I want to know what's going on up there, you know? You've tried this? You've tried going? I haven't tried going. Why? I've applied for a permit. Is it really uh, cold over there? We don't know. No. That's what they say. They say that. But who knows? Like, I want to know... What's Are we debating whether Anna Antarctica is cold? There, you know? Yeah. Slumbering beneath the ice, you know, at the edge of the world. That's what I want to know. I think there's something. You should ask Mr. Biden. It would be interesting he to hear He doesn't return his. my calls anymore, is the thing. He's, uh, he's, he's, like, he's a big deal these days, apparently. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm sure he has. You know, he's busy. He's busy, is the thing. <laughs> yeah, just a little busy. Fair. Kind of a big deal. What would you do if you went? If you let you in? I do believe they don't Antarctica? let many people down to Antarctica because it's a very vulnerable ecosystem. It's a little bit scary, but I want the ability to choose for myself, you know, and not have the information with Crypto Kings is a bit colder than Texas. Yeah. You know, so is 95% of the planets. Have you looked into any conspiracies about it? Or theories? I'm not, I'm not like it's kind of obvious. It's because the world's person. flat. I, mean, I, most likely is. I didn't say that. Yeah, but... <coughs> you guys don't think the world's flat? You guys are stupid. You don't look outside your window on the plane. Mean... <laughs> it's so flat. I don't know about all that. I'm just saying I want to figure out what's going on up there. No one's been to the moon. Down there. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. I thought we'd been to the moon like a bunch of times. No, I think... We... You got a better chance of those guys mooning somebody today in public than actually have gone to the moon. Sevenfold. To be quite frank. Do you start the hand with 75? I started the hand with like, I think 25 big blinds, but I have a uh, 50, 65, 68. Table talk took a weird 90. turn there. Plus that. Like, so you have like 75 plus 3K, that's right. Flat Earth confirmed. The moon is made of cheese. In that case. You, you don't have 25. Don't it's all have done in Hollywood, right? Blind them out, you know. It's <laughs> easier if he does. I call. Kelly asks, "Is Texas a dry heat?" Not really. The humidity is really what what sucks about it, honestly. You walk outside. Because there's no shot clocks. Because he's just gonna and he figures it out. So. Even if it's 90 degrees, the humidity like, can just make it feel like it's 200. Think about it. You probably <laughs> had the sharp play there. I'm going to check. Nothing for nobody I'll check. on this board. Ten high. It's still the best hand.
proves that on the turn. Banks a 10. You got nothing? <laughs> bird is the mosquito. Yeah. Might as well be. <clears throat> Isaac. So one day I was like, I want to say I was like at home, like doing something else, but I also had a stream on that you were on. Okay. It might have been like the first time you played the stream. It's like when you said something about Jake and Ali or something. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, I had an interview where yeah. I said, actually I was talking about Foxen, kind of. I said I liked Foxen because he called those guys out. Something like that, yeah. I remember the announcer. Now, I could be completely wrong, and if I am, like, I'm sorry if the announcer didn't say this. Say it, man. But I, the announcer said, if I'm corrected, uh, or if I'm correct, I mean, um, that you have autism. Autism. Like, you self-admittingly have autism. I don't think I've admitted that publicly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, because I swear the announcer but said But a lot it. of people seem to think that when they interact with me. No, so, okay, so like I could be wrong, but the announcer oh. might have said it. They might have said it. I almost thought they did, for sure. Like he, he But you, you interpreted it. Like they say you were like diagnosed with something. I'm diagnosed with something. Yeah, that's what they said. I don't think I've showed But maybe they diagnosis. didn't say it. And maybe I just, maybe I just. You probably just interpreted that. And then thought the announcer seeing. said it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But I don't think so. No, I, I mean, don't think I've gone public about that. Oh. No, I don't think they would say that. <coughs> anyway, regardless, I think I'm on. I think I have autism for sure. Yeah, you might have it, but definitely, I might have it too. But I mean, you have to be I'm self aware. I'm not going to confirm or deny. I'm, I know. I'm autism passing. You know, like I'm not sure if I have it or not, but it certainly seems Trust like me, I might. I know what goes on in my head. I have autism. <laughs> <laughs> I, I pass. No doubt about I pass. it. I'll give you that. But I can't confirm or deny officially. <laughs> I'm just good at like, like if a doctor was to evaluate me, I would like trick the doctor. That sounds like more. Psychotic. What are we talking about? <laughs> autism, to be honest. There's still poker, poker game like happening I, somewhere I here. I think so. Or something. I'm I'd like, have to look I, really close though. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I don't probably both. Be an armchair psychologist. It, I'm probably. I, maybe a doctor would just see I right through. I think autism. Autistic people wrong. would want to trick the doctors. <laughs> that doesn't sound like. Don't, don't trick your doctors, folks. How, which way do you want to trick them? To they are. Expert about that. I don't know, I'm just waiting for the day. For Most of the time, trying to help you. <laughs> Ace four off for Connor. Like no more for you. Who, who do you think would get the jacket first, me or you? Quotech, thank you for watching. I think he might. You have. He might. Yeah. I think a great evening. You don't. You don't look. Like, Connor will take it down with a raise. I'm a normal guy. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I could be seen for Like not a troublemaker. No, no, I would never. Uh, he seems like a troublemaker. I've mm -hmm. heard some stories about him. Man, I can't even repeat them on the air. I believe it. I, I'm a good little boy. Yeah, I believe I it. I associate with senators, you know? <laughs> mm, earlier, you, you did say something earlier. I'm not going to put you on blast on air. <laughs> no, it's okay. It, it was, I'm not going to put you on blast, but I'm going to put you on blast real quick. Food. No, you were the one who brought that up. But you said, <laughs> I said I've never done it. You said you've done it. <laughs> I didn't say that. Two fives for you Isaac. You must be hearing things again. You have, seem to have a habit of going to click it. We are getting to the stack depths where min raising is starting to become Maybe more relevant. Everybody's getting a little short in terms of big blinds. Kristen will fold the 10-9 suited. Not unreasonable. Potentially considered a little tight, but as I said, stacks are getting rather short. 10-9 suited plays much better. You are deeper. Connor. Queen Jack. Looks like he's carving out some raising chips. That's why I raise that boy up. 18, That's what I like to see. How much is the wager? The wager will be 14,000. 14,000 total. I call. Oh, Isaac. Isaac will make the call. Good luck. Huh? Connor will win the flip. I told him good luck. I like him say good luck. And then I laughed. I want him to win. <laughs> Me and Isaac.
as it of these matters. Raise. Isaac will raise two fives. Going for a little protection, I believe. Does have some backdoor potential and room for bluffing on a card exactly like that one. If he so chose. So he will take his showdown. Try to navigate to river. Becker Berry says, oh, I'm sorry, Blue Elvis says, Skull Mike looking good in that orange hat. He does kind of look a little bit like Skull Mike. Let's go check, check. Jack will be the best hand. And Connor, just continually chipping up this guy. Not a care in the world. That might be my favorite hand that I've seen so far today in this tournament. I made a bad fold too far. Oh, that is true. Nine eight. You mean bold? That king eight. Did fold. <laughs> that would be a pretty hand. Should have threw that. Did you even call it? You folded it. Yeah. Right. Three, Three better folds, I think. Rom with king jack. Derek, we will talk about the payouts at the conclusion of this hand, though we do pay the top four players. There's a jack for a rom. Isaac, ace of clubs, will likely bet, and he does. How many players are left? There are nine runners remaining, last time I saw. Four changes nothing. Aram, of course, going nowhere with his jack. Not the greatest card for Isaac to continue bluffing. He does not. And how about a boats for Aram? The ticket to Antarctica. They might let him in. Probably have to stay, though. Isaac choosing the wrong time to get after it. Maybe trying to get a middling pocket pair to fold. Maybe trying to blow ace high off a chop. It's unfortunate that Aram just has it.
Watch and make some new names. I like the way you think, Winsanity. These are exactly how names in poker are made. Yours could be too. If you come on down to the lodge, play on the lodge live stream, you never know where it might take you. Especially if you buy into the lodge championship series main event. $3,000 entry, $2 million guaranteed. You make it to that table. Your name it might just be made. Kristen, bottom pair with a redraw, but Connor's got all the fives. Clement, not much going on. Backdoor hearts and some overs. How many people were in the tournament? Total 40. And you know, I forgot to go over the winnings. I apologize. We'll do that after this hand, if I remember. Five of Hearts would be a fun card. I like the way you think, Mike. Kristen going to barrel into the field. I don't think either player going to fold just yet. Potentially Connor. Flop did check through. If he assesses the situation correctly, he could find a call, but he does not. Lays it down. Best hand has folded. There's a four. That would have been a fun river. Well, not really, I suppose. As Kristen's pair is counterfeits, two pair. I do think in this exact situation, she has enough showdown to check and bluff catch or block bets. And she goes for the block bets. Calling these out today. Roughly a tenth of the pot, a little more. Clemen, thinking it over. I don't think the man has said a word, speaking of the table. Is not enticed by the price and lays down his ace-queen. Block bet successful. <clears throat> and just like that, we will say goodbye to Clayton. Welcome back again, sir, to the Lodge live stream. Happy to have you dealing here. Once again, and we will do a dealer change real quick to Miss Anna. There's a chip count for you guys. Connor at 77 big blinds. Isaac, 51. Clemen, 40. Aram, 38. Kristen, 30. Still fair game at this point. As we will take a shot to the lodge cam over there on the tournament side. I do believe that is the evening flight going on. As we see mixing poker, mixing it up in there. And I didn't forget, I promise, top four players will be paid out in this tournament. The number one slots all the way up at the top pays out 176,720. Second place, 101,520. Third place, 60,160. And fourth place, 37,600. Cashing this tournament would certainly not be a bad day of poker. Antonio Doug is out. Fired three bullets, bricked them all.
Alex Foxen also fired some bullets in the tournament. Did not make it to the final nine. Though his wife, Kristen, there in C2. A crusher in her own rights. He's still in the game. Blue Elvis, Doug counting his money, dreaming of content. That man does not dream of content. He creates it. He puts it out every day these days. How many of the players we see at the future table as regulars at the Lodge? I will be honest. I do not believe any of these players are at Lodge regulars. A lot of our regs don't play at $10,000 buy-in tournaments. Not to say it isn't possible or they aren't out there. But they might be playing the Lodge main events going on right now instead. This is a tournament field of crushers and high-stakes players, so I do not blame them. They do not want to get in the mix. You hear that Doug Polk, Doug Polk, Alex Foxen, Kristen Foxen, uh, been weighing all in the fields. Not, uh, not the most ap appealing of of poker fields tournaments to enter for sure. Kristen's going to open up the Queen 10 offsuit. Clemen. Queen 10 of his own. We'll make the call defending his button. Mike Lorberg, all the way from Denmark. I know we'll see you out here soon. Doug, Brad, and Nimi are here now. You can catch a flight. I'm sure it's not expensive. Totally not. Aram will not defend his big blind. Same hand. No corresponding suits. Let's see how this one plays out. I have a feeling Kristen will take the lead. She will indeed bet. 5,000 is the number. Clemen in the muck. Kristen will take down yet another pot. Queen 10 will win this hand. You are correct, Win Sanity. Queen 10 will absolutely win this hand. No doubt about it. This guy's a psychic. Did I go over the payouts? I did. I promise, and you can see them right there on the back with the tournament clock. First place, 176,000. Second place, 101,000. Third, 60,000. Fourth, 37, and some change. And you know what? You're right, hamster turd. You guys hit the like button. You get a little extra run good. Hit subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Lodge live stream. You got Greg Potter doing commentary today. On the feature table, soon to be final table of the Six Max High Roller event.
Kristen, Ace King suited, going to raise and get called in two spots. And she will flop the best of it by an absolute mile. Very dry board texture. Check or bets, not unreasonable. Pretty hard for your opponents to have anything, and you want them to have something, or you want them to bluff, like Connor will when check two. And when you have ace-king yourself. SPR going to be roughly two if she makes the call. She will go for the check raise. Potentially trying to get the money in on the turn. Though, there will be none to be had. Congratulations to you, Mike. There's another shot of our live stream room. A beautiful room. The game host missed Sa Safi, Safira. <coughs> Couldn't decide which one I wanted to say there. A regular on the Lodge live stream takes care of all of the stream players. Kristen will defend her big blind. 10-9 off suit. Hmm. Look at this. <laughs> Same flop. Hmm. Roughly. I believe the suits were different. Clemen this time with the ace. We'll check it over. Slow playing. Lots of slow playing on these dry boards is very reasonable. Got to let your opponent catch up, right? Clement with the check mark. As Kristen checks to him. No more slow playing. We'll go for the bets of 11,000. No value to be had, and Clemen will drag himself another pot. Ace queen for a rum. Mm -hmm. 
Daniel Slama, I will read the payouts once again at the end of this hand. I promise. I promise. You can also read them yourself as Yoda in Chatsville takes care of everything. Kristen getting after it. In the small blind. Do you know if you cover me? I think I do. I started with just under 120. Okay. But I have no clue like, what you stack me with. Action is on a ROM. Will he choose to get it in? Certainly not unreasonable at this depth. 30 big blinds. Gets a little close around this time. Would certainly rather be suited. believe calling and jamming are both on the table. I don't think you can fold. Ace-Queen is a very good hand. We have seen Ace-Queen folded a few times today. 23 or 20. I believe all, all unfortunately, incorrectly. Rob does just call. And is rewarded with a queen. Kristen, second pair. What did you start with? Do you know? Or what do you have back there? Friendly game. You are not required to answer that question at any time in a tournament. As long as your chips are visible, you do not even have to break down the stacks. But these players are friendly. We are in a high stakes environment. At this level, most people don't care if you know exactly, if your opponent knows exactly how much is in your chip stack, because that is not where your edge comes from. Kristen will check. Rom almost certainly going to bets, though there's an argument for occasionally checking a hand like this back as Kristen will have some traps with aces, potentially kings, some check raises you don't want to see. Though most of the time it is a bet, and he does. 26. Healthy bet, he does go for. This will set up a geometric pot, uh, same sized bet on the turn. Apologies. Roughly half pot. Kristen, of course, makes the call. There's a nine. More outs for Kristen 
the form of a jack. Yoda, you're drinking scotch, and you didn't offer me any? I'm personally offended. There's the all-in from Aram. Straight draws did get there. Though Kristen blocks King Jack and has a redraw of her own. Blocks two pair. The Queen Tens, the Ten Nines. Does not block Ace Jack. She does. Lay it down. Jack. Correctly so. Okay, Aram, friendly game. <laughs> show the Queen. Gonna show the Queen. Yeah, he did. Nice hand. Uh, my radar <laughs> might be off or something. What did you have, Kristen? At a 10. Ace 10? <laughs> Something like that. She had Ace 10, you were pretty good. If you had Ace 10, you were super toast. Fair. Trying to make sure you pull Not 10. Eight. Carl will defend his big blind. I don't think this man has said a word since sitting down at the table. Not one. I mean, Clement. Yeah. Okay. Tight lipped. Oh, yeah, you won the PLO, right? I did win Congrats. the pot room in Omaha event. That is fun. But I don't remember if they changed the level. Yeah, or yeah, okay. Is, was that a one day? It's a one day event. Yeah. Did you end early or was it late? Pretty late. Yeah. Pretty late. I'm trying to get better at PLO. But. We would love to have you in some of the <laughs> events. We're I'm always sure. looking for new players. And just like that, we will be taking a 15-minute break. There are the players and the positions for you, along with their chip stacks. Isaac in seat one, Chris in seat two, Clemen seat what I believe is actually four, Connor seat five. And to Rom seat six. Gonna run some highlights for you guys. We'll be back just before the break ends. Take a look. The moon, man. The craters. Yeah, that's bad. Chris has one of the worst. We are there, but there's like Avery or Falconhead or some guy. We were we were uh, we were actually behind some people. Like we were yeah, waiting for people on like a couple holes. And then, like, the one hole that they got ahead of us for one hole, the group behind us was like, hey, can we play through? Like, we no, literally yeah, just waiting. We literally just <laughs> been waiting this whole time. Wow, there we hey, go. There's something hilarious. for Brad. Mm -hmm. Middle set. Oh, boy, but easy, guys, look. Easy, well? or no, not that they had a flush uh, drop. Sorry, uh, play, my, my black cards blend, blended not together not there a little bit. I uh, did pick up a 10, though. Oh, boy. Mariana did not yeah, enjoy playing. take a stab. Brad's got to do the betting. Mm -hmm. Great way to get Mariana does pick up Amazing. Broadway draw. Yeah. <coughs> Easy going nowhere. For 1,200, I think Mar Mariano might peel this river. I think so, too. Might think his ace is live. Yeah. Laney Jack can bluff Heart Rivers. There's a heart. And Oops. wow! Oh. Quads! For That's Brad. Like Let's go, Zilla. Brad. I'm sure uh, that. Yeah. Oh, he checks it. Auto check. check. Auto check. Uh, we're a software Beautiful company. check. Okay. Make the internet go. It's it's Mariano. He's going to fall for it, bro. Like Mariano, if like Mariano like checks us back, like I think Brad is going to leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big fan. He's got the blocker in his hand. 
You know, it deuces. Sometimes when it doesn't work, bet. I have to unplug something for five minutes and then put it back Brad. in. Brad, Brad is like just that. thinking, how much can I get out of Mariano right now? That's all these things. What's the number? What's the number? You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Quads, let's go. Uh oh. D20,000. No, that, that, that means uh, get two ISPs is the number. and make it reliable. Okay. Brad Owen with Quads. Check fair. raises yeah, the I river against that. Mariano. Most people. It's ever kill. Takes a real internet nerd. Does he still have cards? My, my brother would love that. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think well, feeling folded. Well, he, he, was, he, he was in New York. He's Snapped full. Mariano he in, uh -oh. in the tank. Spades missed. This yeah, much stuff there is. Is. In the <laughs> fold, quick fold. In the mug. <laughs> Who are you rooting for? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you rooting for? <laughs> Love it. Nice hand for Brad. Takes one there down. You, you don't like, like a, a real messy chip stack? That it's not that I don't but like I it. I just pain, prefer it's when it's they're, it's they're it's nice it's and neat and pretty, pretty like, like that. Tip, so I think that's totally fine. You know what it should be? Mm. If there's three low cards, they should double it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Brad. Here we go. Lock in. Big pot energy. Aces for Brad. And we got some deep stacks. Yes, we do. I don't think Mariano's going to be going anywhere. Everyone else may get out of the way. Mariano's already in. Oh, boy. Big Tony might sneak in with the queen three. Is he feeling gambly? No. Maybe not this time. Pair versus pair. Mariano's going to need some help. Tony. Locking it up. This might be an opportunity for Brad. Super dry board. Mariano, second pair, Brad. The toppest of pairs. Yeah, backdoor straight draw, backdoor quad draw from Mariano. Love the backdoor quad draw. Can't discount that. Fuck Jack. off. <laughs> Four thousand. That's still going for value. Mariano's hand shriveling up more and more as the board comes out. Doesn't look like he wants to go anywhere though, but but he does. And Brad. I hope it's not his queen. <laughs> it's better than ace queen. Uh, it's no. better than ace queen. Certainly is. Football yeah. wants Poppy's pole for the night. I think you're gonna have Can to. Can we run a Poppy's pole? I can oh, run a pole. He wants it. Well, I don't think the pie in general, but now that I think about it, he would be a he natural bet. Natural. Two thousand. Yeah. I, I remember when uh, you were like half trolling him, and then he made the. the vibe. Made his last time squad sushi an hour ago, probably. Yeah, that would be correct. There was a sushi order midstream. Ace king for Brad. Doug has pocket ten. Oh so boy. All fading aside. Now, oh boy. Here we go. Lock in. Ace king <laughs> versus tens. Dylan with deuces. Probably not going to get too into it. He does. Nah, he stepped away from the table. He's out. <laughs> Johnny T yeah. says this is the best lineup in live stream history. Thank you for that super chat. It's, uh, about seventy-five. Three bets wow, of eights. Big. How are the vibes now, Doug? Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> and did Brad ship it? Wow. What did he do? Wait, what happened? He he's all in. He's all in. What? <laughs> he wants to win this pot. Brad, <laughs> Doug. One pit better. Eighty thousand dollars all in. You're kidding me. Exactly what Brad does to me. Wow. He lays it down. <laughs> oh, two we, tens. Can we see a rabbit, Anastasia? Oh, can we wow. see it? Run it out, Anastasia. Come on. We'll never know. Of course, that was that'll be the first. That'll be the first. Uh, Look at Brad with this smirk. Oh, we, do we see it? Do that to me? You're there it out. is. The smirk on his oh, face, not giving two have shits. Have oh, gosh. Gosh. Yeah. Good pull, Doug. Good pull. Thank you, thank you. All right, good vibes. Good vibes. Oh, there we go. Looking, Looking like we rabbited, we didn't get to see it. Yeah, Looking like know. there was a king there. I'm not sure. Is that the king of diamonds? Right it okay. might have been the one in front. Right. Yeah, I thought so. For some reason, Mariano decided to leave this game. I cannot fathom as to why. Yeah, Mariano put in Speaking the uh, very solid set. <laughs> it's weird to get Oh, wanted. man. Oh, I mean, never mind. I feel like we should, should have been wanted freehand. Yeah, I don't know. We could just miss Mariano it. is returning to Los Angeles, so pretty happy What's that he uh, stayed as long as he did. He's got a flight to catch. And this they, early? Not, not right now, but I'm right. sure he's got to pack up, try and get an hour of sleep, and then head to the airport. <laughs> ah, no. Why, why wouldn't okay, he just yeah, leave straight from the lodge? We know he's got all of his things That's right true. here. That's true. Call, call him back. Call him back. Call him back. Get in here. As we see, Doug three bet the ace, queen. We are going to call for Brad with 7-5. Two pair. Top two for the vlogger in the plus one.
Got a hammerlock in this hand. Doug is going to take a stab at it. Kind of surprised. The stab from... Did I just hear all in? Ships it. Check jam for 18k <laughs> almost. From Bradley Owen taking down a $3,300 profit. What? Yeah, it was up God. I was playing 2-5 all the time. I took a shot at like a very, very good 10 and a quarter. And I, I was up like $8,000 and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> like, <laughs> Huh? Joey Ingram types in, I won at the MVC. I, I did. I felt like I should have won that one. <laughs> I have an advantage. I have a headset on, but. You do. Maybe tomorrow, Joey. Congratulations. There's always tomorrow. What do they win? Like I said, they win the, the, the honor of being the pride. It, it's the pride. Don't always have to get a trophy. Okay. Hey, Mike. We have one open. I don't know if you guys want to fill it or not. So Great board for Brad. Am I squeaking like a Ace high, flush draw, straight draw. Mm -hmm. Hard for him to lose this pot. E easy, I say. E easy. You never know with this guy. I think he raised. You are correct, Brad. Took a stab. Easy. Not gonna make it easy. Interview the Brad not going anywhere. <laughs> See if Brad can find a way to lose this one somehow. He doesn't have the best hand yet, but he does have a massive draw. Oh, hey, oh, whoa! How about how about the nuts for Brad to the nut redraw? You would appreciate it. Steel wheel. Are you super young? How old are you? That's that's easy. Yeah. It is of my age, and I like yeah. Seinfeld. That that makes me sad. That's but I think I, I, think I stopped watching. Easy. No, I was going to continue shows with putting, laugh, the, you know, live, laugh, putting on the pressure. Now I can't Every watch chip it. he puts in the pot yeah. is yeah. torched. Yeah. 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 People are laughing. Yeah. I don't like that. It comes to race. I used to. Not a, I mean, I watch. Yo. 11,000. <laughs> which I dream of Jeannie. Okay, now, now I feel young again. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch honey. You should uh, watch that. Uh, Jetsons and honey. <laughs> he yeah. he he, easy. Doesn't, doesn't look like he wants to let this hand go. Yeah, there's a few shows that are like older or whatever. Not that they're but, old, but like, they're I want to watch smart. The Wire too. The, the Wire is fucked. And I want to watch. Only has a nine. Yes. The Wire yes. is a draw. draw. A side currently. I waited forever to watch, and then over COVID, I was like, I have nothing to do. Netflix has changed it. The Wire is my favorite show. I heard it's the best TV series. Wire is the best. 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 Two episodes, and I gave like it up, and that's what people say. Yeah, you yeah, keep going a little more. Oh boy. Yeah. Is me and Wire is better than Ted Lasso, though? Yeah. <laughs> I love Ted Lasso, too. And I've been to Baltimore a lot. So, yeah. Yeah. It was just cool at a school. Easy's uh, really thinking really like, this one over. Like, Maybe oh, putting Brad on Ace of Diamonds with a lower kicker, essentially. I could just delete the kids and they're going to lay it he down. He does lay it down. Yeah. Did not look like a believer. Yes. I remember he was number four as a kid. Easy with King Queen. Yeah, Picking up hands. Well, at least you're not going card dead after that, Pots. Just what you want to end up in another big pot right away after. Absolutely. Okay. Rather that than go card dead. Big Tony on the heater. Sure. Graphics about catching up here just a little bit. If that's a hundred dollar annie, if you put it in a hundred dollar annie or not, this is good. Yeah, if you put the hundred dollar annie in, yeah, four raised to three hundred, five six folded, seven and eight called. Here we one go. One raised to oh, an Avi. sixteen seventy five. King queen of his own. Oh Two my five. god, Big Tony! Oh, no, 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 Brad, no, Brad. Oh, oh boy, no. Big Tony. It continues. <laughs> You're kidding me, yeah, Brad. No. One Wow. Big Tony shoves all in. All in. He's not giving Brad a chance to get away. Smile on his face. I just want a big hand. I'm going to win another one. Let's go. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. Man, what a massive shove, too. This is like 10x shove. <laughs> what? Is Brad going to call it off with Ace King? No, this would be the sickest thing in the world until Brad sees Tony's cards. Nice hand. He lays it down. Yeah, that's a good fold by Brad. I think uh, I think he knew. I think he knew. Wow, Brad. I mean, 300 big blind shove right there. Yeah. Totally different. Yeah. I mean, it's still. And they was the big winner yesterday.
recall okay. correctly. So okay. it's bad, bad. Gotta give a little back every now and then. Call six hundred three folds. He said, I don't feel bad anymore. Four raises, three thousand total. Five and six fold. The challenge to losing a big hand like that to a vlogger is you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it about over, a month. Over and <laughs> over and over again, too. That's the best part. Cowboys, pocket kings for Avi. Just calls here in the big blind. Cold calls a three bet. One folds. Definitely a little scary. Two calls. Three plays. And yeah, make sure you tag oh, Nate and that yeah. on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Seven checks. Two checks. Four Brad checks. fishing for a set with the pocket twos. Not the flop Avi wanted to see. Seven checks. Just keeps getting worse and worse for two kings. But he does still have the best hand right now. He also has a disguised hand. He cold called out of position with the kings. Two bets. 5, 500. Here comes Brad. 5,500 is the bet. 5,500. Healthy bet into two opponents. He's just going to let it go. Avi might be thinking about what can I beat here that Brad would be betting. And he lays wow, it down. Wow, just oh instant fold. Brad, <laughs> what? Getting it through with the ducks, man. Oh, great bet. Crazy. Oh. Would you have called King High? What do you think? Not often enough. Not often enough. You're funny. Okay. All right, folks, and we are back. I don't want to say out loud. We guys enjoyed some of those clips, highlights from our recent streams, cash game streams. So, King Bro, I saw your comment, Mr. Doe. He will not be back. And I'm sure. If you came back, it would be a big deal. Thank you for your super chat. We are getting right back into the action. $10,000 buy-in. High roller, six max tournament. We had 40 entrants. We're down to the final nine. And we will be going all the way down to... Number one. Two sevens for Aram. And the blue chips are 25K. He will raise it up. They're 250. <laughs> Good hand, Lord. I am bluffing you, man. And he will drag the pots first. Pot back going to Mr. Aram. Just in case you guys are tuning in for the first time. First of all, welcome to the Lodge live stream. But we are doing a feature tournament table. There are the chip denominations, all of which, all the ones you need to know. The $100 chips are the black ones. Purple is 500 Yellow, 1000 Orange, 5000 as Kristen is going to wake up with two jacks. Certainly a good start. Coming back after break. Daniel, is she related to Alex? That is... 
Alex's wife, if I'm not mistaken. They are both high stakes poker players. Isaac versus Kristen here. Jax certainly can get some value from the big blind when they call on a board like this. You do not have to just bet your ace -X. Plenty of hands that can connect, just like 10-7. Isaac, though, has a great hand to start bluffing with, if he so chooses. With a gutter. Backdoor straight flush draw. Hello, damn you do now, Daniel. She is playing in the high stakes. Isaac does, in fact, go for the check raise. I am a fan of this play. Isaac has all the two pair, all the sets except aces. Still plenty of draws, though. Don't believe Kristen's going to fold to one bet. And in a six max environment, could certainly even check raise with some ace-x. So ranges are not as condensed as you would think. Kristen will make the call. There's a nine. How about we just drill it? Not the first straight to be drilled with a nine on the turn. Ben pulled this one off earlier. Gutter ball, two. Nines are hot, y'all. Isaac will jam. Kristen's remaining stack. She is very short stacked at this point. I don't think. Unfortunately, I still don't think she can fold. It is pretty rough. But she does, in fact, lay it down. But she did have a heart in her hand. You could fold. Blocking a lot of those hard draws. Travis Smith, hashtag it. Tough spot, short stacked indeed. Well played by both opponents. to an exact figure momentarily. covered. I can do anything. Sky's the limit. Well, you have me covered, so let's see. And joining me now in the bunker, Mr. Skull Mike. He's going to take over for just a minute while I take a quick break. Sounds good, Greg. Thank you so much. Of course. 10K high roller LCS. Are people like really deep out there? At least one person is. Yeah, but I don't like know about the rest. Yeah. You know. <laughs> 
No, the other another guy has the super deep. How we doing, chat? Yoda? Been here the entire time, as always. I think that means wrestling, probably. Be short. Where did the gun here, Aram? Ace 9 off suit. Blinds 244, four, 166 in his stack. Look, these players still pretty deep. What's going on, Chad, Aaron, Amber? Greg's done an excellent job tonight, about 108 hands in. Nice to have a lot of big names in the poker community here at the Lodge grinding. Saw Mr. Nimi out there at a table with Deeb, Andrew Moreno, Adam Hendricks, GPI Player of the Year. Doug fired God, no, God knows how many bulls into this tournament today. He can afford it. Best hat that we've seen in the stream room goes to Connor, that's for sure. That one's pretty nice. Blind on blind action here. Nine high versus six high. Jack eight. Connor not interested in leading here with his eight. Both players check. Two pair now for Connor. He's got to imagine he has the best hand. Gonna wait for his betting perhaps on the river. Six high here. Does Aram want to take a stab? It won't work, but he's thinking about it. 8,000 is the wager. If you're Connor here, your hand's too good to fold for that price. Got to come along. Keep him honest. Dawson in chat. Oh, he lays it down. Giving Aram credit for a jack. I mean, that goes check, check, blind on blind. Surprise on that lay down here from Connor. I mean, we're getting pretty close to the final table. Only four people get paid, but I didn't think that two pair would go into the muck. But what do I know? Dawson asking if Brad busted. Brad did not play the 10K, but he did late reg the 3K main event, and he advanced to day two along with Mr. Nimi. So... Both of those gentlemen will be playing on Sunday, day two. And Kristen's going to rip her remaining 3,500, 35,000, oh. which is about 8.7 BBs. And Aram's going to make the call here at pocket eight. So we're going to have a flip for Mrs. Foxen. Can she survive, or will we be down to eight <laughs> players? I called. What do you mean? My hand seems reasonable to have this hand. Her hand. I don't like her hand. Fuck. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't like this two over crap. You want to trade the jack for a seven right now? Seven? No, I was feeling the jack. Sevens are lucky. I've seen quad jacks like twice here. Maybe it'll come jack, jack, eight. And then it'll be. That would be no fun. You, you don't want to trade the jack for the seven now? <laughs> nope. Fair trade. <laughs> I'll have the jack coming now for sure. There it goes. Oh. Uh. Additional outs now with the queen. Only one card remaining. Ace, queen, or jack? Three. Queen. All right, good luck. Deuce of spades, and that's going to do it for Kristen. <clears throat> Be interested to see if she fires the 25K tomorrow. 
And we're down to eight players. So that's four players here on the feature and four players on the outer table. Tables are balanced in this six max structure. <laughs> Leave our one C2 won the high roller PLO tournament for about 75,000. Do we combine it at six or seven? Seven. Seven? Okay. These four players here on our feature are pretty deep. Nobody really in the danger zone. It's time to get comfortable, folks. On the couch, underneath your blankie, maybe in Australia in the middle of the day. Who knows? But we're playing for about 175,000. And all eight remaining players have a decent chance of claiming that first place prize. Queen six now, two pair. A nine for Isaac. Isaac's going to keep him honest here. Pairs are hard to come by, especially short handed. But now you're losing to a whole lot. All the paint, the tens for a straight. Only beating complete air if you're Isaac. So will Clement go for some more value? Flush misses, but straights get there. Always interesting to see if people go for that thin, thin value, and we're going for it. Dangerous to do that against capable opponents who could check raise you and put you in very difficult spots and decisions, but Isaac won't be doing that here with his pair of nine, just deciding whether to call or not, right? For 18,000 seems like too much. Lays it down. And you see Isaac's mind just turning. Such a hard lay down there with his pair of nines. Did he have it? Did he not? Two pairs, good. Antonio Brown in chat, one of the all time greatest wide receivers, right, Antonio? Asking where Doug is. Doug busted. Not once, twice, three, four, but five times. Rob's been pretty active after the break here. A little bit cold, though. Hoodie on his head. Double checks his card. Looking for a six gutter ball. Pair of kings. Top pair for Connor. What's the deal with these sunglasses, Chad? Are these... Is it me or are these sunglasses a bit crooked? 
it's like his our left side, his right side looks a little bit higher than the right. Or am I just tweaking out here late at night here at 1020 local? I mean, this is a 10K high roll, and this guy has crooked sunglasses. Those better be expensive. We're betting 12K here, and Aram, not satisfied in calling here, says, let's check raise to 32,000. 32,000 indeed. Looking for a six. Backdoor diamonds as well here, but not buying that. Connor has a strong holding, but top pair, pretty decent. And it's going to get through there. The Kings into the muck. Nice play there with nine high and some backdoor dreams, but it's a reality when you take it down on the flop. Getting close to that money bubble, right? Only eight players remain. Only four get played. These players, a lot of them have been playing all day long. 40 entries and only four, the top four, get paid. And we are playing down to a winner tonight. So nobody's leaving early. Call your boss. Tell him you're going to be late to work on Friday. Pocket fives. On the button raises 9,000. How wide does Aram want to defend the BB? He's been pretty active, creative. 242,000 in his stack. Sixty big blinds, but not going to defend the eight-five offsuit. Wow. Bad, bad. Oh, that wasn't it. That was one of them. Sorry. 10 3. Off. I assumed. I assumed that part. You got it this time. How much do you have? 180. Mm, you're lucky. If there were six people left, I would have played. We're we'll raised drafts. Wow. I'm a lucky guy. You are. Ace for off, Connor. You want to change? Mm -hmm. Sure. I'm going to fold. Thanks. One, two, three, four, five. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. What'd you have? Just now? When I had 10 3. King. Oh, good hand. You want to fold to a raise, but. 10 7. Suited here. I don't know. You, you want to play aces. So maybe not. The other one? Huh? Really? What did she say? What happened? I didn't hear you. I don't think he's talking to you. 30 bigs. They told me not to touch the muck. For Clemen. It's 
Sorry, Doug Polk. Gonna defend here. Don't mean to disrespect your pad, Doug Polk. 9-7 deuce, two diamonds. Decent flop for the big blinds range here, but Connor under the gun's gonna fire. Ace of diamonds, interesting card to have. Nineteen thousand C bet and a quick call. Clement here, and this pot is building to seventy four thousand. Flush draw now. Goes check check. And the backdoor flush comes in. Swaying in that chair side to side with the check mark. Went check check on the turn. So you got to imagine here Clemens going to lead. What will be the size? Want to get some value? Probably you're thinking Connor doesn't have much. We're going to double check. Yep, that's what two clubs look like. All. All. Yeah, yeah. No, just change. You guys are watching the Lodge okay. Championship Series. We're going to wait like 20 minutes for all this. High Roller 10K 6 Max. Been going on yeah, for hours today. A single day event as we take a look at our chip counts. Like seven people now here. I mean, I'm not going to just sit here <clears throat> and wait for 30 minutes. Yeah, it's going to take a while. As the tournament clock now paused. So looks like a player has busted on our outer tables. So we might be going final table at, I believe it's six, or they might do it at seven. Not quite sure. I believe we'll probably be combining here. So we're going to have to get our new players here into the studio. So they are combining the, our final at seven. And we're going to get those new players here at the table. We're going to take a short break and then come down to our final table action. Playing for all that cash. He's taking the whole bet. I'm going to honor it. I'm going to honor it. What is it? So silly. What is it? Four. Four. What time is it? This is my last time, boys and girls. This is it. Last hand for Bill. They're like, oh, he was raising no matter what. We're going to owe you 2K, and then we'll settle it after Will. The last hand. Yeah. Uh-oh. We, we might have a back. We, uh, someone situation. will pay on our yeah, yeah. Just, I'll just leave just, the chips well, here. I'll take care of it. He'll take care of it. What's Doug up? is in charge of my... The Marie Hands Bowers. with the pocket tents. I appreciate it. In fact, there's only one person. <laughs> <laughs> 17. 17? Got the fucking neck game wrong. You didn't even ask for a discount. Back no. over to Alex, the British Bulldog. Oh, that's true, that's true, that's true. That's true. Oh, Jesus. That's true. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Lays it down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's obvious you're folding. You're never calling after. I was not going to call. I was not going to call. I was not going to call. 20. 40. There's the raise from Bill. <laughs> Can we title this YouTube clip of Bill's hands? Bill's got a plane to catch. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to the turn. 117,000 in the pot. Okay. 
Check mark for hands. Forty thousand. <laughs> Dude, defensive player of the year. Oh my God. I, I, Bill goes all really in. Matter. I have a plane to catch, and that's more important because my wife will be fucking pissed. So whatever happens, happens. <laughs> what? All right, I'll take care of it. Okay, got you. Thanks. See you. Right, Bill right. is leaving after going <laughs> all in. Yeah, thank you. Should I give a discount or no? Can't no, do it the whatever, it, whatever Doug says. Doug can do whatever. I don't know. Doug can do whatever. I'll get, I, you, I'll get you a number I'm, from Doug. I'm gonna just let that stand. Okay, guys. All right. Thanks. I don't feel comfortable offering a discount on whatever the hell happened over here. <laughs> oh. But, uh, Bill left the building. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get you the contact. Has a plane to catch. Anyway, bet stands. I'm not offering a discount on whatever the hell. I think one K. One K off. You, you want one K back? All right. I'll tell you what. You can get one K back on this. So it's one K off. That's a good point, Dan. <laughs> and Hans is left with a decision. However, that one K has to be in five dollar chips. So we're gonna go get you two racks of red and you gotta play with it for the rest of the session. <laughs> 1K discount. Just good marketing. Are you kidding me? That was like that was a hell of a performance. <laughs> like you leave on this note. I can't believe you've resisted temptation not to have a look. This I don't wanna it's gonna be a good thumbnail. This is scary. <laughs> well like what if you try to counter negotiate? I know the cards. I don't want I don't want that. Yeah, 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 the best, no, yeah. We have to just leave it. Two racks of red back. But regardless of outcome, I think we have to see. We have to see it. This is it. Well, Hans we doesn't know what to think. Yeah. yeah, I will. I will turn it over regardless of action here because yeah. it's going to eventually be. Yeah. Also, because it'd be funny. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's, that's the main point. Uh, wow. Oh, wow. When you said, I mean, yeah, this is. It's hard to get a read on that guy, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He looks, he doesn't look nervous. What are you thinking? I mean, you don't have to worry about any tells here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can show you everyone. Have? You can show everyone what you, you have. have. Yeah, you can. All right. Okay, that's easy. Hand shows everybody what he has. Imagine if he was slow rolling. Good <laughs> night. <laughs> 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 He's like, four sixes. <laughs> That would be the best solo of history. <laughs> Bill is watching in chat right now on the delay. He does not know what happened. It's hard to think of that in the moment, though. But it'd be so good. <laughs> Had to catch an airplane. Goes all in and leaves the building. Am I able to use Miranda? I'm okay, thanks, then. Actually, okay, right? You're allergic to Tina? Trina. Went to the bathroom. Trina. Which one's with the Trina? Oh, everything but you. Know. Oh, this hand. Oh, it's a big hand. It's a lagoon. It's a big hand. Big hand. That small raise on the flop did seem like maybe Tom Paris or something. What was the turn action? And I do have 200k back. Check, check. Yeah. Turn was check, check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would change the negotiations. What's up? We have to renegotiate. Yeah. Bill <laughs> Perkins in chat says it's so suspenseful. Wow. So worst case, you have two hundred K and ten dollars. Never seen no, anything no. like this, folks. In red, in red. If all is wrong, you get one K back. In two, two after one. I think I might go with it. I am not envious of the position you're in right now. <laughs>
You have, Doug, you haven't seen his hand, have you? No. Okay. I'm actually really happy I didn't because this would be way more tense for me if I knew his hand. Yeah. It, it is be. really tense. <laughs> Dude, look at this moment right now. Yeah. This is like up there for, for like all-time stream moments. He, he jammed 200 or 100 whatever over a riverbed and just left town. <laughs> He's like in another city. Well, He's like, I don't have time for this shit. Hans is later. laughing at that comment. Then he asked us a report. Are you going to still be running it at 3.30 a.m.? <laughs> I love playing poker with Bill. <laughs> Lays it down! Oh, and God, Bill Perkins uh -oh. from the Austin oh, yeah. airport! No, that's not... That's not oh, a good thing. Oh, 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 Does don't... anyone want to take bets on this card? Holy shit. Oh, I've got... Four. four or five. I've got four or five. I got bluff five. too. I got, I got bluff. I got it's, bluff. A, it's a four or five. You got value? Four or five. We can go small if you want. I have value. Who wants to bet it's a four or five? Like even odds? No, I like four. I like, right. I like All four. Right. We got you, want, you think it's a four or five? We got 500. Five. I have bluff sheet I'll value. I'll bet against for 2K. Any, anything except the four or five. Yeah. Let's bet 1K. 1K. Yeah, obviously. All right, ready? Everyone knows? I think it's a six of spades. I guess if it's a nine, it's on. Oh, shit, man. And Phil Perkins. <laughs> Something we've never seen before. I don't think we'll ever see again. A man goes all in, leaves the building, and finds out from the Austin airport that he just won. He would say, I'm jacking off. And Hans is distraught at the bar. Oh. oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh boy. That's, uh, oh. that's some balls there. Oh. Uh, oh what man. A boss. That, uh... <laughs> oh. Got beauty. Okay, Doug cannot beauty. believe it. Uh, game's over. <laughs> right now, Drop the mic. <laughs> Bill Perkins. <laughs> I could watch that Perkins hand over and over again. It's going to be the hand of the year. It's got to be. How rich do you have to be to just bluff your entire stack all in, leave the game? You're probably not worried about racking up your chips or cashing out because you don't expect your chips to be there when you stick it all in there with King High. I'm going to remember that hand for a long, long time, just like the hand from Mr. Vizine Man from the final table LCS main event from last year around this time. Don't forget, folks, we're going to be streaming the 25K tomorrow. Same channel, same time, same place. And then we're going to have three full days of coverage of the LCS main event. And we've already completed two flights on that one, and we have Flight C going on right now, a $3,000 buy-in for that event, $2 million guarantee, and we are back for the 10K 6 max final table, seven players. I do know. Battling for $176,000. It's like one of those dangerous places in the and I'm going to be joined in the booth by Mr. Potter, who's been here from hand number one. He can't miss a final table. Sure can. How's it been since I've been gone, Skull? Been still in this tournament? I didn't even realize. I saw him on the feature earlier. He got shipped out to the outer tables. This man's on a life heater. He can't lose. I mean, I'm just going to pick him to win it. Nikolai's got a lot of chips. Don't know much about him. He's got a pink hat on. Good for him. Pocket sevens. When you left, uh, we, we lost Mrs. Foxes. She lost oh, no. a flip for her tournament life. Mm, the way and, it goes sometimes. And then a player busted on the outer table, and now we've combined to our final seven. Just a call. With the sevens here in the small blind. Turning into dangerous territory, but he is deep stacked. Okay. 
train. Okay. King High Board Connor is on top, though, Bin. Probably just going to bank it on the turn. Bin's going to bank it. Bin's going to bank it. Chad's been saying it all night. Change his name to Binks. Yeah, I like that. Never do that. The street smarts. You never do that. Like, or Matt, it's just his last name was Binks. Ben Binks. Fucked up. That's a great poker name. I think so. I certainly wouldn't do it. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't do it. 12,000 Seabed. You ever shot dice? Connor had a similar holding before the break here. King 3 exactly on a similar board texture where he folded. This time against Ben, he's going to look him up. Makes the call. I think I played poker. Best hand. I don't think I, don't uh, think I, I never, never played poker. Four spades on the turn. No, I didn't play at all. That was like probably my first time ever playing. Look at Ben. They're looking so serious. He wasn't so serious earlier. He was awfully chatty. But coming down to the final table, he to be breathing quite heavy. He's going to reach for her. A 25k, a 5k, a 1k, a little piece of everything. Are we going for? He's like, if you roll her a beat you. Well, smorgasbord of chips. Because if you do too well, they think you're 36. It was just ridiculous how many sevens and elevens I was rolling in a row. So he was like, man, if you roll another seven, we're fighting, dude. And I rolled a seven. I was like, dude, it's not me. And I picked it up. I was like, look, I'll roll again. And then I rolled like a six. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Scrum says Vince is more final tables than most commentators. Yeah, no shit, Scrum. Bins <laughs> <laughs> had more final tables than most people on the planet. You seem like a tough guy. What is it? Is it me or are these sunglasses tilted? I was. They are. The 100 percent. I can absolutely see it. His left side, a little lower. Is it his ears or is it just his preference? You never know, man. But they are definitely tilted, and they are tilting me now that I, I see it, it. I think it's just the glasses. I think if, we, if he banks this tournament, he needs to take a little trip to the domain, maybe a little Gucci store. None. Upgrade. None. Maybe like. I don't know. They look pretty nice. They maybe do look pretty nice. Maybe just needs to adjust them. Yeah, maybe like half. Half of a fight. Pretty know. silly to be ripping on guys in a 10K, right? I think he could afford <laughs> some nice sunglasses. Well, he just punched you. Yeah, that's kind of what happened. And like, you fell. You didn't fight. I wasn't like, like <laughs> half, got, half of us were you fighting. You just got smacked around. There were two participants, and half of them were fighting. Well, so you got smacked around. Oh, I didn't say it. I didn't specify who was who. Also, you were bullying him? Let's make the call. I'm deliberately not specifying. Kind of want to see a brick here on this river and see if Ben blasts off. And it's not the flush that completes. It's still ace high, but not a complete blank. Ben here blocking the Broadway draws, but just ace high. Has been called down on multiple streets now. Will he empty the clip in this massive pot, 124,000? You got to imagine he's going to put Connor all in into the test. For his remaining 66,000. Imagination Land is my favorite series with South Park. The only thing he's really worried about is getting snapped off by like a four. Wow. And there it is. There's the all in. Ben. This man does not need luck. He makes his own. Don't think Connor's folding here, right? Because it's, it's pretty. He's not really worried about much, right? His kicker doesn't even really play anymore. It's kings and fours with the queen. He's got to imagine he's. He's chopping in most case scenarios. What are we losing to? The king queens and aces? Of course, you're blocking kings full. You're losing to queens full, but... Ben, does he have it? Are we going to give him that much credit here? I don't know. The man's been running hot from Connor's perspective. He's been running hot he and he's been happen. playing good. Right? They can't always. They can't always have it. Wow! Lays it, it lays down. It down. Lays down the king three and we're. Did, did, he just, did he just flip it over real quick and then unflip it? Did he show or no? I didn't. See, I didn't see. I don't see. think he showed. I don't yeah. think he showed. My goodness gracious! There, the power of the approaching money bubble there gets him off. I would have found a way. The kings of force. What? 
I like, wonder. Wow. It is easy to misread a board like that. Like, what, what if he didn't realize that he's not chopping with most kings? It's possible. No, I haven't took like seven minutes. What, did, what are we giving him credit for? <laughs> <laughs> Told him he had it? Maybe. Ace king, king queen. Queens, those, those whole, that's the, uh, random four, ace four. Now he wakes wow, up with aces. He's got aces the very next hand. What in the world? Just, just give him the, just give him the money already. Oh, wow. Just give him, just everybody, just take your chips, slide them over. Tournament's C1. over? Tournament's over. Isaac's going to pick up King 10 suited, though. Unfortunate for him. Wow. It's really crazy on that last hand. You got to think if you call turn, you make your decision on the turn, right? If you're continuing on the turn and he puts you to the test on the river, you got to go for it. Yeah, go with so. it. I think so. It's um, especially with the stacks being so shallow. It's pretty rough, especially if he has any bluffs at all, which, of course, we can see that he does. That's Three petting here, 22,000 with the kick 10. Getting better and better for Ben. Isaac is choosing the wrong time to get after it. I don't know. I wouldn't three-bet Ben for the entire rest of the tournament. The man's just had it, and even when he doesn't, he still wins the pot. Daniel in chat says, why call the turn if you fold River Jam? That's what we were just talking about. A bit perplexing, but that's what we saw. We're on to the next hand. Forty-eight. Then four bets. Forty-eight thousand. Isaac, the PLO champion, from a couple nights ago. Did he pick up PLO tournament? He did. For wow. About seventy-five thousand. Wow, that's a that's some run good. And hops right into a 10K. Yeah. Gotta love it. Isaac has a lot of experience, multiple millions of dollars on his Hendon mob, so he's no slouch. Don't know about that T-shirt, but we'll allow it. He can play some <laughs> cards here. He's at the lot here in the studio. What's he going to do facing a 4-bet? 48,000. In position on Ben. The raise is small compared to the 3-bet sizing. 156,000 behind. It's going to make the call. Blinds are still at the 2-4 stage, so he's got about 39 bigs, makes the call, and we're going to see three. Big pot, 106,000 in the middle. Jack 7-4 Skittles. Imagine a small C-bet sizing. It's going to come here from pin. Could be worried about Jack seven to four is possible for Isaac, but it's aces. We have all the chips approaching the money bubble. C bet's coming in. Maybe something along the lines of thirty thousand? Between twenty and thirty thousand. No need to go super massive at the hundred and thirty K stack depth for Isaac here, so I'd be going small. It's like Ben agrees with you. Twenty-four thousand is the number. Gets the job done. Too cheap for Isaac. And Bin will drag yet another pot. I feel like I've said that a lot today, just too many times. The guy can't lose. You know what, chat? You guys are right. You're enjoying I wish I had a set, the six max I a high roller tournament going on right now, or any of our other content. Hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you're not already. And welcome to the Lodge live stream. Skull Mike and Greg Potter in the booth.
seven total. That's three or four. So eight total. Yeah. Isaac raising in late position. Min clicks it to eight. Connor. Our short stack. In the danger zone around sub 15 BB, he's got to flat the raise with his suited Broadway cards, and he connects with top pair. And Connor's just going to rip it in right now. Doesn't want to risk it over bet jams. Doesn't want to get cute with it into multiple opponents and risk his opponents hitting the cards they potentially need. Takes it down, 86,000 now. Yeah, I think that's a reasonable play. Just getting good. There's the chip counts. Nikolai. Wow, I'm amazed it's not been at the top of the list where it's been all day. 109 big blinds for Nikolai, been 104. That's Everybody a lot of big blinds. Less. That is a lot of big blinds for being in the yes. final seven. That's ridiculous. Absolutely that, ridiculous. That's how these high rollers like it. A lot of playability. Skill usually comes out on top. Not just going to be a jam fest here. These players are going to maneuver strategically in order to claim that top spot. Mr. Clementine going to raise 8,000. Late position, James. James, the local boy out of Waco, I believe. So shout out James. I played with James a bunch there in the two seat. Kind of hoping he takes it down for the local crew. You know, Chet asked earlier if there were any locals, and I didn't know James was a local. Yeah, James is a local. He's a good dude. Plays a lot in Harker Heights, Waco area, and he's been at the Lodge plenty. He's played on stream in some cash games, too. Not frequently, but he's been under the lights before. But it's trip eights for the man on the button and the man from out of town. Also with the flush draw all over this board. Twenty thousand. Don't think James wants to chase the gutter ball. Looking for a ten and a ten only lays it down. Surprised to see James in this ten k. He does have a, some tournament success. Might have some support, some backers. Who knows? But he's a damn good player. You got to be pretty good to survive this 10k field and make it to the final seven so yeah let's say he's here backers or not still in the top seven and look at that all you got to say is under the lights and rick materializes out of nowhere yeah he's, he's, he's in his bed he was probably dozing off getting an early night's sleep and under the lights now he's away he's gonna be here till the final hand he's wired now out in the main room i walked by young slicky ricardo i said let me get a sweat he had pocket fives Flop came like ace, queen, ten. Gave me like a little luck. Went check, check. Turn five. He didn't get paid off, though. Oh, man. Come on, Rick. You got to get paid in those spots. What, what a sweat, though. That is definitely sweat. That is a sweaty one. Suited ace here for both players. Under the covers. <laughs> Connor raising the 22,000 off 22, an 80K stack here with his ace deuce. This is interesting. 86,000 stack. He's got about 21 bigs, and he just raises to 22,000. It is an odd race size. I haven't really seen anything above like 2.5X all day, and then all of a sudden he's blasting it. For five bigs. He's only got 22, 23 left. Yeah, not something you see quite often. 
The Rob's got a suited A7. He's got his opponent crushed here. Whatever, man. And he's so confused. <laughs> just la lays it down. Gives him the whatever. Like, what are you doing, bro? He's got 60 bigs and not going to defend that sizing. And Connor Lines up. climbing back. Can't count him out just yet. Still with 24 big blinds. Chip on a chair. And Isaac's right around that bubble danger zone as well, right? Seven players remain. First two pretty cemented right now into the money. And then everybody else, they're kind of hanging around. They're not going to complain if some of these other players bust each other out and they make the final four. Bank themselves 30, 37 plus. We could be seven, six, five handed for a while, folks. Two fives from Nikolai. Price of poker going up here, but both these players are the chip leaders. Does Ben want to get involved here and play a massive one, three betting from the cutoff against Nikolai, the only player that has him covered? And the answer is yes. The answer is absolutely. Twenty-seven thousand is the new number. And now we turn the tables back to Nikolai. Both players a hundred BBs deep. Nikolai out of position, under the gun. The speed limit in some states, not Texas. Definitely not Texas. Fifty-five is the school zone in Texas. Reaching for calling chips. Going to defend his raise and make the call going set mining with the fives. Pretty hard to play fives out of position on a board such as this one. You got to imagine, Ben, will he fire another seabed small, similar sizing to the previous hand? Completely whiffs. Does this have a Broadway draw? But could represent a number of hands here with his three bet raise pre. 21, something like this. And smaller, it looks like. 16. I think it's going to get the job done. It should. It does, and Ben. Guy doesn't need to make hands to drag pots. Takes the chip lead again. Do apologize. I think there was a graphical error. They may catch up here, but Ben did, in fact, win that hand. Do believe we'll get those chip stacks corrected here shortly. Ben has a little bit more than 387. He did win that last pot. To Myas, that is correct. If those outs are grayed out, that means they are not live. You know how much he was shot at? One nineteen. It was A7 versus two sevens. James will be doing the three betting. Ben does decide to lay it down. Does not want to play out of position. And James will drag himself a nice pot. There's some chip counts. Nikolai and Ben's stacks are off just a little bit. 
Yeah, let production know. So we're gonna get that updated uh, pretty here pretty shortly. But nevertheless, they are still the two leaders by far. What do we got, Ben? A stare? Looking across the table, saying, you're raising here. At my final table, I'm the one who makes final tables, not you. A stare and a flat call. Cards are kind of hard to read, right? They're kind of they're, they're different. Nikolai says the cards are hard to read. These cards, her pips are massive. What is he talking about? People have actually requested that they be smaller. The numbers are so weird. Numbers are so weird. That looks like a 10, an 8, and a... What, what's Nikolai looking at? <laughs> Top pair for Ben, of course. Was it a set of sevens? Just out of curiosity? Oh, man, I never had that. Oh. This guy's hit every board. In, I think, I legitimately, has hit, in some way, every board that he's that he's played a hand. That, that we've seen. It's ridiculous. Shout out to King Kai in the chat. Probably checking in on his boy James. That might be the only main hand I had this whole stream. Worked out for you. Did do it that time. Or maybe he's doing some late night studying. Yeah. And I have gin for your hey. Yeah. Ben. So cool, guys. Takes down another one. Shows the ten, gives us a little flash to the boys. Friendly game. You guys have been showing hands, giving exact chip count stacks, being chatty. That's what you like to see at the high stakes. I really want to shove against you. I have pretty, pretty hand. I swear. Talking strategy. I mean, I, I, when I decide to shoot four, I, I don't care. You, you, you can have an ace king. You can have a kings. Just no aces. My hands should be fair. Be okay. Aces for Isaac now. Decent hand for Ben under the gun. King Queen off. Blinds have gone up now. 3 5 with a 5 BB ante. Isaac in the cutoff will be raising. Two point five X. Twenty one BBs in his stack. Let's see what Ben wants to do here. All options are in play. Could put an aggressive four bet in. Could fold. Could flat C three here. Dangerous sliding the king queen out of position, but Isaac the short stack. How does Ben want to play this one? Let's sit back, relax, and let Ben do the talking. Rips it. What did he say? All he in. Said all in. Snap call. Oh wow! Ben's first misstep today. The problem is who I'm up against. <laughs> and Isaac says, "Anyone else, please." I, I can't. I'm the one who came up with that. So. I would take anyone else. Yeah, I, I like his end. Wow. Really like his end. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben is live. Only a, a, two a black cards, name. though, <laughs> remaining. The King of Diamonds and the Queen of well, Clubs. Oh, yeah. And now oh. plenty more outs. Plenty. With, uh, Give him an ace. Why not? Oh, my God. 29 ace. Wow. I'm amazed he did not get there. Wow. I felt like that is a big hit for Ben. I felt like I was dead. Mm. Running straight into it. How's this clean out of Isaac going to get a clean double with the bullets? Well, anyway, good call. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I had to double check. Yeah, yeah. Know. Double check call. He's giving me king nine. I want to see that. Okay. I'll play that. 
Wow, that's six. I had hearts. Queen six of hearts. Fuck. Certainly not an unreasonable play. You should have been in that. I should have been in that. From Bin. I think I snapped. Just unfortunate. I mean, queen seven of hearts, actually. Isaac happened to have it. Yeah, that goddamn seven. He had it. I probably would have three bet him, and then I would have to call your own. It's amazing that Ben didn't when somehow get there. He had so many outs, too many outs, one might say. And then I beat you. So lucky. Huh? Any king, queen, nine, or ace would have given him the pot. Was it missed? This card just like flew down. Are we misdealing or no misdeal? I think this one just came from him. Well, you should probably keep that. Just the She's talking to the person again. in the head. Yeah. Uh, I, know, I think he gets this card and that card is the next one. You can see that card. card again. Yeah. Did, did, are you afraid I no one saw that card? I wasn't watching. Did you Did you see it? Was I didn't it see it. Did you play it yesterday? Uh, hold on, two seconds. Like had it so high up. Yeah. I mean, that's what it felt like, but... Okay, yeah, I the, personally didn't see it, but... <coughs> I couldn't see it. They're working out it quick. She had it so high up. Production issue. Yeah, I don't look at my hand. I don't want it to be eight. We are going to get Mr. Anthony Chester involved. I think it should be a miss because that. his card was really good. high up. Well, I ended up just dealing it out how I thought that it was supposed to happen. I would look Leno says, this is the 10K. Yes, it is. I don't care. Like, $10,000 buy-in. Okay, High roller, six max. Yeah, also his card was really high. Uh, we are going to misdeal this hand. Bring them all in, everybody. You look after. Because the chip counts. Up, it's kind of yeah. mental. No, but then I don't care. You don't, and also, usually it's a bad hand, so then you feel good. I do believe it's Nikolai has a little bit less, good. been maybe a few more than yeah, that. Yeah. It, yeah, that it's more likely to be bad. Connor, yeah, still that's nursing that's, that's his 15 <coughs> big blind stack, yeah, though. I, I, I more likely didn't, I didn't think about it that way. to be a bad hand. I didn't think about it that way. It's like betting the favorite, you know, like in a sports bet. You want to yeah. bet the favorite so that you usually win. Yeah, exactly. Because like it comes you, in usually you feel like roughly minutes. the same good and bad. You know, your your brain's not thinking about yeah, the odds. Yeah, yeah, Vin's looking around uh, 340 ish, 345. We're going to get that updated shortly. Is Queen just going to the muck there? Is That's he... what I saw. This may be an issue carrying over from last hand. It's hard to imagine James getting after it this hard. Under the gun with a nine deuce off? He hasn't gotten out of line much, so. I don't know. Something weird happened. Maybe something weird with the deck. I'm not sure. Deck glitch. Yeah. Check, check. That's, that There's an eight. Or maybe it's just setting me up to get stacked. Uh, it's like he's using me like a bank, you know? Interesting. Oh, yeah, like hmm. then he'll take it savings all account. Yeah, because yeah, if he stacks you in a... Like, now I have a bit more of a stack. I can Let's play the guessing game on this one. Well, also, take it all back in one hand. If he stacks you now, he gets the extra... James, open-ended. Oh, either way, he's exactly. winning. Yeah, keep that in mind. Carving out, raising chips, 55, 58, or 59,000. My goodness gracious. One more. Smart. This bet would say that he's willing to play for all of it. 48,000. <clears throat> Ben, not looking as serious as he's looked in the previous hands. Body language looks a little bit more relaxed and eyes his neighbor stacks and lays it down. Nice time, James. Thanks. If they did read correctly, James is 10 7 any good? Trying to play some poker good? right now. Uh, I was in bed here. Oh, it's 5 and 5. Yep. Might have been right. Good. It says. What's the bid? The old randomization raise. That's that's all that was. Nine two, Sonny. Short stack around the money bubble. That's the move these days. You didn't read that book? I haven't gotten to that chapter. Am I first? Yep. Weird. <clears throat> Thank you. 
That hand gave me a headache. <laughs> it's like, what's going on there? Skull can't believe it, guys. I'm not sure I can either. Might be the pattern on this toady that's giving me a headache as well. It's a lot going on. He's wearing it to distract his opponents. It's a good chance of that. I don't think Clement has said a single word since sitting down at the table. Neither has Connor. At least not since I've been in a bunker. I'm thinking that. That was one of my options. Ben. Seems like a better option than just calling. I've seen him three bet. He three bet nine six earlier, but it was suited. Maybe, maybe feeling a little tilted. It is possible. But nevertheless, <laughs> he's going to drag some chips. Clemen caught speeding there. Ben not buying it. All hearts. I would be happy. I'll be happy. I'll be happy if you came all hearts. I would have a set of seven. With a top kicker. Yeah, so seven, you're beating king seven. Okay. You're beating king seven. I'm, I'm more I'll be Unholy happy. cannoli, we are here all night. Oh, we are I down to the seven, final seven. seven. <clears throat> of this six max tournament, we are playing until the very end. So we could be here quite a while. Okay, fine. Seven, seven, seven. Thank you, everybody, for tuning into the lodge live. Those of you that have been with us from the beginning, kudos. Currently, twelve hundred still watching. Daniel says, put Ben in the title of the stream. It's all about him. He's on the center of the thumbnail. I don't think he could be more in the yeah. in the title. Alex Foxen <laughs> and, and Doug Polk on the sides. Yeah, they're not important compared to Ben these days. Look at this flop for James. Wow. Open ender for Nikolai as well. Yeah. Could see some money go in here. You might be the least likely out of the, everyone else at the table to get it in <laughs> right now. Yeah. James will bet it. Nikolai has options. It's going nowhere. We'll just call. <clears throat> you can afford to see a turn and a river depending on the size. Still top pair for James with the redraws. All the redraws. Twenty-one thousand could be a size. Twenty-five thousand, excuse me, could be a size. Nikolai inclined to call. Still ahead of all the bluffs. All of chat looking for the seven of clubs. Instead, it's the jack of clubs and the flush for James. No clubs in Nikolai's hands. It's going to be a little bit confusing to see James triple barrel on this run out unless he has a flush, and indeed he does. Nikolai now third pair. Trying to analyze the situation. Says it's one of the shorter stacks. It's going to triple barrel. Flop, turn, and river on this run out. Says, I guess he has to have it, and he does. Lace down. Well played. <laughs> well played. Just get there. Even though he was ahead the whole time. Saffy Taffy in the background. She's no longer reading. She's making some good headway on that book, though. I think she Is just she? started it today. I guess, oh, it looks like a pretty hefty one. Is she a speed reader? A skimmer? Oh, my goodness. Do you think she would tell you if they were? I just heard her say something about the medical card. Certainly getting a lot of practice today. Metal cards. Players have not oh, I you said I got needed too much, card. other than the occasional water. That's something you would say. <laughs> we chilling <laughs> we chilling after the stream. I got the metal card. That's what I thought she said. I'm just, you know, I told you my autism is real. Definitely a different vibe compared to our... 90 to 95 percent cash game streams. Connor's gonna rip it in here. Mario Lemieux 66. 
Wants to see all five. Not unreasonable. Yeah. Short stack. Isaac says, why can't I call? <coughs> Couldn't give me anything to call there. Lim eliminate a player. Probably had a good hand. Thank you, Campbell. Were there rebuys or add-ons? Unlimited rebuys. If at any point Someone earlier asked, hand, what was the max number of rebuys I never in this played. tournament? I know I three were fired by Doug Polk. More than three. Was it more than three? Oh, my goodness. I think it was five. That's, that's a lot. And I think he took the, uh, the belt. <laughs> Although Mr. Deeb fired the most in the 5K, and he took it down. Let's say, yeah, I fired, what, five, six bullets? Something like that? Indeed, yes. Sean Deeb, man. Ace King for Connor is going to rip it in back-to-back -back hands. Don't give away the info, man. I haven't acted yet. Oh, and Isaac has a hand now, but he lays it down. Can't call the all-in for 91 with the queen 10. Can't do it. Me and you might have played a thought. I think so. No, What's your thoughts on the hat brims I, I would have played against you right? with the sticker still on it? I you would have been in bad shape. I, don't, hate, I, I hate it. I, I, I'm not a big fan, I'll be honest. I understand no it shows it like, oh, it's a new hat. It's fresh, you know. It's Yeah. But you know what also shows a, big a fresh hat? hat? The cleanliness <laughs> of it. <laughs> oh, but the sticker, especially. Yeah, it's like, why don't you keep the tag on it, too, so you can return it later, maybe? Yeah, there's some excellent Key and Peele skits about that. What are you guys talking about? Is there a way to play fish The book of J's? I don't know. I lost the biggest part of my life with that hand. With, with Jack? Exactly. So, yeah. so there's no You're an idiot. See, you shouldn't have played him. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> overplayed Jack, huh? Well, I playing? did. I, I actually overplayed it. That's the funny part. What happens when you expand your range past aces, see? You yeah. I, if I had off. aces, I would have... Well, I would have chopped if I had aces. I wouldn't have won. But it would be worse. It would be better than losing. No sticker gang, it. indeed. Yeah. Kylie Gallegos up late. Dumb man. Past her bedtime. I agree. Holy cow. Look at this, wow. Connor. Three hands in a row, Connor? He's on three. Own. He's got the Let's go. <laughs> We've been that game where you like went chipping up nicely. He went some sort of bounce from everyone. Wow. <clears throat> Gotten himself a nice yeah, roughly Not seven big blind chip up in the last three hands. Absolutely right. Yeah, sitting on twenty three bigs all of a sudden after being around the fourteen area. Has a little bit more playability now. No reason just to open jam any longer. <clears throat> But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. What do you think, Isaac? We make the money by the next break? How many minutes is that? 55. Oh, no way. Uh, 9 p.m. in California. I haven't seen Kylie in a while. Did you move out there to California for a job? Well, I guess the correct term is the tournament makes the money. I don't think we're both going to be in there. Let's get a time check in chat. I want to know... Where you are and what time it is. I would imagine it's pretty close to something 20 where you are. I would hope so. Otherwise, you need to uh, change your clocks. Table full of twos. The average stack is 220. We'll mix in poker. Poking into the chats. Yeah, but there's two guys that have 400. I was in here earlier. Saw him out in the tournament streets on the main floor. You got about four. Rebend. You know what I was going to ask that? Did you bag Mixon? No, he didn't bag. He did not. Oh, you're being generous. Starting Thank you, Mixon. Thank you for answering. I'm more pessimistic. I'm part of Mixon's PR team. Ah. What did you have that hand, Nicola? Pocket seven. Ooh. Open-ended. You're right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, a nine. So I needed your nine, yeah. But... Yeah, but the club, yeah. 9 p.m. on the you West Coast. Yeah, so 11 20 in Missouri. Right. 8 9 o'clock. So you need to end those 3 9. Yeah, yeah. Seven, I believe you. Yeah. 8 6 5, two hearts here. Players with similar holdings. The 10 9 I mean, and the 10 7. Game. Open, enter on for Clement. Hoping that you're right. <laughs> That's the best hope you can see with your hands. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Trenny Kent says, I thought you said tie check. Floor's a Windsor. I'm kind of an Eldridge knot well, <coughs> kind of guy. Because then I have a set. If we're asking Me for personally. this absolute I want to see what happens if a seven comes. Man, thank God you had seven. That'll off a big pot. 
Rayhounds watching in Philly, 12:20. Thomas Greenwood, not sure if he slept today. 5:20 in London, he's watching. And then do some brick. And then pay you. Little lodge for breakfast, you know? One fold, top pair. I felt like I got max value. Or as a nightcap, you never know. Absolutely. Slick Rick Lodge <laughs> says it's a blinking 345 on his microwave. Might have lost power out there in Leander. What a lazy bum. I mean, fix your microwave, Slick. What the hell are you going to do? Might have electrocuted himself making probably microwavable popcorn in his underwear. <laughs> Slick Rick oh, definitely okay. wears tidy whities like I can see Rick being a tidy whitey guy. Uh, four clubs would have been okay. Just got some vomit up through my throat thinking about Slick Rick in his tidy whities You brought it up, man. I brought it up. I, I don't know <laughs> you why. Put it out in the I don't know why. And now I'm a bit nauseous. As Clayton, the tallest dealer in America, about to relieve Jess. I'm glad to have Clay back on the stream. As I'm sure. Me too. Chaz Phyllis as well. Pretty aggressive. Me, don't do that. Of course not. What, what he was they, first in line for you getting back in the rotation. Is there any chance you can just deal a fair amount of good cards well, to, to each player? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's my guy right here. Wow. She, she's been, she hasn't been, nothing good? No hands? I fold her 14 hands. Should we wash the deck a little bit? I think a Chances deck wash, more. a deck wash a might be in order. I oh, wow. I folded 16 it hands. It changes. Clayton, you got me. You might, a, a deck wash. Cause it's, uh, Big scramble, remedy. yeah? Big scramble. Connor, I think this is the first limp we've seen on this feature table that was not in the blinds. Oh, yeah. Just calls on the button. One all the pictures Bin. Are of, I think it's the same pot. It's the same pot. See a free flop. I'm trying to figure out what the hell But does not. Four, four across, so wants to charge his opponents. Getting after it with these offsuit nines. There's like five dollar chips mixed in with all the like five eight. Ks. It's an eight, yeah. I feel like they just took all the different chips and put them all together. For Probably has a straight. Like photo it's, a, it's a setup photo, yeah. yeah, yeah I think it's, it's a straight. It's a photo op. I, I'm going to guess he has a straight. So there's a jack and a nine. He's like showing the eight. I think, eight, I think the fall card there is an eight, no? That's a nine, four-sided. I'm in here, just one, two, three, four. abusing his opponents with the they nine, three off. They the old chips, so they don't even count. Oh. Yeah, they don't have the new 25. Punish the limpers, and he does. Those are all the old ones. Yeah, one game has five dollar chips and That's what I'm saying. This is how this guy builds a nearly 350k chip stack. Yeah, he gets creative. He's applying that ICM pressure, right? It's, a, it's about that time. He kept you out of trouble. Bin's extremely aware of his opponent's stack depths, where we are at in the tournament, their mindsets, on how they're going to play such certain stacks, and he's using the leverage of one of the bigger stacks at the table to abuse the other six. You really I, I feel, feel really composed. anxious whenever I get them, to be honest, because I know I'm about to play a big pot, you mm -hmm. know? Well, how did it feel when he said all in? I was like, oh, shit, it's been Wang time. <laughs> <laughs> how did you fade to check 10-9 flop? I don't get it. Ben's like, yeah, it was Ben Wang time yeah. when you dragged the pot. 100%. Yeah, say my name. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Say my name, boys. I thought it was going to fold because he, he raised, he re-raised the last time in that same situation. Yeah. But I think that means he was more likely to have had a real hand he than he had before, had well, so he did one of each. King Jack off under the gun for a ROM. See, Isaac, you played it better than I did. I made it 27 and he folded yeah, like it. You made it 26. That's the key. 240? 221. You had better size than you and you priced him in. 
Isaac has folded his ace five offsuit. The action is on well, maybe I just, I Nikolai. By doing it with nothing the time before in the same spot. David S., yes, we are streaming until we have a winner. David S., will you be here at the end? It's the important is the question we want to know. Nikolai raises to 30,000 with the ace 10 off as the dust settles. Haram not interested in peeling, lays it down. Because you're kind of like lifting out. I will. I was going to tell you as well. Oh, that's light. We played that one. What did you have? Come on, tell me. Don't you want to tell me stuff? Ace is ace. Ace five clubs. No, no. I saw it when he mucked that card. 1100 still in the live chat. Have you smashed, caressed, sat on, tapped the like button? That's what we want to know. What's your name? People have become Nikolai. enamored with that the last Nikolai three years. With aces, huh? It's the new ace king. Yeah, you know? I'm well aware. In the dawn of poker, people thought aces was like the hand you re raised with. And then people fell in love with ace king. But then they discovered ace five. I think king six. King six, I was literally about to say that. It's the new ace five. Was it, you know what my favorite hand is? King crab. King three. What about three. queens? That's a strong one. King three is You know in the very end, you can make straights wrapping around the ace? Yeah. King three is, can make a disguise That's straight. monster. Disguise straight. I like king six, though. James, from way behind, it, spikes the king. The guy calls and it runs out the wheel. You're going to cool the exactly. ace when, you run the, when it runs out yeah, the wheel. Right. It's weird to see the three, split screen. Gonna when the players are actually side by side? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a rise. I, I can dig it. Yeah, no, it makes sense. And the one puts you on the six. The good thing it still doesn't really look like it, you know? It's not just a red line down the <laughs> shot. <laughs> they could be in any seat. But they are, in fact, right next to each other. And all of a sudden, you see James' hand, hand <laughs> come right out of, like, Ben's ear. What? 9,000 in a call. Five doesn't change anything. Ben's not going to slow down. I haven't seen him slow down much at all today. Two eighteens. There's still plenty of draws available. Forty-four thousand. James goes for the check raise here. Wants to find out right now where he's at. I think Bin was expecting a check raise here on the turn, and he's going to keep his opponent honest as James scratches the forehead. What does he do now on this river after check raising turn? Down bets to 30,000. Strange line, not something you see every day. Ben says, raise your hand right now, sir. How much are you playing? Takes a little gulp there. Blocker 30,000 wager here. Ben does have showdown value in the Queens, but feels kind of awkward here. Does he want to turn this into a bluff? Is his hand good? I imagine he's just going to call the 30,000 for this price and see the bad news in James. Trending in the right direction. Rips There's it, Ben. The I'm sorry. My apologies, what? Ben. He's not going to call him nothing. He's going to rip it all in and says, James, you've been playing all day. How about you go home with zero money? Can James make the right call? This is a wild string of events. I owe Ben an apology. Why not? I think he's just going to call the 30,000. See the bad news? Shut up, Skull Mike. This is how you make back-to-back -back WPT final tables. How about back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back tournament final tables? Does have all the king-queens, the ace-kings, right? The king-nines, the two pairs, the sets. He's, he can have anything. Still have aces again. 
I don't know what I would do if I'm James with the King 10 after this. I mean, if you're James, though, you kind of asked for this. The wow, way he calls the wow. And Ben, wow. Know, ben knows he's beats. He's already reaching for the chips. Wow. Hand, hand of the final table right there. One of the biggest pots we've seen today, 442,000. Absolutely. That is a game-changing all-in moments. Ben now solidly one of the short stacks, and James skyrockets. I mean, that worked out for James, right? He gets a massive double, but that line on that particular hand, like nobody wants to be in that position there on the river, but the way you check, raise, turn, and then put out that small wager on the river, I don't think he, he was not trying to induce the jam. Yeah, not at all. But that's exactly what happened, and now James... Yeah. Our chip leader. I think you're the chip leader. I think you may be right. No, I think he's chip leader. That's right. Don't raise the chip leader's button over there, Nikolai. Oh, so Ni is it Nikolai? Nikolai, yeah. Okay. What's your name, sir? Adam. Adam? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Adam. Adam. I thought it was Aram. Hey, if I don't like you, <laughs> Adam, but if I like you, Adam. Okay. I understand. <laughs> but for you, I, I like you, Adam. Thanks. So is it Adam? That's why you get to call me Adam. Aram. Aram. Got it. I don't know. We'll call him whatever we want. Right now, it's all about James. And Ben, though, these guys have been providing the action. Blind on blind action here. He's high. A little over 3x in the jack three into the muck. If you had a limp, I would have done that for you. Well, I wouldn't have been too happy. I had a positive seven. You had 10-4. Each card is one off. Nine three. Other direction. My reads really Jack. off actually. Jack. This room is throwing me off. I mean, Nikolai. I, have, I haven't Why played on the stream it's before. So damn hot in here. And it is freaking. Nikolai telling yeah, the truth here. Like what's outside? Especially it's freezing. Go, well, it was it was really cold in here at one point. Right. Freezing yes. in, like I mean, not it, outside. It's so outside. hot in uh, here. Like it's, it's either it's either freezing. There's no good or, even feel. Nikolai saying he's cold. I will take. Hasn't played on a stream before. He's not thinking clearly. I think you're just waiting. Not things you want to hear. Oh, no. At the final table. You had King 10 only. <laughs> he put your ass all in. <laughs> he put me in a spot. I think you were sweating. Uh, it was a spot. That's why you're hot. I give credit where credit is due. It was a spot. That's the only reason why you're hot right now. I'm telling Could you. Be. Definitely was a spot. Hot Well, at least Ben's still getting hands. Otherwise, I think he'd be tilting into space. Nothing worse oh, you say yeah. than doubling someone up and then going card dead, especially yeah. in a tournament. Laugh. But he is getting called by worse here. Where are you from? Los Angeles. Yeah. LA. What about you? I live here. Oh, yeah? I'm the only loser that's from here. <laughs> Where, where's a, a good spot to go hang out out here? Is there good, like nightclubs or anything here? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's tons of stuff. I mean, 6th Street. There's degrees. a bunch of bars and clubs down there. The domain. I mean, I don't no, know no, no. What, what kind of crowd you like or whatever. Though the domain's kind of cool. It's a little more. Girl, uh, I'm looking for girls between the age of 20, 20, and 20. <laughs> Not 20 and like 25. Well, Where are some good 20 to 25 year old girls? I mean, I mean, both of the both of the places I just gave you. I mean, yeah. you can send back the there. domain. They said earlier. Sixth Street. I feel I like Clayton. Right here. Sick are you from Monterey, Clayton? What's up? Are you from Austin? Yes. I feel like playing with like some sick kickbacks and stuff. I mean, right here in downtown, Jack. Round Rock's Jack. not bad. I mean, there, there's a row of bars down there. Are you, you got a girl playing? Yes. I don't want to get you in trouble. All right, I'm not <laughs> if Rob only <laughs> knew. If I <laughs> where, where would you go to meet her? I was she is in the room, 15 feet behind you. <laughs> <laughs> 
There's some stack sizes in the positions. Before you had a girl, where'd you go to meet girls? I guess I'm not sure. James, now covering the table. Nikolai, close seconds. Yeah, you know what I mean. Everybody else, right, right here downtown, much less. Yeah, I mean like a mile down this way. There's a row of bars and stuff down there. Nice. Yeah, I'll still feel alive. How wind is 1.7? Jesus Christ, and and what did you get? I got one point. Austin has a lot of light bulb thing for sure. Jesus, so uh, hold on. I Still, that's a sick. Uh, it's like seven hundred k equity. Wow, Jacks for Clemen. But in heads, over this way. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't actually. Ace King for Bin. It's all in here. In a cash game. Gonna have a flip for all of it for Bin's tournament life. I'm just you causing be, ruckus. You I'm, can't a, be I'm a vandal. Hooligan. Clement just limps under the gun. He's got 30 bigs. Yeah, that, is, that is odd to see One button. When that girl comes at these stakes. Oh, on kings button. for Nikolai. Uh, perhaps there are roads to exits after Nikolai drops the boom. That's how the AC works in America, right? Yo, can we get a TV in here and put on the playoff game? What the hell, man? Rob needs to settle down. Rob, relax, bro. TV. They can't get a TV in here. No, no TVs in the studio. You're not entertained playing a 10K tournament? There's a TV right there, actually. That is it? Yeah, but they're not going to. There's the all in. Let's get rid of the clock and um, watch the game. No, don't get me wrong. I would like to also, but they're not going to. I said the same thing at Poker Go. A little flex there. A little flex. Small. What's Clement going to do facing a raise in three bet, looking down under the gun with pocket jacks, rips it, doesn't waste much time, and this could be bye-bye. This bin get away from the ace king, or are we going to have a three-way all in? He's already in. Yeah. Wow. Nikolai has both players covered. Could be a double knockout, potentially, if it holds. Chance to scoop. This would be absolutely massive. I guess Nikolai would take the chip lead by, an, by a mile. Ace of hearts is coming. Though. One time. One time for Ben. On the river. <laughs> On the river. Ace of hearts. Give us a sweat. Damn, nice hand there. Nikolai, so far. I don't know why you're saying that. You go get that powerhouse. I have one of I have one. I have one of it. Uh, I have a card. Okay. Haram says, nice hand, Nikolai. Nikolai stares him right through his soul. Why are you saying that? <laughs> yeah, don't say that to me. The cards aren't dealt yet. Thank you. No, no. You mean on? Yes, yes. Clay going to get this pot right. Then we are going to see five. Two players' tournament lives on the line. Look at all the chips. <laughs> this is a massive pot. Somebody's going to Ace, King, Kings, and Jacks. You know, you know what's crazy? I think you're going to win with your heater. How do you like not win? Whoever wins this pot kind of wins the tournament. You, know, <laughs> you got to pay the heater. But I had an ace, so I don't know. I had ace 10. I had a jack. I was really pissed, actually. Yeah. That's my weird hand. So Three-way all I in. I, had, I, had an, I think I had a jack. Nikolai oh. still with the healthy stack if he gets sucked out on. But well in the lead as Clayton brings us three cards. Not the paint you guys wanted to see. Oh, no help. To Ben or Clemen. So a spade on the turn doesn't mean anything. Oh, paint. <laughs> Gets Black worse paint. and worse. Oh, my God. Stoic gets rewarded. <laughs> and yeah, Kings for Nikolai oh, will you scoop an absolutely massive pot. I feel so I feel nice so wow. Thanks, James. I mean, old chip leader. And Clement is already out of the door. Russia. Russia. Well, so is Ben. He's ben. gone. <laughs> Same with Ben. Did he even take his microphone off? And all of a sudden, we are on the stone cold bubble. Wow. Just like that. And I like our chances. To that is the way of the tournaments, folks, is we get a great shot of the chips there. Do you want to? Nikolai, got to be feeling top of the world right now. Why not? If he In a great know. position to have himself I won my a six-figure score. Friend. That felt good. That one felt right. good. Oh. Give me take a second. Um, do you want to do like Connor now? One of In the hot seats, no shortest no? stack no by far and away. Wow. 
sorry. You have the worst date. Is this okay? Yeah, yeah, you're good. Good deal. Did you get those? Sorry, guys. Still, still stacking my chip. Sorry. Give me one second. That's okay. I appreciate it. I just don't. It's amazing how every time I'm going to be blood always has something. I just can't figure it out. Nice ending. Thank you. Thank you, James. I can feel the cool, cool air. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She turned it on. That's that's. She's yeah, my thank hero. You. Thank you for. for she knew it was a cooler going down. Some chip counts. Nikolai. She just felt it. She said, "Let me just." Sitting with seven hundred and twenty thousand. One hundred nineteen big blinds is absolutely ridiculous to have. One of my best friends called Clay. When you're in the final five of any tournament. That's insane. James yeah. at 71, everybody else yeah. less. Yeah, the mics are assigned to. Yeah. It's kind of my list. Oh, did Never I move mind. too far? <laughs> Am I okay? Okay. okay. Sorry. All right, thank you. Careful with our table there, guys. I don't know. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> oh my God. I Somehow I got to get a read on Nikolai. At She's sturdy, point. but not. Indestructible. Connor with 97 suited. Looks like he's thinking it over. Oh. Thinks better of it. In MS, is there an ante right now? Yes, there is a big blind ante. I, I didn't say All of our tournament structures just have just big blind antes. Just my in a row. Oh, oh, I think so. You're currently at 3,000, 6,000, 6,000. Told there'd be no math. Blind level. Counting. Overrated. Good flop for Aram. Nikolai just playing his stack here. Hum will lead for an almost insultingly small bet of one big blind. But it is good enough Thanks. to win the pot. Something. Lovely. At least that. That's a good time. All right, so we got Adam, Isaac, Nikolai, Connor. Connor? Nice to meet you, Connor. I'm James. Nice I think that you. is the good first word Connor has said the entire James, time. I got bad news for you, James. You're not Just his name. Anymore. Yeah, I already announced that. Yeah, oh, you know. So you, yeah, yeah. You, you were the first to congratulate Yeah, I him. said old chip leader. Yeah, old chip leader. I stole it from him for one What year one did hand. you get that WSOP real sweater at? Uh, I don't even have it over in that. 18? 18? Yeah. Okay, I, I would have guessed uh, a different year. Because oh. it looks like one that I bought, I remember buying a long time ago. Actually, like I think it has the year on it. Six raises. Maybe not. There was a 2011 one. It, it's like me. It's a dinosaur. Suited ace, both players. Nikolai's raise from under the gun to 12, and a three bet from James to. What about four? 440 ish. This is going to get pretty interesting as there are five players remaining Stone Cold, Bubble, and Connor right there in the orange hat. Significantly 30. the shortest stack. Is it 30? Yes, yeah, I'm just confirming. Sorry, I meant, meant to just... And we have our chip leader oh, and second largest stack in yeah. James going head-to-head -head here. Oh, man. <laughs> Let me troll him a little. <laughs> Jeez. I'm just, I'm just making sure everyone knows what's going on. James oh. spikes the three and vaults to the lead. And now it's trip threes. The old trip trips. Flop went check, check. Nikolai going to seize the moment here and lead turn drawing dead. Snap call from James.
Will that snap call put a little fear into Nikolai? Will he slow down? I choose to rep the queen, though it would definitely be at the wrong time. Right there, yeah. Yeah. Thinks better of it. 105. Uh, James Snap with the 105. Nice bet, James. Not tanking at all. Who's your player? Nikolai, so polite. Every hand he loses. Nice bet. Well played. Good job. Congrats. With a nod of approval. Uh, nice bet. Nice hand. Mm -hmm. That would require me to count, and I told you. I was told there'd be no math. Five, five, James is not a math guy. Yeah, five, six, From what it sounds like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Small, yeah. You're absolutely right. Five. Even, we're kind of even. That's crazy. But, like, the queen was bad for me, I feel like. Jack 10 suited. Mr. James now will raise it up. Rom snap folds the fives. Short handed. Doesn't want to get involved with one of these larger stacks. Wants to wait until Connor makes his move before getting involved with the fives. Oh, okay. I see him pressure is real. Is real, and it is the most intense on the middling stacks. Should have gotten involved, Aram. Flush draw. Straight draw. For Nikolai. I give him a six of diamonds one time. Just Jack I here for James. Plays it down. Dylan, you are watching. Thank you. A high roller event for the Lodge Championship Series, $10,000 buy-in, six max tournament. We'll be doing some tournament streams all weekend to round out the last of the championship series. Take a little break from the cash games to give you guys some tournament action, because there's plenty to be had. We had 40 entries. There are the payouts there for you. Yoda's got it, Maybe as I'll always. Check, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will just check my big line. Nicholas Jones, thank you for tuning in. We appreciate oh, yeah. your viewership. I'm dead? Well, not dead. Essentially dead. And everyone that is yeah, tuning into the Lodge live stream tonight, thank you for spending your Thursday evening with us. I'm Greg Potter, joined in the bunker by Skull Mike. Who's taking a quick break? Big hand. The fake pocket aces, ace four I had. Dylan, there is a delay. We are simply watching the delay with you. We are watching live and commentating live. The game, of course, on a 30-minute delay. Chip counts. Nikolai, 109 big blinds. James, 82. Everybody else. Got to start getting after it. I haven't had aces the entire tournament, so, you know. Eventually, you know. Yeah, it does only four get paid. That is correct. There are only 40 entrants in this tournament's payouts are thus. First place, 176,720. That's a good score. Second place, 101. Third place, 60. Fourth place, roughly 38,000. Which was actually really good at that. High stakes. Poker tournament. Well, I have no oh, idea what to play. First bet wins on this board. Looks like Connor I'm not a fold. will take it down. The Gab says, any rebuys? Yes, this was an unlimited rebuy tournament. Yeah. Doug Polk dusted five. I said been like 10. He has five of those 40 entries, I believe. There were only okay. roughly 28 or so actual yeah, yeah. He, he was a small humans uh, playing this tournament. Yeah, he had like 25k more. I mean, it's, I been, it's been we're talking about. I thought, you know, he's at it. 
He's trying to put people in the he's, bin. He's playing nine percent of hands. I don't think he ISOs limpers and stuff. Bro. It's like Rick in the chat. Twenty-five K final right. table. Like yeah, he might have to be right sometimes. But. It's Seventeen hours on the same table. Sometimes, but not, not often. He's correct. Seven holes. Rip it, man. We do have the high stakes tournament going on tomorrow. Twenty-five thousand entry. Check. Yeah. Check. Where is this guy? Trust him. I am untrustworthy. I'll be the first one to tell. Ten to. Ten thousand. Nine is the best hand for a ROM. Big ten on the turn. James gonna go for value with the seven. No string. Nice score though. Is this tunnel in there? Though he is running into it. Year and a half, two years. Sick man. Was that would you say your like peak poker experience? Like you know what I'm saying? Mm. I guess so. How about a straight? Obviously it's not a good experience for, for James now. Who will lead? I like this lead. There are a lot of hands you do not want to see check back. Aram very quickly makes the fold. What was the final hand if you don't if it's not too painful? Yeah, sure. I told you I was like seventy big blinds. Untrustworthy. Yeah, I have jacks on the button. I raise. He says, "How do I start playing online poker if I live in Utah? Don't live in Utah." Seven six six. So like I was winning the whole way. I'd be twenty five every calls. And nine. Another seven on the turn. There's a flush draw. Nine comes on the turn, right? Mm -hmm. He checks. Oh, so you call me with air on the flush. Not really. Air and uh, that's pretty. That's pretty good hand on the flush. Offsuit king on the king river. On the he checks. Well, I go all in for third pot. And he calls with aces. So he <sighs> seven is all in. I probably could have checked back the river. Overplay. Queen ten suited for James. Okay. I mean seven 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 six. Lays seven, it down seven. to Connor's jam. Two sevens, two six. Though he is one of the larger stacks, it wouldn't have been an unreasonable call. I'm counting on you there. I thought it a pretty good hand. I had a decent hand. Couldn't call. Trying to felt the shorty. I see. I figured that part out. I respected Connor's bet. Yeah, River. Was he confident about it? Yes. <clears throat> shorty is high. This is indeed the bubble of the six max tournament. Five players remain. Four get into the money. Rami's five suited. Do you have oranges behind the yellows there? Yeah. Yeah, he's got two yellows there. Forty-four. Wow, Nikolai. Trying to leverage his stack. And he's doing it against Aram, who's been very upfront and honest about some of the holdings and big folds that he's made. To Nikolai in particular. So Nikolai very aware of what he's doing and who he's doing it against. Oh, wow. And Aram <laughs> says, I don't care. I don't believe you. I know that you know that I was doing this, but and shows him the five. Plus. Two. It's spicy. Well, spicy indeed. Very spicy. There are the payouts for you guys. 176,700 up top. How many? How much uh, money for fifth place, Greg? Zero. Yeah, nothing. Stone, nothing. Like Slick Rick just said, you might get a t-shirt. Thanks for coming. Is that the worst thing in poker? Just being known around town, your card room as the bubble boy? The bubble boy. Gotta love it. Yeah, I played some tournaments up in North Texas. I was Bubble Boy. I bubbled Oof. every tournament.
I played it like Stone Bubble multiple times. I don't even want to say it. It's disgusting. I don't want to put any bad juju. So I'm just going to just say I feel feel your pain. Yeah. And I hope it doesn't happen to me anytime soon. <laughs> it's not a good feeling. <laughs> Sam Sullivan, Nikolai, leveraging his stack into other people's stacks. That's a good point. Didn't think Aram was going to jam there. I did not either. That was surprising to me, though he was just not having it. I like the move there from Nikolai. Yeah, it's one of those spots where when you're the big stack and you're facing a middling stack, the ICM pressure is the highest on them. You can kind of three bet any two. We have a similar situation right here with the same two players, but Nikolai lays it down. He does not want to be re-jammed. Will Connor defend here with his 4-3 of clubs? He wow, will. He if he sees some clubs, it's going to be night-night for Connor. Wheel draw. Ace, top pair for Aram. Six thousand, just one big blind, the absolute minimums, and Connor will continue. Nowhere near as often. Probably not a Rom's favorite card. Checks it back. Connor just four high. Will he try and represent trip eights? He will not. Waves the white flag. It was check, check. Nice. Nice is good by a mile. Connor's stack dwindles further. Part of the value bet there. I'm not saying you should have value it. I'm just saying. When you checked out on the river, you sounded kind of sad. You're like, just an ace. Sound inflated, I agree. Really? I just, I don't know. It's high. <laughs> on that ganja? I am right. I'm talking weed is bad. Hmm. Nice. God, God forbid this. You know, I lost $250,000 because of two ounces of marijuana. Really? What? That weed was legal in California. And I'll tell you guys when the time's over. Interesting story coming up here from Aram. Lost how much money with how many ounces? Sorry, tilting to say it. No, no, I brought it up. I'm not trying to get in anybody's business. I'll be the first one to. No, no, I'm gonna tell the table. I'm just saying I'll say it. I've heard it before. Yeah, you heard it. The story? It's just tilting to like to say while he's tanking, and then he folds. Like, what happened again? And I'm like, fuck, I want to keep saying what happened. It's so tilting. It's always a. Like he's oh, shuffling. Quarter mil on two ounces. Uh, two ounces? Of marijuana. It cost me 250k cash. Dollars. Yeah. Quarter mil. Check. I'm interested to hear how that happened. It was very, it was, I was very sad. Probably cost me like a million given what happened afterwards. I was playing tilted. So I went to Miami like two weeks ago and I flew from LA. And I always bring weed wherever I fly usually. Mm -hmm. Except to Dallas, because, well, after what happened, I'm not traveling with weed anymore ever anyways. Um, so I flew into Miami, and as soon as I got my check-in bag, uh, like after I landed, uh, as soon as I grabbed it, a DEA agent walks up to me, flashes his badge, and then it's like, yeah, the dog smelled your bag. And then they took me to the back room. They confiscated the weed, and they searched me. And they, I had a quarter million cash, but I had, like, tax papers and stuff like that, and receipts and they were like they just still confiscated it mm. saying it was drug trafficking or whatever yeah and oh. it's still a forfeiture law so i got a fight to get it back Six wow it hurts like a pain in the ass to get it back a like super pain in the that ass that is my absolute nightmare it looks really Every bad time to travel travel with cash. Cash. 250 in cash and just together it's, it's hard to be like well come on you're not you're not like you don't have this much cash and just little yeah, exactly. weed and you're not trafficking it just it just doesn't look it's it, like it's, the, it's a bad it's just it's i i fucked myself i got fucked Flying with 250 in cash, going to Florida for some WPT tournaments at the Seminole. 
He's gonna try. try now. Friendly two ounces of weight, DEA agents, no money? Wow. He's, he's not gonna not try for that much money. And you thought you had a yeah, bad boy, night boy, tonight, boy. Slick Rick. Give it, give well, it a good to, old try. Not to further tilt you, but why do you travel with weed? You can score weed anywhere in the world. It's sometimes, I mean. man. Yeah. But Rob needs his greenery. Did I hear you say the lawyers take like a percentage of the cash? 10 to 33 percent. That's sick. We gotta pay him penalty. That is sick. Connor all in here with his pair of queens. James open ended. He's gonna gamble with the big stack. Nikolai into the muck, and Connor needs to fade. Good luck. Can't remember what I had. Our queen jack is hand. Combo draw for James. Any club. Open ender. He is the equity favorite. Connor, the best hand currently, technically. Too many VP. I was going to follow two games. He folded. And there it is. Not over, though. River needs to boat up for Connor. He. Will not. Eliminated on the stone cold bubble. Leaves with zero. Never pulled. He's got an orange hat. He's got a nice hat. Good game, sir. He's got some crooked glasses, but he's played well today. He's enjoyed his time at the lodge. It's nice to meet both of us making the money. All four of these players now guaranteed at least $37,600. And you see Connor exiting the studio. Disappointed. Adam. Adam. But Adam. You can call me Adam. A lot of people like I speak I, Russian fluently. When I first started playing cash, uh, like commerce, everyone called me Adam. Okay. So what would you prefer me to call you? I don't even people call me Adam to be honest. Okay. All right, we're gonna call him Adam. Adam, you said that Isaac was gonna bust in fifth. <laughs> yeah, I did. Isaac defied all expectations. Maybe four now. That ace's hand was key. That, yeah, you know. That's a key. key you're lucky hand. he wasn't suited. Yeah. He's right. supposed to be suited when he rips it, right? And then you're dead. Yes. Twelve. I would have been dead. <laughs> I would have had another Bing story to add to the list of Bing bust outs. Bing be fucking you. That'd be a great one. He gets it in. King Queen. Where are the blinds on six? Adam Connor looks Adam like Ali Najad a little bit. Does he not? Am I the only one? Sorry. What usually happens is people think this, yeah. like when the same exact spot Bucket Queens back, for they, like, think Mr. Like, DEA. Balanced. And then mm. if they like go for it with the opposite. So, you probably just so I think he had it the first time. Mm -hmm. 250000 dollars confiscated at the airport. Nikolai under the gun crabs. Lays it down. He hates it. Stares off into the distance. It's a great lay down under the circumstances. And Safi's just like. Like she's working at the cemetery, just eliminates the chair, walks the person out, and then just walks the chair out. All right, so I go out and grab a slice, and then we have four players. Connor was burst. Connor no longer with us. You missed a great story, by the way. Did I? You sure did. <laughs> Aaron, we're going to call him Aaron moving forward. My own island over there. Pluto, Florida. He likes his greenery. All right. Had some greenery in his bag. Oh, and a, and a casual $250,000. Mm. I'm sure TSA loved that. Uh, gets get his bag, gets pulled over by some DEA agents. Why not? Say, why do you have all this weed? Why do you have all this money? Confiscates the money. Oh, no. 
He told the story. Not, I, not me. I, I can't even imagine. <laughs> I would lose my mind. I mean, one, I would never do that in the first place. Yeah. You know, fly with the greenery. Wire, wire the money. Nah, those banks, though. Those pesky banks. Straight cash, homie. Not, not to be trusted. Yeah, that's wild. Casual quarter mill. The back seat. Gone. Check. Dusted. But if he wins this tournament, he's well on his way, dude. Breaking even. Securing <laughs> those lost funds. RL from Chatsville still up late at night. 12.05 here in Texas, and we are not tired yet. Still going strong. Pair for Isaac. Straight draws. Nikolai open-ended. Checkmark for Isaac. Shields with the two dollar super chat for the greenery and the dollar dollar bills. Showing off that money. Really putting his money where his mouth is. Is Kelly Shields a dude? Yes. Confirmed just, just, earlier in chats. Just making sure. You never know. You never know these days. Look at this Nikolai running one. Trying to push Isaac around. Is he going to let him? Hey, you could, hey, how are you guys so friendly just from playing the tournament? So many bluffs missed. So Isaac with no spade or club in his hand. Oh. Nice. Would be a great call yeah, if he could stiff like this that? out for 36000 oh, I mean, nice <laughs> Who cares what I sent you? Imagine I sent you one more. You probably would have lost. It wouldn't have been as good as it is now. Block straights. I'm not complaining. <laughs> the seven. The, the words you are hearing are not complaints. I didn't, say, I didn't send you a Still hard to call here with just a four <laughs> shitty <laughs> kicker. I'm probably going to have to blame the dealer on that one. If, if that's my one misstep this tournament, I'll take it. I won't even call it a misstep. I overplayed a margin. It's going to lay it down. I, I'm losing to so many hands here. Especially Does not look happy about losing. the situation at the very well, least. Maybe turn, but I don't know. Well, that's, that's where I... You got two pair, the pot's pretty Robert big. Robert Nelson says, easy call. I thought we were at 80. Oh, oh reaching for the call. It makes calls. calls. Good job. Wow. Nice job, Isaac. I think... Thought he was really close to setting wow. up into the mock. Then thinks about it for a couple more seconds and you know, flicks in the chip there. correctly. Take from Nikolai. Knocks a piece off Nikolai. I think now James is the chip leader. It's a great call there from Isaac. And if Kelly Shields wants to communicate via Super Chat, we'll allow it. Mr. Shields. I think it's okay. You know how much he lost last month on the site that I play on, on ACR? I'm good. You might ask the other one. 500, right? Tic Tac, Tic Tac. He lost 500. I thought you don't play. You know everyone's name. Even I know that guy. I mean... I saw Nacho in person at the right Monte Carlo last week. Ticky tack, you know, if you know that he's ticky tack, then you, you know some ACR. Oh, I, so you know my I know, name. I know screen names. But you know my name? I don't think I, Suwoop, right? You said both. B-I-G-S-O-O-W-O-O. Big Suwoop. Big Suwoop. Have you played with me, Isaac, on there? Not on ACR. You I, played, I, ACR? I played with you on, on Global way back a few times. What was your name on Global? It was uh, Venom. Yeah, Venom. <laughs> I remember Venom. You remember? Yeah. I forget if you played PLO or not. I think I played some Hold'em back then. Nikolai Ace King. Sick. Nice hand to pick up. I do so you remember Especially that. against yeah. King Jack. You were a legend back then, man. People like Easy to defend know, from James. Right? Like people either love me or hate me. Two big stacks. I was definitely a legend. I we get that flop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why you were a legend. I used to tell people fucked up shit. I, I know. <laughs> I like... I used to tell people, like, yeah. <laughs> I think I told one kid that plays the tour regularly. Snap call from James. 
hardly I thought about it. Something sexually with his mom. <laughs> like, yeah, like something Five doesn't change anything. Seriously, like, I can childish. Believe that. I can believe that. Like, I feel like in those in those games, like everyone was kind of like a douchey schmuck. It was the wild west out there. Like the, all the players in chat, right? They were like, all oh, everyone was pretty like toxic. Anybody who took the time to chat was was toxic. Yeah, yeah. So I would just like let them have it. I thought it was funny. I was like, well, to me, it's just all troll yeah. when you say anything, you know, online chat. Yeah. Nikolai's still betting. Twenty-four thousand, small bet, one third. This one guy was running hot. I'm not gonna say which site. James will lay it down. Value betting. The ace high. Who are you beating me up from overseas? I was like, your plane's gonna crash. We're not here already. There's no way. James and Nikolai neck and neck. Well, I was with the lead. When I was bluffing, I heard the Adam say about. I know what you're talking about. Like we seemed like we were best friends coming in, but yeah, we just got friendly. Because um, James made a big comeback. He had like 20,000, got up to our table. And just, He's yes. the one who left him with 20,000. Yeah. And he just made a great, great comeback. And look, right. look where you're at now. You got to, yeah, you got to win. We got to talking and got friendly. Yeah. How long have you been in Texas? Since two days ago. Side raises huh? 12,000. Long enough to make 300k. Wow. Jax yeah, no, for Nikolai. I, didn't win three, I, I came third. Starting to sun run this final table. Wow. How'd you win 300 then? I did. Oh. He's counting this one. This is only 176. It's not even enough. To... What's your name? Savvy. If 176, 720 bucks isn't enough to take Savvy out. What a shame. I'll buy you a new book. There's a three bet. I'll take you shopping. I'll buy you a book cover. Two bowls. That's Actions on these, sir. Wow, look at this. <laughs> this is good. Paul Edwards, thank you so much for the super chats. You ever been at Barnes & Noble? <laughs> I got some fire covers over there. What's up, Paul? Good seeing you. Bright and early, Friday. In what Perth. Aaron trying to take his best <laughs> shot at Safi here. Meanwhile, it's 10-9 and Jax. You didn't see the kid where he was like, name 10 bucks. Heads up. He's like this. He's like this little trolley kid on the internet. Like you know, Aiden Rosses and stuff. He's like one of those like YouTuber kids. Nine and uh, wow! What's in the what? Flop boat here for Isaac. Nine's work, full. And he just snuck on stage and was like, he said something about Bill Clinton. He wasn't even supposed to be on stage. Depending on the runouts. This could get him, very, very expensive like, for Nikolai. Four girls that were like content creators, like OnlyFans girls, and he was like, name ten bucks. And she's like, Game of Thrones. She couldn't name a book. He's like, that's not a book. You haven't seen this? It's like a super viral like thing that's been going on. It's like a short. 25,000. She was like, uh, she was thumped. Isaac, was, it's, it's mm, what do I do? What do I do here? What? Name 10 books? When he tells the girl name Seem kind of adjust. Body language here, now hand on the shoulder, trying to remain calm. I have no social Can't media believe media. this flop right now. 25,000 like flicking the call. You open YouTube, it pops up. Oh. You know, like those YouTube shorts? It won't be hard to get stacks in later. That king may slow things down a little. It's super, it went super yeah. viral. It's hilarious. Look at my Nikolai blocking the, the Jack though, Queen. He went on Aiden Ross's podcast. And everyone was like, cringe, cringe. Like the what is Isaac calling with, though, on that flop? Perhaps clubs, although so you have a club in your hand, so less likely. A 10. We can go now, right? Only beating the 10, really, if you're Nikolai. Could have something like 8s or 7s. There's no value to be had. Exactly. That king peeling. He's going to go for it anyway. That's what you love to see when you flopped a boat. What does Isaac want to do here? Take charge of this hand, set up a river jam. Thinking perhaps maybe Nikolai does indeed have that king. Be 
saw these two tango not too long ago where Isaac made a great hero call there on the river. He just flats the 39,000. To the river we go. Pot growing. Hand number 153. Your Isaac, you're going to check this one again. Nikolai goes for two streets of value. Can he go for three? Less likely. I think he'll be satisfied in checking this one down, and he does. <laughs> Isaac says, I win. Nikolai says, yes. Yes, you do. Nice hand. And Isaac now. <clears throat> hipping up nicely. Jesus. Where'd, everybody running. Else, where'd everybody else go? Leave. We might be on a break now. Potentially. Yeah, you are pretty close to that. I think we are. Yes, indeed. Look at that, James. 94 big blinds, Nikolai. Down to 72 was leading the field by quite a bit. There are the payouts once again. We are in the money, folks, so everyone is going home with at least 37600 but potentially more, depending. And while we've got a minute for the break, we'll be back in about 12 minutes. I'm going to show you guys some highlights in the meantime. You're that confident. Oh. You're that confident. Oh, oh my now God. we have yeah. now we have an issue. Okay, code don't watch. I need you to get stop playing with chips in the box because then you keep touching my cards. Hey, that's a little like you know. I'll let you, I'll let you, you say you're the guy who's trying to try and play minutes. dirty. <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to play king of my cards. Well, you, you want your own way to play dirty, and I can't play your own way to play dirty, too. My kind of He's way. Shuffling I look over, <laughs> my cards. I look over, and Douglas shuffling shit on, <laughs> on my fucking cards. You know it's going to be a good game. My Doug's already like laughing like he was in hour 12 and now you can't even handle on hour number one on Saturday. <laughs> I can't. I can't. You got me, bro. That, that's what breaks me is the chip shuffling on my cards. <laughs> Anything else is okay. Is you shuffle chips on my cards. You're, you're the person smack. who squealed like a little girl just for a second and chip shuffling over. Yeah, it's just, I am. Over your cards. This is fucking brutal. Both players with a pair backdoor <laughs> clubs for Nick. We have Joey Ingram here itching to get into the studio to have a chat with Mr. Airball. That's going to happen at 1,500 uh, likes as Dan hits trips here on the turn. 75, 200, 50. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen someone shuffle chips on someone's cards before. <laughs> he's still looking at this. He's doing it again. He's moving my cards. He's looking at it while he's doing it. He's using... <laughs> I I like, when they started, like they were like on top of each other. Now look at them. Uh, honestly, you should move them once you get them in the boat. No, but now I'm kind of enjoying the, the theatrics. Of yeah. it. <laughs> it, it's fine. It's just the first time. I think it should be a That reader definitely needs to be at best, like two inches that way. One point. Needs to what? The reader should be Put it right two inches. We, we have a new table coming. It's going to be bigger. This table's just wrong. Yeah. It, Check mark here. I saw it not banned today. So it's, it's for jungle, yeah, this man. table is pretty small. It's almost done. But you know, we could make a rule where you're allowed to shuffle your chips on somebody else's cards. That oh, could be like an oh, official rule of the lodge. That seems like a phenomenal rule. Okay. Looking around. Hairball goes for the $400 extremely <laughs> small block bet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and starts shuffling <laughs> on his chips. Like, if, if it's heads up, you must shuffle your chips on somebody else's cards. That's funny. I don't know if you guys are listening, but Taras in the background is like a bad idea factory. Of course. <laughs> Let's smoke in the lodge. What's the worst that can happen? What are you going to do? Carry us out? The guy's yeah. 4,000 so, pounds. Yeah, let's just shuffle the chips uh -oh. on other people's cards. Big race Whoa. here. Plaques in play. From 400 to what was that? 50,000? 55.4. He's blocking some boats there with his niner. And start shuffling on the man's ships there, and that is wow. Cool. Oh, what a disrespect! <laughs> yeah, there we go. This is excellent. This is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Just shuffle. <laughs> this is excellent. The 
Knicks. <laughs> we know Dan never ever folding here. Willie's probably thinking about raising or just calling the 55. Don't gonna hyperventilate. Oh man. Table now. <laughs> Hush. Airball's gonna be a little tilted here when he finds out he's gonna be losing this hand. No way Dan folding the trip aces here. Even though the flush gets in there, doesn't have any diamonds in his hand. But he's gonna lay this down. Clock. Clock, clock oh, from airball. One minute or thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Taking way too long for fifteen. He might lay this down. All in, you can for an hour. Blocking boats, flushes out there. Stay close by today, buddy. <laughs> Dang, Airball saying I'm be calling clock all day. And you see, Dirty Dan here is a little he's bit confused, tilted. He's losing his focus, but can he sip this one out and make the call? Trip aces. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Seemed like that clock was called a little bit quick, but players saw Dan's tanking yesterday, and they're setting the tone early. And we are coming down to the wire here. Probably about 10 seconds left. 10 more seconds. If I were Dan, I would call and slow roll in this spot. Lays it down! Lays wow. it down! Wow, he's getting shown the bluff 100%. <laughs> You're my bitch. Don't forget. Oh! Wow. wow. You're my bitch was just Fucking uttered. easy poker, Jungle. Oh, man, that was an incredible You're my bitch. Don't raise my $400 bets. Wow. I didn't know that I He just dropped that bomb on him. He was talking about it. Let the right. smoke I rise. His name Brian. It took him forever to say his I'm a good actor. Is that him, no? Conch Dan, three betting. Ace Queen off suit. Airball with a sneaky eight six of diamonds. I have a feeling he's not going anywhere. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Sappy, there's a hand coming up where Terrace wins a big pop with clubs out there. Can you ask production or someone in that room when it comes on, what two cards did he have? Jack, ten of clubs. Against me. Yep. I pulled in a request. We have lots of monster flop for Nick Airball. She's going to say ace five of diamonds. Watch. Check Ray is going to be incoming here if Dan so goes for the C bet, and there, there it is. Do you want me to just take care of this right now? Is it on? Yep. They're, they're, I know what they're going to say. It's so obvious. They're going to say Ace Five of Diamonds, and He's then so all of you guys are just going to look, like, look like clowns. Nope. Ace Five of Diamonds. Bo both cards diamonds. I know, and he's in this room. Yeah. Production won't know. Yeah. 16,000 from That's Nick. What I'm who's been owning Jungle Man so far, 60 hands in on a Saturday here in Austin. Get in, get in, get in. I mean, it was a great hand. We got another classic air ball, dirty dance. Kind of like something about watching high stakes poker in Texas with cowboy hats. Everybody enjoying the moment here. Here we go. Big Pot Energy lock in here. Oh, and the action no card fair. that everybody wanted to see. God, well, give this dealer a raise, I Kevin. This you're getting a raise. You I feel so fucking strong right now that you don't have a little bit of pot control really? there like, from Koch Dan. Yeah, and what's going to be the wager? Oh, now it's not two pair. What a river. I know what you have. I know what I have. This hold table on, can't on, shut on. up. You want to bet? Hold on. And Nick Terrace? Airball, flush. I will bet Check you the turn. Koch Dan, top yeah. two. That you did not Big have bets incoming here. Over bets coming. How much is the wager going to be? How much is Nick going to go for? He might even just. 75,000. He might just stuff it on him. Imagine if Airball just rips it off. You're not taking that bet? Imagine. I would. I think he will. I would. Oh my god, how good am I? How good am I? What do you think, do you think about 10 k Could be 75 on the head, Jay. Yes, it has to be a bet. You can't, you can't offer wow. that. Big big binding. Wow, Snap call. You gotta, you gotta Ship offer it. Semi-binding. Semi-binding. Semi Ship it. Let's go. Semi-binding. Semi. We got Dirty Dan again. How fucking good am I? How much is Dirty Dan? 
fucking good. We got him for 2x on the river, too. No. Snap call with the 2x. You should fold. That's an easy fold. Oh my god. That's the idiot who called a queen. You're that kind of. Oh, oh my God. now we have <laughs> now we have an issue. Uh -oh. Why are you so confident? No way that just happened. Damn. Clubs out there, Terrence was a bot. I wasn't No way. We got a little something forming here. No, there, there were clubs out there. I should have shoved the river right down. Doug missed that walking away from the table. Shoved the reading though, you know. Jungle man. Frustrated out of his mind. The table is about a, a hundred million decibel level. Yeah. And he is getting owned by Nick Airball. Doug, you know why I didn't accept that? One K is not enough. You're just you're just bluffing now. I I, I lose. It's I gonna lose. take a while to stack all those shits, huh? What's up guys, Dog Polk here, and today I want to tell you about my favorite place to play poker, the Lodge Poker Club. The Lodge is a members only social club here in Austin, Texas, and I gotta say the action is wild. I don't know how many thousand big blind pots I've played in my life, but they mainly happen at the Lodge. Also, the staff is fantastic. We have some of the best dealers in the entire country, and the room is huge with over 80 tables. We're the largest room in Texas, and actually just straight up one of the largest poker rooms in the world. I know what you're thinking. The Lodge sounds great, but exactly what's going on there? Well, like any other good poker room, we've got two kinds of games going. We have cash games, and we've got tournaments. Our cash games include everything from 1 2, 1 3, 2 5, and higher depending on the day. And we've got 1 2 running just about every hour around the clock. So if you want to play a cash game, the Lodge has one going right now. Also, the Lodge has tournaments. Two tournaments every single day one in the afternoon and one in the evening. So you can stop by and play one of the many tournaments that we offer. We'll certainly have a tournament for you. A few times a year, we also have big tournament series going with our Lodge Championship Series, which happens every year before the World Series of Poker, and our Mayhem Series, which happens a couple times over the course of the year, that tends to have an $1,100 million guaranteed prize pool main event. Like the sound of what you're hearing? Head on over to LodgePokerClub.com or just Google search for Lodge Poker Club. I'm sure you're going to find us. I look forward to seeing you over at the Lodge. All right, you guys, we are back. Greg Potter in the booth will be joined shortly once again by Skull Mike, maybe just for a little while. I think Skull is going to head out here in just a moment, but that's fine. I can take the reins, run this guy solo till the end, and we are going until the end. We are currently in the final four. Everyone in the money, $176,000 up top. Everyone going home with at least $37,600. This six max watch championship series high roller event. And we are going to get back into the action here as the break comes to an end once all the players have returned. James sitting in 94 big blinds, Isaac 63, Nikolai 63 as well in a ROM. 45. It was so hot. Still anybody's oh, game at this oh, time, but James has got to be feeling pretty good at the moment. Earlier, it was brutal cold, or brutal hot. Only two players at the table right now. Everyone else still on the way back from their break. They moved us around, so you're... There's a Rob. And Nikolai. Safi going to get them wanted. Yes. They will sit down, and we will start battling once again. Thank you guys all for tuning in to the Lodge on your Thursday evening. 
five oh going hard on, on the bubble, huh? Miss right, miss right behind. <laughs> I just saw it right now. There are still just about a thousand of you watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. If you have not already, do us a favor, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Thank you for tuning into the Lodge live stream. All the poker action you could ask for tournaments, high stakes, cash games, whatever you want. We give it to you here at the Lodge live stream. Yeah. Like three seventy. Or well, I'm going to call on the small blind. Isaac will check his option. Two five. See the flop. Rom still maintains the lead with his nine high. Anthony. This will be a case of you bet you win. I believe. Umid says, what are the payouts? We just had him up there, Umid. You're on the tournament clock. First place, $176,720. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Bet from Aram. Bet from Aram and a fold from Isaac. The hand is over, folks. As we see, tournament director Anthony struggling like to get that clock. Back on screen. Ten. I'll get you when we. Was it ten nine nine or ten Thank ten you. nine? Ten nine nine. What, what, could you describe the feeling inside? I don't really feel anything anymore when I play poker. Oh, <laughs> I'm just so dead inside. Numb, numb, numbness. Yeah, no, I feel that. Andrew Nimi yeah, popping like in the chat. We got energy yeah. drinks at the lodge, right? Like you happy or sad that you're we certainly do. <laughs> above, and above average. Over at the coolers bar. I'm winning, I'm sad. Plenty of. When I'm losing, I'm happy. <laughs> different drinks. Alcoholic or otherwise to choose from. I myself am going with cold brew. That I'm numb inside. And I said it makes me cold brew at midnight here. Because then I don't feel bad. Round Rock, Texas. But when I'm winning, it's a great mix. But I, I don't feel good. Highly recommended. Not gonna lie, with the nine six off. Nine six off's gotten in the mix quite a lot today. And it continues to do so. Yeah. Defense is big blind. That's like 200. Go check. check. Gutter ball for Nikolai. Three changes nothing. Clyde will take a stab. Aram going nowhere. Naked is high. In a gutter. Nikolai, though, binks his on the river. Much easier to bluff when you, in fact, have a straight. I will bet it. Flush does come in as well.
Well, I'm really thinking this one over. thinking about here just no spades in our hands yeah i don't Got know the six blocker too but the blocker means nothing when they actually have it the nine six nikolai and the big blind could have any pair that has you beat there and he lays down just not buying really what nikolai was selling but didn't have enough to four deuce, four deuce. aces <laughs> aces he says how's it always aces nikolai i mean geez have you seen how i've been running so, I think you had it that time. Hope you had it. Nikolai, that's his answer? Always aces? I mean, always yeah, aces. That's what he said every time yeah, anyone's asked. He says, always oh, aces. King 10, Jack 10. Yeah. This guy gets aces more than anyone I know. Like in the streets, I'm just getting big hands and getting people <laughs> freeway all in. So, the second that's. So, is that the play? Just always aces? Always aces. That is a, a very solid strat. I'm going to start using that. How much you got over there? I don't know. I'm not sure if it works. Like two. It's got a lot of chips. Just like a little I call. Two. Two forty. Still has a sticker on his hat, though. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> really not a fan of those stickers, are you? No. Not a good look. Three sixty. Nikolai will limp his small blind James. Thank you. Oh, Raising it up. 20, 20. Come on. What? 28, you said. Yeah. If we get heads up and you want to chop, I'm going to ask for like 3K. More than I That's know. okay, because I'm not going to ask for a chop. Okay, good. Last oh, one. wow. Look at this, Nikolai. That would be a sharp move. Top two pair, James. Okay. Top pair and a straight draw. I like the way you think. This is a massive cooler. Ambitious. Between the two largest stacks at the table. Healthy bet from James. What level is after 10? Is it 6, 12? Two thirds pot, roughly. I don't know. Is there a 15 level? Like, what are, what are, what is, what is good stuff to know? I'm going to ask him. <laughs> I don't think you have to knock. <laughs> Nikolai thinking, do I call? Do I raise? If so, to what size? Taking a lot of time here, though, on the flop. Sometimes it's okay to knock on the inside. Going to raise right now, it looks like. Very large. I don't know if it was locked. All of the blues, those are 25K a pop. Very nice. You start with like 400? About. 260 back. Call. James here makes the call, not ready to release the queen jack here in this pot massive. 139, right? You know who always looks at me when there's like something crazy? Nikolai first to act down. on the turn, and he's he's just like looking likely to jam. Unless it's a spade, oh, yeah, straight also he gets there the six man. sevens yeah. of the world. So not the card that really Nikolai wanted to see, but we are... Four-handed, all players in the money. Will he still go for it here and unload? I forgot what it was, just like crazy action, clean, 
Jordan just looks at me again, and I just had a good flashback of like at the Aria, because he just always was staring at me like, yo, look at these guys, they're going nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stacks are incredibly shallow. Nikolai. He's always telling stories too. Only about a two thirds yeah, pot right. bet remaining. Maybe, maybe Didn't want to see that card though. Yeah, that is about as bad as it gets yeah, in terms of like, turn like cards, like though. Yeah. I'm not sure he's worried he's as much about straights. Maybe not even flushes. James doesn't love that card either. Was blocking the Jack 10. He probably made a lot, you know? The only thing I'd be worried about is Nikolai is not getting the value that I would have otherwise gotten. You know how you used to play a lot back in the day? I believe it. No, I said you know who you want to go to. Spots are always so interesting here because you raise massive there on the flop. SPR less than one. ICM implications in play here. This is a very critical decision. Lost for sure. I wouldn't be surprised to see Nikolai still go for a small bet. Like, it looks like he's carving out, and he does. Down bets it. It's interesting. This is very interesting. James made a play similar similar to this versus Ben earlier. Check raising. Induce the jam. 69,000 late on a Thursday night. Pot at 4.11. This is awkward. Just as awkward as this bet is for Nikolai, it's just as awkward for James. If you're calling the flop, you've got to call the turn, right? 69,000. Pot now at a half a million. for you, George. Mad Burnout just gets worse and worse for Nikolai to get paid. Tricky spot. What was the sizing to check raise on the flop to 151, somewhere around that? 129, something, what? something like that. I don't know if it was a quite. Yeah, what sounds about? And then down bets to 69,000 on check. the turn. Queen nine. Goes check, check, right wow, James could not have checked back faster. I don't want another chip to go in this pot. Oh, good hand. Thank you. Nikolai, just like that, nice river. vaults right back into the lead. Winning an absolutely massive pot and 156. Nice. Was it the hand before I folded it over to you? Was it literally the, the hand before? Yeah, I think, think so. so. Sorry, do you, do you mind, like, when it's a big pot to, like, not talk as much? Sorry. I, uh, yeah, I didn't want to say anything in the middle of the hand, but just, I don't know. It's kind of hard to think a little bit. Sorry. No, it's okay, it's okay. Just when it's, like, a kind of big fair, pot. No, no, very fair. Thank okay. you. Sorry, yeah, mm -hmm. I'll do it. My bad again. Oh, no. King 10 suited for Isaac. It's taking less time. It's just hard to think a little bit. I like chatting. I don't want to be like too serious, but one is a big pot. Don't want to be too serious, but this is serious money. I think we can forgive you for being serious. Rob will defend the 6-3. I thought you were waiting for some big confirmation on the thing. They usually <laughs> and wow, look at this flop for Isaac. Just flops it all. <laughs> Aram drawing to what? Runner straight? Fold immediately. Well, 4 5, runner, runner. You got it, bro.
the chip counts for you, Nikolai. We heard it. It's true. Up to 84 big, gl big blinds. Yeah. Isaac, 48. James, 39. Aram, 27. Yeah. A lot of pressure on the three short stacks at this point. Me too. <laughs> Nikolai. It's life-changing. Can apply a lot of that pressure if he so chooses. This is, in fact, the final table of the six max. We are in the money. All four players going home tonight with at least 37,600. 176,000 up top. So far, all I did was fold and make the money. Oh, well, I had to go all in with at least five once. But he had 10 five. What the hell? He was digging around all around. Then he, had, he, then he had, like, a good hand where I was going to fold. He had, like, 10 jack. And then he folded. He's like, what this guy? 10 jack, I'm going to just jam. Yeah, 10 jack the next time. You're right. No, I'm saying, like, not spot the like, big blind. So you kind of want me to, you kind of know I have a good hand, and you want me to kind of bust that other guy to your left, right? That was weird. I don't know. I don't know how to play tournaments. I mean, they're really weird and strange, but, yeah. Usually the last person to speak pre-flop wins. Usually. <laughs> That's a good uh, point. What do you think, Isaac? I concur. Last person to speak pre-flop in a tournament usually gets it through, especially on the bubble. Have you played, like, Rest of World Cash online? Huh? Have you played non-US sites Cash online? Well, shot of you in the background there, like I saw. Just chilling with Safi. Just chilling, man. His chairs are comfy. I don't blame you. Just want to get to the court side. That's a fun Peak. I basically... Table side. I emailed the side and said, I think the game's a scam. And I was like... And I said, like, I lost kings to King X nine out of the last ten times. Like, I was complaining. And saying that the game's a scam. Kind of trolling them a little bit. A little bit, yeah. And then they were replied back and we're like, we're sorry you're not having a fun time on our site and if you feel unsafe, it seems like you feel unsafe, so we're going to temporarily suspend your account. <laughs> and then it's been like a year and I haven't got my account. It's been like five, six months I haven't got my account back. Do you have like an, an agent for it? No, that, I was, um, whatever it's called, something, some, the three letters verified. KYC verified? Yeah, I was KYC. W which country? Well, I was playing from the U.S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mexico. Mexico, yeah. So you're able to, like, deposit crypto? It's all Bitcoin. For Bitcoin, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and one of my friends was, like, if I, if I, whenever I won, if I won really big, I would just transfer him all the money, and he would help move it around. Right, right, right. And I would give him, like, a small, small fee. Queen's here for James. Safi was reading me a little bit of a bedtime story by the fireside. I know you guys are jealous in chat. Yeah, I was playing like um, up to 200, 400 on there, like daily. Well, is it good? Huh? Did you do well? I think I lost 100K overall in cash on there. But I was winning on ACR during that time. So I might have won like 400K on ACR and lost 100 on GG. I think I won like a million in 2022 in tournaments. I had a good run. Subtle flex there from around. Sounds Just like a cool you million. Lucky. Lucky? Sounds like you got lucky. Really? I won a million in uh, yeah. tournaments. And you got to get lucky to win a million. And 300 in... Uh, Nikolai, Ace, King, James, King, like Jack. Tournaments. I won a mystery bounty tournament. Really? That, that big one with the one million mystery? It was a 2K buy-in. Jakey like says, Skull sounds nothing like he looks. What do you say to that, Skull? Top two bounty. I said, uh, pretty good. everyone's that entitled to their own opinion. <laughs> 280. I won 280, 140, and the tournament. So I won like 600K in that tournament. That was lit. What a board for absolutely no money to go in. Let's go check check. James playing... Speed poker. Straight. And how about Bink Bink? Maybe a little money will go in. Clyde does have the Ace of Hearts. That is somewhat relevant.
Kalai going to represent this queen. Though his hand does have showdown, he could check call. 44. James with a snap call. Snappy this guy. Does not like to waste time. We appreciate that. Pretty much a brick. Nikolai going to empty the clip. Give it up, wisely so. James will bet eighty-six thousand. Not worried about a damn thing. Holding the coconuts. Half your opponent in the blender, thinking about being a hero with ace high. You do block the straights. Good bet. He also blocks some of the bluffs. Does let it go as we see Jalen Poker pop into chats. How's it going, Jalen? Poker up past his bedtime? Should have been asleep hours ago, my man. He's got a baby. What's your biggest tournament score, Isaac? 1.1 million? Million? No, when? A year and a half, two years ago. Second in the win millions. Oh, you got second? Yes, sir. Is that the year Andrew yep. won it? Uh, the one after. Uh, Tony. Tony something. Tony. Oh, the year Tony won it. Tony Bad beat me, too, in that tournament, deep in the money. Oh, right here? I, I don't know. I don't want to. Doesn't matter. Does the world really want to look at That is quite, quite a win. 1.1 million. The win millions. Must be nice. Must be. Oh. Be nice. One point one. Couldn't close the door though, huh? Couldn't take home the trophy. I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be. But he wasn't. Might hurt in the moments. But I don't think I would be too upset taking home one point one million. He was there with Mike, and we just were having dinner, and then I was just. I didn't know who it was, and then he told me that he won that tournament. I was like, holy shit. So I, now I know who you. It's a good one to win. It's a good one to win. Good one to get. Aces against Jack's heads up. On seven, seven, six, seven, king. <laughs> Did win a trophy here at the lodge, though, a couple nights ago. PLO champion, 3K buy in. All these players here during this high roller series, extremely talented. I overplayed the Jacks. Jamie wanted to get back on stream. Just um, run deep in the. Uh, in the main events, that's all you got to do. We'll be back on sooner than you know it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we'll be seeing Jay win on the cash streets here very, very soon. He's a staple. The gentleman of the lodge. Trip sixes for James. Goes for the check raise now to twenty two thousand. Aram wants to be known as Aaron. Does have the overs, the runner runner clubs. Likely not going anywhere just yet as he makes the call. Backdoor straight as well. That's not a great card, though. <laughs> Tell, you're telling me this is not scripted? James, however, will continue to bet his boats. Something weird's going on. It wasn't, it wasn't too toned, though. Rom. There's only one flush. Two pair with ace high. Drawing to a chop with the final seven in the deck.
Pangs in the chat as well as Rom makes the call, not going anywhere. Perhaps a believer, and that ace could cost him a lot of money. Could be the end of the tournament for him. James quickly Snap stuffs it. Snap jam. This guy does not like to waste time. Telling the story of a six or a seven. Both have the ace beat. Looked like Aram was a non-believer on all streets, and it's going to be hard when you call on flop, turn, and connect with this ace to get away from it. If he makes the call here, that's the end of his tournament. He's going home with how much? About 37,000? 37, 37, All players remaining would be guaranteed around 60,000? Correct. And we could be down to our final three. Now, 1 a.m. Friday morning here at the Lodge in Austin, Texas. Rob does have the ace of clubs. Block some of the potential bluffs. James would have had on flop and turn. Deep into the tank now. And he is uncomfortable. And he calls. Oh, that's it. Lucky I was playing with him. Rob is not. It's good to meet you, man. Look you pleased, well. but well, man. is still going home. Fourth place with thirty-seven thousand six hundred dollars. Let's go, Mike. This guy. I'm, Just thought you were psychic or something. I'm a little bit cold now. Walks him right out of the room. Should we do you mind if I ask? No, 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 no. I, no, 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 no. I, as long when as it's not. Back. And just like that, we are down to the final three of the Lodge Championship Series High Roller 10K buy in six max tournaments. I was sweating like a pig earlier. Thank you. I'm big, right? Yeah. You're massive. Thank you. I'm an aspiring fat guy. So how much do you have now, James? Sorry, like uh, the orange stack behind the. Four. Yes, it's four. Five sixty, like five ninety. Gotcha. Is it possible to not turn it down a little, like because it's a bit bit chilly? Yeah, is that okay? Yes, that's great. <laughs> there is a jacket. Do you mind? In the back of your chair, sir. You're free. And don't just mean you want to turn it up, not down. Yeah, no, you don't want to turn down the AC, turn up, you know. Yeah. However you want to interpret it. Here? Make it colder, please. I'm actually a little cold. But now. Yeah. 11K. Thank you. Isaac now our short stack at 382. All players still. Very healthy. Blinds have four, eight, eight. Forty-seven bigs for Isaac. As Safi removes another chair. Still anybody's game at this point. Nikolai and James neck and neck. Isaac, a little behind, but not by much. Certainly capable of coming back, taking the win. It was heads up when the ante stops, or? Oh. No, they're going to run it to the Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Doesn't it go to half ante, four, uh, less than 400? They're running it straight to it. Okay. 
No half annies today. We're getting the show on the road. Speed running it. Because yesterday it was like that. Like when it's when 300, they half the ante. King for Isaac. This is a six max. I'm not completely sure. Sure. Let you take this one. I'll play. Nikolai says, you know what? I'm going to let you have it, Isaac. I'm going to let you have it. I'm going to fold my absolute dusty, dusty cards. Well played, though. Well played. Bet top pair. Well played. This guy's too nice. Nikolai, if I jam the river, you call, right? You don't fold the queen nine? There is like one third of the pot behind, yeah. I think I'm calling. Yeah. Just I, on the I, off chance. I, well, I mean, I just don't think I can get any value out of jamming. Yeah. I just lose more chips. Did you have the jack of spades there? I did not. Mm -hmm. no. no. I had the queen of clubs and the jack of diamonds. 10 8 suited for Isaac. Nikolai. Small blind has a three bettable hand. Does in fact. Tune of fifty six thousand. Isaac's still pretty healthy. Ten eight does have a lot of playability post flop here in position, so Three bet size is 56,000. Isaac could peel here. C3, play. Doesn't look too interested the way he's holding his cards, though. Let's see. Cool. He's in there. Dominated and crushed against the King 10 of Nikolai. Pot at 128. And dreams of a gutter ball, backdoor hearts available. You are watching live free content from the Lodge Poker Club, quickly approaching 150K subscribers. Up past our bedtime, not for us, but for you, members of the world, as three gentlemen remain battling for $170,000. $42,000 is the C-bet number, and Isaac reaching for calling chips. He wants to see a turn card. Really hoping it's nine. That ain't a nine. Will Nikolai fire here again as this pot beginning to balloon? You know James is over there sitting on the other side of the table and says, okay, fine, knock each other out. Let me get my first ever six-figure score. And James is uh, looking for a bucket of popcorn, watching the carnage. This is another interesting spot here. If Nikolai slows down, what will Isaac do? He doesn't really have much showdown value in his 10 high. Does he want to try and represent a jack perhaps and take it down right now? Will he bet small? A little bit of a feeler bet. Good check. Could go around 60,000 or so. Both options are in play. Isaac, a very talented player. So let's see what he decides to do. He wants to see a free one. And it's a blank. So it's king high with the check mark. No showdown value here for Isaac. Imagine Nikolai's going to check it on over after a brief deliberation. And Isaac's going to be the one to see if he wants to take a stab at this pot. As the check comes through, could represent a seven. This pot's pretty big. Got to go for it, right, Greg? 
I think so. And the seven could be a good card. It represents. He would do a lot of calling the flop, checking back, turn. Board overall, I think, is still favorable for the three bet caller. Though a lot of draws did brick, including 10 8. If we're going to bluff at this, what's our sizing? I'm not sure you would need to go too big on this. Look at this stare from Nikolai here. He is not right. glanced away once. This is a man sitting here with all Did in. Did all in? Wow. Overbet jams is what he comes with for the bluff sizing. Every last one of his chips. And Nikolai is tingling here. He knows it's it's probably a bluff, but you still can't call with King High. Wow, he was asking for a count, though. You want to see your opponent sweat it out. Apply the pressure. Watch them. Watching the dealer carve out all those chips. While under the microscope. Nikolai's not going to call it off here with this king high here. With all these ICM implications. Still has a healthy stack. you got to admire this play from Isaac. We wanted to see the bluff. Wasn't quite sure what the sizing would be. And it's for every last one of his chips. Nikolai makes this call. Not making the call. If he makes the call. If he makes the call, man, this is going to be the wildest call. He's not making seen. the call. He's going to sit there and send him the mug. You can get some baby powder, pour it on your <laughs> hand, and slap me across the face, Gregory, if he makes this call. I'll allow it. You know what? I'll take you up on that. I have a wedding coming up next week. I'll, I'll show up with your handprint on the side <laughs> of my cheek if he makes this call with the king high. It's just the sickest thing, too, if for whatever reason Isaac chooses to turn ace high into a bluff and you call. Exactly. Got one of those it's right, very possible. But right but wrong scenarios. Yeah, it is. And this is truly disgusting. But the fact that Nikolai has not folded, I think, speaks to a skill level. To everyone's skill level in this tournament. All these players have been... Battling like this all day just shows you just how tough this high-stakes field is. He is not look like a believer. Wow. But he lays it down anyway, and Isaac did not even flinch during that entire... Nikolai, your re-raise pre-flop gets my seven out of there. Uh, definitely not what, uh, for the men, for the men, what Nikolai the wants to hear. If someone else folded a seven, much less likely Isaac had one. What an absolutely monstrous play from Isaac. Thank you. You got me good. Yeah, if you you call there with your king high, right, and you're right, but let's say you're wrong and you lose to ace high, which is extremely possible, you have a sick feeling in your stomach for about 12 days, <laughs> if not longer. So that would be a very sick feeling. Now the field, if you don't have relatively much, even, you know, anyone's ball it's really game good at this point. James, only the lead by a little bit. question is, could you beat a busted club draw? He had aces, James. He's not gonna have to call. He always had aces. Always has aces. You're too good, though. You're too sharp. Queen nine versus queen eight. I have this as well. Sorry. Mr. Nimi's in chat after his right. night out on the town and bagging a healthy stack for day two. Skull's cheeks are safe for now. For now, Andrew. I'm not, I'm not putting my cheeks up for, for grabs again, Greg. That was your know. one shot. <laughs> Same board, essentially. Got to go shake Nikolai now. Do you know what that cost me? You know what your fold cost me? Cost me the world, Nikolai. Jack seven, <laughs> deuce three. That's a joke, right? That's a joke. 
Paul Edwards says, I thought being sick for 12 days only occurred after a trip to Vegas with the boys at Skull. Yeah, that's, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Can't argue that one. Wow. Absolutely crushed. Absolutely crushed indeed. James, drag of pots. Out pipping Isaac. Queen high. Bob Motometti, okay, is this the final table? This is the final three. Does Bob just keep hitting and running the stream, leaving that's, and asking the same question? That's exactly what he's been doing. How about Bob just sits in one place on one channel, smashes the like button, and watches till there's a winner? Stop wasting my time, Bob. This is the 10K. Six max, three players remain. Next player busted, and two players are guaranteed six-figure scores as Nikolai looks down at his suitor, so, yeah, Ace Jack. Yeah, four, yeah. Four, yeah, four, five. Five, and then you got now I've got five. got 600K. And I, and I just punted off. How much do you... I <laughs> four, nine, four, <laughs> nine, <laughs> just put you back in there. What am I doing? How much did I just punt off there, Greg? <laughs> Several hundred thousand, I think. 35,000. After that little speech, what am I doing? Oh, I'll, 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 I'll raise. I'm going to raise it up. I'm going to raise. <laughs> James in the big blind with 6'2 says, yeah, okay, all right. Didn't need all that. You could just have it. You're too good to have this stack. Then in 2 2 2, you're too hard on yourself, man. <laughs> I just had this really, really suspicious feeling that you didn't have it, but. You were right. You were right. Sometimes. Just don't watch what I tanked. Just got to go with your guts, Nikolai. I shouldn't have tanked. Dig into the old days of poker. Well, that's all you had. Just go with your gut. King high? Call with King high. Bad King high. Shout out to Avi. Yoda. Blue Elvis. Beat Shack, everybody who's been here since the beginning. That includes Greg. I've been here since the beginning. And it has been a fire stream. Top pair for Isaac. I respect you a lot, Isaac. Wow. Bet Nicole. Five on the turn. Both players the straight draw now. Check, check. James going for it here. Call. Just a snap from Isaac. Isaac. James says, whoops. That's what you get for checking back some aces. Sometimes they just run a bluff. Shout out to Corey, Luke M for that comment. Appreciate you guys. Or, or what? I play PLO mostly. Kilo, would you say kilo cash first and foremost? Yeah. I just play tournaments when they run. Ragged says he showed up for Doug. Yeah. But he did indeed get wham bamboozled. All five buy ins or whatever it was. <laughs> but he'll be back tomorrow for the 25K. I believe it. Hopefully, not five buy ins for that event. You never know. Would, too rich. Wouldn't put him past him, yeah. Nimi, you playing the 25K? I know you're in there. You don't like these six max, but, you know, 25K. Let's get after it. Ace, Jack, Queen. I proposed a uh, multi-deck 1K massive racehorse. That's an auto win board. No. You didn't like that? <laughs> I mean, I think it would be entertaining. You get 25 straight get D-Gens, <laughs> a multi-deck racehorse. There would be 50 people surrounding each table. 
constantly. Think the about the energy and the only caveat is that the winner has to enter the 25K Ooh. right after the racehorse. Okay. That's the whole point. All right. We're not just going to do that. I could see that. I like that. I so like you're that. on board now. I'm on board now. Do I, you need, have I needed the ending. Do you have 1K to put up? No. <laughs> <laughs> but we can find 25 members of I'm, the lodge to do so. I am certain we could. I'm, I'm certain we could find even more than that. We'll find out tomorrow if that actually happens. And we'll see. It would, uh, or later today, that is, as it's one yeah. fifteen in the morning. Don't remind me. Uh, eight six for the Isaac James best hand King High. And McKenzie says Trust Fund Matt says he wants a seat. It's cool, Mike. You gotta let Trust Fund Matt back in. Trust Fund Matt says plenty of seats. If he wants a seat, he can enter the ten k, knock out a, bus, a bunch of people, and find himself here with the final three. Sometimes Trust Fund Matt needs to do his own dirty work, like our man Isaac. Isaac definitely doing the dirty work. The Vegas says, someone get Isaac some coffee. Someone get me some coffee. My cold brew is gone, and I'm upset about it. 100K here from Isaac with eight high. Starting to kick it into gear here. A lot of overbets from Isaac in the spots that definitely qualify. That seven's a brick. Starting to separate himself from the field. Like I mentioned a few times, he's already won the PLO high roller. Proving to the people of the world that he's not just a four-card player, even though he prefers the game. The great game. <laughs> That's a good question. He can make a couple moves with the two cards as, ooh. Whoops. Almost lose a card off the table, but nobody saw what it was. I think that would have been a first. Been a card launch off this table. Let's let's unionize me and you, James. I fold. The majority has it. Oh, he he says trust fund that wants the one K twenty five person satellite seat. We could lock him up for that. Lock him up. Lock it up. Poobah's still in the chats. You know what to do. He's Poobah's under his covers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's been out a while, I'm sure. But we do have tournament director no, right outside I'm these doors. I, really do. I think we can make it happen. Really need to get over he's, he's talking about how he should have called with King High, man. I don't understand poker sometimes. <laughs> I told you I called you down earlier with yeah. King High. Yeah, but that was a much different. The bet, the bet was we, like 15 we times good? smaller. No, of course not. I mean, he always has it. Have you not seen yeah, it? Yeah, it's not top three in the money, is it? Four. Nikolai's going to lose his mind when he finds out in 25 <laughs> minutes that he was good. <laughs> so he, the first break we have, he is sprinting to his phone. Did he have it? Did he have it? I would too. Let's be real. You don't have spies? I'm hoping shortly no. that Nikolai has spies <laughs> somewhere overseas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. Nikolai definitely has spies. And a sticker on his hat. Still there. It hasn't moved. Those chips are moving. It's three betting. And it gets Isaac to fold the better three. Well played. Can't wait to see. People will be like, what a fucking idiot. Why is he taking so long? It's because you knew, Nikolai. You knew. Probably just your ass. <laughs> You're most certainly right. I'm gonna let you have this one. Thank you. Can't play that. <laughs> James is like, you know what? You were very live. Thank you. Supposed to fold that, I think. Hi, King. Huh? RZ, one of Nikolai's spies. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it. They're they're out there. And you just give me one more chip. Yeah, exactly. No no point in limping them. I mean, my hands. It's always the nice guys that have the spies. He's so nice. He definitely has people chained in the basement somewhere just watching the stream with the phone. They can't leave until it's over. They get 3% of his winnings. He's got spies. That's easy peasy. 3%. That's a lot for people in chains. Yeah, but they're, they're on the clock. After the stream is, is over, they get released and they're, they're free. But while it's running, they're spies and they're stuck. 
taint. Yeah, three stacks of orange, like three and a half stack of orange, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Isaac, 64 BBs. Lines now 5, 10, 10. I think it's 650. I might have to go. Yeah, it's, it's roughly that. Some tens. Seeing the flop. It's like six mm -hmm. seven for Nikolai. Straight draw for Isaac. Double gutted. Nikolai going nowhere. Let's check, check. Then eight. Isaac. Gets there on the beautiful eight of diamonds. Nikolai with showdown value. Kings and sevens. Does he think he's good here? Does he want to go for a little value? A block bet? Will he check it over? Isaac checks over the straight, so what will Nikolai do? Is the action now on him? <laughs> Want to see if he goes for value or if he's just going to check it? He There's doesn't the check. check. Wisely. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Nikolai was like, I thought I had the best hand. Isaac would have gone for that check raise. He said, all right. All right. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, you have a straight. I probably, I probably shouldn't use words that sound so very similar. Off. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. It's also probably quite unreasonable <laughs> to jam like 11, 11 times the pot. I don't know. Might be solver approved. You never know, Nicolai. I think Isaac is very happy if he, if he thinks I went all in. Yeah, he, he did not want that check back there. <laughs> My kicker played. Water is wet. I was thinking, so maybe. Indeed. But nah. I'm just being silly. Isaac not taking his foot off the gas. He's inside Nikolai's head now. He knows it. He's inside. Living rent free. I call. I'm just going to call Queen Jack. Well, we have our first three-way pots. We do not. We're going to take this heads up. It says, somebody liked this video. I hate being like number 666. Devil. Gilbert says, I'm in your head, Skull Mike. Are you, Gilbert? thought you were a spy. Thank you. Can't get in my head, Gilbert. I'm cool as a cucumber. Don't get tilted. Don't get tired. <laughs> Don't get tilted, huh? Never? Not once. Don't really get tilted. Life is too short to be tilted. Ain't that the truth? We are going to do a dealer swap here. Say goodbye to Miss Hannah. Hello to Miss Jess. She's getting caged up. Back in the box. The bin man's gone, so he's uh, assuming the role of the bin man. Sending me to the bin, telling Nikolai, climb on in. Climb in. Climb in. In the dust bin. Come, come, Nikolai. Six, five. Boom. 
King High is good for heaps. Tournament could be over. Instead, well, you fold. Queen time. King High. <laughs> Just laughing at Nikolai. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at the misery. Because that's ICM. That's what they say. ICM. <laughs> something, something. ICM. Should have called. He check suited. Certainly good enough for a raise. Even to somebody who is borderline losing his mind over that last hand. Isaac not folding. We are three handed. Got to play your big blinds, folks. Okay, this was a $10,000 buy in six max tournament. These guys are, in fact, crushers. Also known as robots. Robots, indeed. When do you think the last bottle of sunscreen was, was purchased between these three gentlemen? <laughs> you think you have some really crusty ass sunscreen under the sink somewhere in the bathroom? Oh, yeah. right no fresh right. bottles. Yep. Not even close. How is she? Is she watching the stream? I'm gonna say I'm gonna put the line at eight years. <laughs> that doesn't even work anymore. That's like SPF negative thirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turned out to be worth coming here today. <laughs> Who would have thought, James? Turned out to be worth it. Just you know, casually drive up to the lodge, decide, eh, let's fire into the field with top twenty-five all-time money earners in it. What's the worst Doug that Cole. could happen? What's, what could happen? You know, just going home with at least 60000 James will raise it up. Nikolai defends. I'll check it. Thirty-two thousand. Nikolai, top pair going nowhere. I even go for the check raise some of the time. Just a call this time, though. Deuce changes nothing. Nikolai contemplating leading the turn here. Wants to set his own price, and James should be done with the hand. Leads small. 25. Flop bet was 52,000. Nikolai went for the check call. Leads turn. And now it's row, row, row your boat. Gently down the river and an ace high showdown value. Two pair nines and deuces for James. What will be the sizing here from Nikolai? We've gone big, small. Check call, lead. Now in the driver's seat and the check mark. Nine's full. Imagine he's targeting a hand just like ace high, or maybe the nines and sixes of the world. Snap what? call. Snaps. Hardly a thought. 55,000 in the snap. Thank you. Float my ego and kick me in the nut. <laughs> well, I, I detach it from the cards. I don't mean any, you know, 
We like you as a person, James. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. The guy's too nice. It's just too nice, man. You know, Everything, somebody uh, that nice gotta somewhere. have skeletons somewhere. Yeah, and spies. And spies. Chained. In Probably the in the same closet. Jack six seven two clubs. Let's see how James rebounds. Couple shots to the gut, getting a little bit woozy. Wins that pot though. Got to imagine here that Isaac. What snacks did you get from that, Isaac? Uh, fruit snacks were good. Yeah, all the high in sugar. Oh, I, high in sugar. Mixed nuts. nuts. Have you finished both? What, Isaac's a nutritionist all of a sudden? Doesn't like high sugar products? I mean, please. He's not a supermodel. Kind of peckish. Isaac's not going to the gym. When is the last time? Three times a week. <laughs> yeah. When is the last time peckish was used in a sentence on this live stream? Don't even know what that means. <laughs> the P word? Yeah. Okay, do you got dick famished, hungry. Is there a dictionary handy? Smacky. T tell me that again. Can you can use it in a sentence, please? Yeah, I'm feeling peckish. Can That's I get exact. the la language of, of, of origin? <laughs> I couldn't tell you that much. Wow, look at this fought for Isaac. <sighs> Straights are this man's specialty, apparently. And 10-8 to boot. Check, check. Eight would be a disaster. Isaac definitely in the driver's seat and the favorite to take down this title. Seems the most locked in out of the three remaining players. Has the respect of Nikolai. Has the experience versus James. So has the best hand here, flopping then that's straight. And he's eating nuts. No fruit snacks. High, too high in sugar. Okay. Well played. Six high into That's the nut. <laughs> Just say, well played. I'm folding six high. Chris the cop up late working the overnight shift on the East Coast. Are we allowed to? If we are, I'd love to. See Happy to have you here. Worry, no, I, I kind of was joking. Joining us on our late night shift. No, I didn't think so. No, I was on the They said no? Yeah. On a stream, on a normal stream, like half pay away. Yeah. What river were you hoping for? I had a good hand, like. A draw, a good draw. He wanted the king of stars. Close. Kind of a, kind of a. King of draw, stars. Like double gut shot kind of draw. It certainly would be an interesting river card. Kind of dirty draw. Couldn't pay the bet size that you made, which was priced me out of the hand. Is that about 300? Oh, uh, like 350? Gotcha. Three, 335. Run ballpark's good, bro. I'm, uh... Friendly game. Giving exact chip counts. Go ahead. Check, check. Very quick. Check, check. James does not like to dilly-dally. I appreciate that. Check. I bet from James. We'll take it down. Best hand. No, 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 eight, nine, twelve. Then I would have known it was a good card. 
Cameron, number 40, entrance to this $10,000 Six Max High Stakes Tournament. How are you doing? All a part of the Lodge Championship Series. Right now, I believe there are still flights going for the main events. $2 million guaranteed all the way until the 16th. $3,000 buy-in last year. First prize took 375. I think it's going to be higher than that this time around. So are you. I mean, 1.1 million. Mimi found himself a bag. And it's a pretty good score. That money's long gone now. He's asleep now. Ow. You don't shoot dice. I don't know. I think he's I still lurking out there somewhere. I think, he's, I think he came in and he said it's low. Now he's got to catch his Z's. We're calling him out. He's been called out. Called out, Nimi. Don't disappoint. Is that officially fuck it's been announced? Or? Uh, fuck it's uh, in play, yeah. Oh. Um, fuck it is in play. I like it. Is this a family friendly stream? No. Yeah, you can say whatever the fuck you want. You can say whatever you want. I hope not the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People certainly have. The what? In the past. The so, I don't think we need yeah, to worry about it, that. It's been an interesting day hanging out with you fellas. It's the night day. shift here at the lodge. <laughs> yeah. It sure has. This quest bar. I hope it has what it takes for me to get lucky, you know. Should be good. I'm trying to mix it up. You know, you be quite a quest bar. Fruits nice. The nuts. Vincent Vegas, Bradley still on his flight going on out there. I don't believe so. Bradley bagged in the same flight as Mr. Namey. Bradley also under the covers. You had me dominated. I got six dudes. Crushed. Obliterated. What's worst noise? The crackling of the candy wrapper or that screeching noise as a young boy? Teacher, chalk on the chalkboard. I speaking, that screech noise. Speaking as somebody who works audio when I work in the back, yeah, it's absolutely the candy wrappers. All right. That or somebody. Is that recency bias for you? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Think about that young. It's beyond tilting. The chalk on the board? You know, I was never in classrooms with chalk. Not once. Oh, wow. Well, in, except in college. Young boy. I'll check it. Gregory Jr. Yeah. is your new name. <laughs> I think we can just we can just go with Greg. Greg Jr. <laughs> Five for Nikolai. Some overs for Isaac. Yoda, we always thank you. Tuning in. Couldn't do it without you. Yeah, Yoda can. She's free to close her eyes whenever she chooses. Give you permission. Chat's been very well behaved. We appreciate all you guys still tuning in and watching. Well, I want a hand, so... The bar's nice. No, I like Quest, and I like anything with peanut butter. It's my favorite. Yeah. Thank you, Peter. We love you guys for watching. Probably somebody that's allergic to peanuts. Correct. Are you allergic? What? No, no, no. Oh. Nikolai almost had a heart attack. Thought Jess was allergic to huh? if peanuts. Allergic, does that mean you'll double me up? Mm -hmm. Randa, one of our stream dealers, is allergic to tree nuts, I believe. I'll forgive you. I wouldn't, wouldn't love to do that. Hmm? I'll forgive you. Everything except tree nuts. I don't remember. What did you say? Tree nuts? Tree nuts. Yeah, the me. difference. Uh, what's a tree nut? Almonds. Gives me a lot of understanding. Nuts that you know grow on a grow on a tree. Maybe I never, I never really heard. Of, I just never really heard of them as tree nuts. They still count, right? That's true. Jess, am I allowed to stand up? Am I blocking some camera? I don't think I've ever called anything a tree nut before. So which which camera? What's is that other word that I learned today as well? Peckish. Peckish. Is that a country somewhere <laughs> in Eastern Europe? <laughs> sure could be. You know what? I would not be surprised. If Get an atlas, peckish. God damn it! Get an at <laughs> atlas out right now. I'm not talking about poker atlas either. This one. This one. This one. Pair of nines for James. Bottom pair, Isaac, six high. He's going to have to release. Yeah. But, are, but you, you're preparing for that. You're mentally prepared for it. I, I'm trying. That's the important part. I am trying the minimum. What do we see here? A call? Isaac was the one who. Bat. Ah. Does he want to continue to tell the story? He does not. Very confused. Mm -hmm. 
41,000. Noah says, this Nikolai guy is pretty cool. Can we get him on a cash stream game soon? The man lives overseas. So unlikely to see him as a regular. I play pretty straight up, man. If I got never know though. I'm, Come to the lodge once. You can never well, go back to the anything else. Is, is I haven't been in a single hand where you've had nothing. So yeah, no, I'm I'm getting a lot of strong hands. Strong like ten high. Phoenix T T D with perhaps the comment of the past couple hours says I mean, the capital well, like, of Peckish is tree nuts. It's hilarious. <laughs> when you and it's very what funny. They made the, the last longer. So yes, that is. I mean, that's running pretty good. Yeah. Let's play one. James wants to play one. 35. Isaac, let's play a bigger one. Let's play one. I mean, kind of made that determination. Come on, James, get him. I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> Nikolai saying, "Yeah, James, get him." Yeah, let me get, let me jump Let's that forty k ladder real quick, real fast. Uh, you know, no big deal. You and I take it heads up. Just gotta help us out here. A little help from you. Both players with a gutter. Straight draw to the six. And over cards to the board. Trying to get a hand exactly like Isaac's to fold is James with this bet. So it is possible that Isaac may choose to raise a bluff, but does not. He lays it I'm down. <clears throat> Sticking it to the man. Yeah, James, you stick it to the man. The man being Isaac. He does know Joe Biden after all. See how that works out. I think that qualifies him as. I just hope Part tomorrow, of you know, the man. Say, hey, you know, James tried his best. You know, absolutely. That's the best thing you can say to yourself. Like, if you tried your best, that should be what you tie your happiness to. Wow, Nikolai. Not only is he an incredibly nice guy, deep thinker. Do not focus on the material or your achievements. But if you tried your best, if you tried your best. That's all you need. You have four stacks of orange now, right? Yes. yes. Gotcha. Right at 500. 500. I call. And Clyde will call on the big blind with King Queen. Could three bet. Could call. Anything but fold, really. Is a good play. I check. James picks up a gutter, and he will bet it. Nikolai not going anywhere, though, with the net nothing. And is rewarded with a queen on the river. Improves to second pair. Checks it over to James, which will induce a barrel. Swap did go check, check. Let's see how you could ever fold. Yeah, did you? Got nine high. Oh. Good hand. Thank you. Nikolai will drag in another pot. Isaac, 
you're going to be playing a $25,000 buy-in tournament tomorrow? Probably. Don't have anything better to do. No good PLO out here? Nothing big, right? You know, Houston's really good for PLO. I've heard that. Shot pot here, straight. Both players. Been here since hand number one. We're on hand number 191. 10K, six max, Lodge, LCS, High Roller Series. 71,000. Three. Nikolai leads, raise from James, snap from Nikolai, and let's chop it up. Hi there. Yep. Should we get him up? 35 back each, All right? We both loved that six. We loved it. Just knew how to get us there. But, chop, chop. I fold. Ace King. Oh. In the big blind for Isaac, but everybody folds. One nine three all suits is in bad shape. See the tournament clock there in the background. One minute away from next blind level, which will be 6 12 12. Top pair for Nikolai, James, the one in position, reaching for chips. 10,000, minimum wager. No, no wrecking that countdown. Can they mute that? I'm scared. What? I'm joking. I'm joking. I check. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Ken Mason says, why are there three blinds? It's a big blind ante, so only two blinds, small blind, big blind, with the big blind ante. James over this hand was just kidding. Thank you, Paul, in the chat for listing the payouts, folks. You can see that the next person 
eliminated will guarantee a six-figure score for the two remaining players. Still three-handed, though. Approaching... So it's 6,000 now, yeah? Yep. 2 a.m. local time. Not sure. Mines are up. Ace Queen. Price of poker going up. Isaac. 24. Min clicks it to 24. Monotone 10 6 deuce. Isaac with the. Queen of Spades. What does our boy James have? Nobody knows. He's got the flop goods. That's a pretty good hand. Pretty, pretty good. Now our GFX board's kind of tweaking out. I believe that three of clubs is on the turn, right? Flopped. Flush for James. Isaac with the over is looking for another spade to steal this pot away from James. Does not happen. Fifty-two thousand. Just ace high here for Isaac. Hasn't released just yet. <laughs> Does. Jared, the first place payouts will be at $176,720. Not a bad day at the office. <laughs> He's going to limp his small blind. Isaac not having it. But he will have this pot. I don't want to see my interrogation. I got six hours of sleep. So just I think I got, I think I got like six hours, but then I like I got up and I ate something and then I went back to sleep for like three more. That's, yeah. I'm a big fan of the uh, wake up and then resleep. Yeah. Post, post Both these guys make the file table of the five K last night? I think so. I think so. I think so. We, we didn't finish that late. We finished at like, well, I busted the third in at like half past midnight and got to bed by 2 a.m., 3 a.m. I live like, well, we're staying 25 minutes away. Airbnb or hotel? Airbnb with a few friends of mine, yeah. Nice. We partook in some illicit substances and then I went oh. to bed. Some illicit substances? I call. Yeah, what are those? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what those are. I'm gonna read. Sound peckish. What's the price? 38 This is a great country. You should really visit it. Uh, they fly uh, <laughs> direct now from Austin Bergstrom. Ah, I see. I 
How cold? Got it? Yep. Jump ball here, nine seven three. Nikolai double the amount of chips as James, but James the one. Me too. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Nice time. Turner's been watching since the beginning. Thank you for tuning in to Helm. Right out the front. Right to the hallway. It's been a long stream. And will likely continue to be a long stream. They only let the cool kids come in that way, though. <laughs> no, not even the cool kids can come in that way, James. Only the barn door. Every pot matters. Uh oh, the AC's back on. Uh oh. Nikolai. He's never heard of a sweatshirt apparently in his entire life. Sorry? He's got one on his chair. Usually, if you're cold, you put on more clothing. Looking up at the vents. Especially if you, you know, thought ahead enough. Bring one with you. Too focused on the game, like apparently not. <laughs> blind on blind action. Some clubs versus the Jack High. And how about the seven? Check, check. Four changes, nothing. Nikolai will bet his seven now. Reasonable enough. Almond bread. It's quite the name. The cancel raindrops are falling on your head, huh? Talking about me or you? I don't know what the hell <laughs> almond bread's talking about, and I don't really care. He's talking about you. Probably. <laughs> Isaac will raise his button, Jack Eights. Gee, Luke, where have you been? Ben has been gone. Ben has been in the bin for hours now. Put on quite the show while he was under the lights, though. He sure did. You know what? Kudos to him for that. He was not here to fold. He was making moves, just like Nikolai. 
carving out big move chips. It's on the three bets. James, very slowly, slides his king deuce into the muck, followed quickly by the jack eights. Isaac, he will take it down. Xander, we are in fact three handed. The last three participants in the $10,000 buy in six max launch championship series high roller. Premium for Isaac, at least when you're three-handed, Queen Jack certainly is premium. It's going to work. I think so. I'm going to chase here. The 10. Isaac can't believe that his queen high is any good here, but let's see. No. Do this with some spades as well, but Isaac doesn't have in his hand, so possibility James has one spade. Pretty strong play, though, from the short stack. And Isaac. Wow, Isaac. Thinks his queen high can be good enough, often enough. And it is with that turn card. Well, James, slow down. No! It's not slowing down. Wow. What a jam. What a jam indeed. Isaac calls here. And he knocks James out of the running. This is the biggest bluff I believe we've seen James run tonight. Huge play here. Doesn't even look nervous. Shout out to James here holding eight high. Told a story there on the flop. Got called by Isaac. Connects with his queen. But like James was telling the story there on the flop of at least a king, that has Isaac beat. Isaac blocking the jack-10, but that's not that relevant here. No diamond or spade, though. So James could be blasting off here with these flush draws that we do have beat with our queen, but I just going to get rid of it. Shows it. Snap shows it. Yeah, we call that the Albanian nuts in, in London. The Albanian the nuts. Albanians in private games love to play that one. The Albanian nuts. I, I feel like we need an explanation for that. Not tree nuts, I hope. There's a shot of the Lodge cash game side where, as you can see, even late into the evening. The Albanian nuts? Yep. We have games I was say, running 85 when they one of the, like, uh, all the through the nights. Probably something along those lines. I, to be honest, should have asked. You're probably. Russian, right? I'm Russian. This is, yeah, these are like private games in the UK. Yeah. You know how they have the seven deuce game? It's quite frequent to have the eight five game. In, uh, in London private games. <laughs> Ace Jack here for James. Now feeling the flow. That bluff's going to get him a little bit of extra pep in his step and could catapult him to the biggest victory of his entire life. Shows the Albanian nuts. Albanian nuts. I didn't hear the explanation. Did he give one? I feel like That's we what need the a... Albanians play in his home games in London. That's uh, it. I feel like... That's all we need. I feel like we need more than that. Not satisfied. James cold blooded though. Cold blooded indeed. All the chips in are playing for hours. Forty one. Eight high. Doesn't even flinch. He bleeds. <laughs> Hold on now. Girl. James, the kind of guy that would win this tournament. Don't count the scrub out yet. 
and still drive home in a Toyota Prius, <laughs> Honda Accord with probably close to 200K miles on it. That's just how he lives. <laughs> he puts every dollar into a savings account. You're not going to see any Gucci sunglasses on James. He's rocking the WSOP sweatshirt from 1993. Basketball shorts. No Ace way. King for Isaac. Now sitting at 304. Thousand chips. James with the sailboats wants to go sailing late at night. Sometimes dangerous, but James doesn't care. He's just ah, flopping sets. Sailing with a friend, I see. Seven four three rainbow. Isaac with the overs. Imagine James would snap check this here. Isaac checks. And Isaac connects here with the King of Diamonds. Wow. This on the turn could get incredibly expensive. James for leads, Isaac. Leads turn here, 17,000. Yeah, we have the split screen on Nikolai, but Isaac is involved in this hand. 70. As we hear him announce 70. Now, look, we can see him. There he is. Yeah, you see him under the board. <laughs> That's all we need sometimes, right? You know, he's still in the shot. It's all good here. Look at look at the, look at James. All in, all perplexed, in. rips it. Doesn't waste much time here. All of a sudden, we could be heads up. Isaac was just shown a bluff. He is not folding now. He's drawing dead. It's over. I Isaac says you win. Indeed he does. All of a sudden, from the favorite to out in third place, going home with 60,000, and James shows the bluff, gets rewarded by the poker gods, and eliminates Isaac in third place. Or heads up, Greg. James and Nikolai both guaranteed six figures, and they'll be playing heads up for seventy-five thousand dollars. When you came over to that table with both 3, chips, could you have with imagined pretty close scenario? stacks? Uh, no, sir. No. Is, uh, are we living in the dream? I thought I was a dead bird in tall grass. I'm not gonna lie to you. That is about as thick of a southern Texasism I've ever heard. A dead bird, dead bird in, in taller grass. In tall grass. I, I don't know. That, that's what they say here in Texas. No, no, they're just moving us around. And just like that, we have Maestro Matt Sweeney and Safi eliminates another chair into the closet it goes. Gonna get a little late night color up, early morning color up, 210. Just like that. It's down to heads up. A little chip of verification as well. Dead bird in tall grass. Yeah, I, yeah I'm not. What? I don't know. Does that mean? I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to decipher it. You know, as one is who has lived in Texas my entire life. So that's, you've I never heard such never heard shenanigans. Of, never heard of that. I might have to ask James to um, define that later. You never know. Who's taking this down? It is anyone's game at this point. I, I thought Isaac. If I had to bet when we were three-handed on who would win, I would have taken Isaac. I think so. I also would have taken Isaac. I... We'll say I'm rooting for James, but I have a feeling that Nikolai is going to squeak out on top. I'm rooting for James, too. The local. Homegrown. And homegrown. And I'm going to say James is going to take it down. It would be quite a comeback. He was really short midway through the tournaments and has clawed his way back up to the final two. And it just goes to show... How swingy these tournaments can be. Safi looks cold. Somebody get Safi a blanket. There's a jacket right there. 
This jacket. Is that jacket <laughs> really there? Everyone just complains about how cold it is, and the jacket just sits there. Yeah, it might be a figment of our imaginations, maybe. While we have an opportunity, let's hear real quick from our main sponsor, WPT Global. WPT Global is your destination for big Sunday tournaments. You'll find tournament buy-ins at all levels and huge guarantees. Head over to WPTGlobal.com and use bonus code LODGE. And your first $110 Sunday Slam ticket is free. Who knows what these guys are talking about? Yeah, you never know, but it's probably a very well-mannered, polite, level-headed conversation between these two. Don't think it's any discussion about the four-letter C word. No, absolutely not. Not talking about the one that ends in a T either. They're going to play it out. I believe so. <laughs> Rologo says, I chop for 139K and then go to bed. Uh, these guys didn't make it this far just to chop it up. No way, Jose. There's an extra $76,000 at stake here. I'm battling for it. Yeah, if you're Nikolai, too, and you know that your opponent doesn't really have much high roller experience, you probably want to take advantage of such spot. 100%. Don't know Nikolai's background either. Gotta be. Do we know his last name? Sure don't. At least I don't. But everything we've seen today shows that he is... He ain't no scrub. He ain't no scrub. He can hold his own even in the high stakes arena. And has in fact come all the way from London... Just to play here at the Lodge, the 10K. And talk about the Albanian packs. nuts. The Albanian nuts, man. Yes, yes, yes. I apologize. Yes, you're, you're I apologize. All, I apologize. Yes, yes, yes. all right, chat. It's time to pick a winner. Are you team James or team Nikolai? I'm happy to say I feel like I made a friend. Oh, James, likewise. Now we're talking about being friends. Where are they going to call each other so next friendly. Thanksgiving or Christmas? I don't gonna, think so. Some texts here and there. Texts late into the night. One of the first, first ones. I checked. And uh, just because I wanted to register. Noah Creever says Nikolai is a fish, met, barely uh, beating 1020 Zoom heads up tables on Poker Stars. Made friends and at 30 left, I checked. What a hot said, take that is. If we both make the final table, that's a fish. I'll buy you a lodge cap. God, must be a whale. You know, later on, we we both make the final table. And this cap is the one he bought me. And since then, back-to-back -back final tables, and just so so lucky. So okay, I'm looking for. See, he can't. Uh, he can't take the sticker today? off, the Mike. He, he can't. He, he said, it's he the lucky hat. It's the lucky yeah. hat. He's made all these uh, final tables. I would really, really like to see him again because obviously since getting it, I believe in that kind of thing. You like can't tarnish the hat by taking the sticker like off. There's um, chip counts. Really grateful. We are into hand number one yeah. of the heads up so. match. He was, for all he was the so gold, he was, uh, 71 big blinds to James, 62 his, his, uh, Nikolai. His wife and how, how brilliant she was, her business. It was just so lovely. And he, um, New Poland chat says, who you got? Yeah. It's time to pick a side. Team James great, great in the lead currently. Would be very cool to see a local. Pick off. I apologize, but you can hear these clowns that are my friends. <laughs> yeah. That it's got a little good. rail forming, I Team really James. Hate that you had to see that. I really hate that I saw it. <laughs> Don't pretend like it's the first time, James. Well, one thing's for sure if, if James takes this down, we will see him on some future streams. Oh, absolutely. Mandatory. You win this tournament's 34,000. Hop in the 2 4 game. No sweat. Five deuce off suit, no good. I have two overs. That happen to be a pair. Here 
Eric Johnson. So Nicolai, nice. How much experience Cash you on the in session. I, I, I heard you say this is your largest live score, so I'm assuming you play a lot online. Uh, not tournaments, not so much. <laughs> My favorite form of poker is heads up, no limit. Really? Cash, cash games, yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe a bit deeper, but I love heads up. Poker. I'm sure he loves it. hearing that. That's, That's a good story. answer. Yeah. Um, you know, my I favorite just, and format, best, though. by far, format is heads up. Just see. Let's see if Nikolai wants to challenge Doug. The purity of just one versus one, wide ranges, you know. Great. James not going to ask any more questions. That's not really the answer that James wanted to hear. I don't think so. He got quiet very fast. He says, <laughs> ah, I see. Well, good luck to you, sir. <laughs> Am I still invited to Thanksgiving next year? <laughs> I'm big by him. Isaac is a really, really strong player. Oh, no doubt. He I, was, mean, he was I, I think everybody in this field was pretty good. He was definitely the best uh, out of us, for sure, by a, while, by a mile. <laughs> so he says, <laughs> James is like, speak for yourself, my man. <laughs> yeah. Nikolai is like, I love heads up. You're not very yeah, I good. I probably think I was blowing smoke <laughs> up y'all's ass when I told y'all. I, I have a day job. Like, I'm going to leave here and go to work. It's looking like. Wild. James, so someone's going to fire in the 10K. Bring up six figures. I'm going to hit my nine to five tomorrow. James is probably going to go to work tomorrow and tell his, his boss to fuck off. <laughs> Say to stuff it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm late for work here. Oh, Here's sorry. 175K. So did you come directly here from London? or? So I, ha I went to college in the U.S. I went to Columbia in New York, and I have quite a few friends in the U.S., so it kind of combined a trip of, like, reunion with my son. Yeah, I, I know you said that you were here with some friends. Yeah, this goes to Ivy League, too. Some of, the, some of them are from Austin, and, you know, we saw that there was a series going on, and, yeah, so decided to come out here. My first, like, my first hey, time. Could not have two <laughs> more different opponents. Lucky, so, yeah. A working Pretty class, fun. Joe Schmo. Lovable local James versus the international Ivy League heads up professional of Nikolai. Top pair for Nikolai. 15,000. Jack high and not much backdoor equity at all laced down. Columbia, huh? Yeah, I'm not sure how I got into that school. <laughs> I was punching way above my weight. And I'm trying to figure out how I have any chance of winning this. You're smarter than <laughs> me. You play more than me. Oh, the cards. You, you, you specialize in heads up. I mean, I'm, no, I, I'm feeling like the deck stacked against me here. I mean, the cards have their way, James. They, you, so that, never, you never know. That is the truth. Now, you never know. Cards have their I'm way. I'm sure that... My fiance is listening right now, and she could not agree with you more. Thirty-five thousand. Shout out to James' fiance. Thanks for tuning in. She better be watching. She's been asleep for hours. <laughs> <laughs> <She's> <laughs> oh, James is playing poker again. Oh, you won? How much? Tell her that I can. One hundred seventy-six thousand. All right. She's like the cards are going to do whatever they want to do, and I'm like, I hate you. <laughs> So said no, Sweet pillow talk know. there from James, a little peek to his romantic life. I was definitely told there would be no match. But. James is a no math kind of guy. Forty seven, I call. Sorry, I'm just all over the place. Is that right? I'll stop trying to distract you. I apologize. No, 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 no. It was me fumbling with my chips. Nothing to do. 
Nine could be expensive for Nikolai. The 10 still in the lead for James in position. Nikolai Stapp checks, and James going for more value. Those blue chips are 25000 a pop. The orange ones are five k so a healthy wager here from James as this pot builds 135000 Thank you very much, James Kaling. Good morning. Brandon Thomas says the names are on the wrong side. So annoying. The names are actually on the right side. So wake up, Brandon. Coming here, barking orders. Nikolai not going anywhere. All right, now wait for this wide shot. Like... No. We're on the split screen, and they're <laughs> correct. <laughs> they're correct now when I'm reading them. Deuce changes nothing. James with the check mark. 200K. 200K and not wasting much time at all. Not a dilly dallier. ER says, let's keep that money in Texas. Go, James. You know, that's a good point. I like Nikolai, but he binks this. He takes all that money. He goes right back to UK. Not wrong about that. Can Nikolai get away from this? Heads up poker. Pairs are hard to make. You have your best nine here with the ace of hearts kicker. Straights are available. Don't have any spades in our hands, so maybe James blasting off with a busted or made spade draw as the spades connect. So what are we beating? Beating a lot. Losing to a lot, too. Tough one. Tough one, indeed. Nikolai, the heads-up specialist. Can he get away? James, completely relaxed. Unfazed by the situation. And he's been relaxed... He is not looked all the way through. He's not looked stressed for even one second, even when he was bluffing with eight high. You could have like queen jack or something. You could have queen jack. Queen jack. Queen jack or something. He's got a queen, says the specialist. Good bet. Gets away. A nice. great lay down from Nikolai. As James now crosses over the one million chip marker. James now twice the stack of Nikolai. 89 big blinds. Thank you. Got Thank some you. coming back to do. Nikolai wants to stay in the fight as we will do a dealer swap once Hi. again. Goodbye to Miss Jess. Back, Hello. Mr. Clayton. Tallest dealer to ever exist. He could probably touch both sides of the table at once. I think I'll call you if there's no spade. Yeah, maybe I should, maybe I should fold turn. Oh. What'd you have? I'll tell you. Ace nine. Ace nine? I have queen ten of clubs. Wow. Top pair, really good kicker. Wow. Yeah, that, nice hand. I guess the spade saved me. Oh, sorry, yeah, I'm small blind, yeah. I wouldn't be telling Nikolai shit that's right what now. I, that's what I was saying. I was like, you know, these guys are really awfully nice. I would be button-lipped. Be like, you know, sir, if you really want to know. 
especially when Nikolai is proven to go on tilt for a couple hands or just be distracted. Distracted, I think. Distracted. Right, right. It's when a form of tilt, I suppose. At that point, I eliminate Jack Tan. Yeah. So. But you want your opponent to be distracted, especially okay, heads up when there's really no time for breaks. You gotta be sharp consistently here. Make him think about it. Make him question his decisions. Maybe my nine was good there. Yeah, I mean, Jack Tan's great hand there. Yeah, like I said, when, when you go in the tank, oh, you're happy with it. You, you like the fate of the snap call, right? Or, or like snap all in. Yes, that, that would have... Like he had me in the damn blender earlier with that king ten. Oh, that, had was, me, that was a great call. You'd have had me in the blender again. That was a great, great call. Like a oh, bird in yeah. tall grass. Is that, is that how that saying goes? I, I, I think, I think <laughs> James may have misspoke on the saying. I think it's supposed to be a sick bird in tall grass. That makes that makes sense to me. You're just a dead bird in tall grass. You're still dead. You're just a blue bird. Doesn't matter how tall the grass the is. Left. So come on. Oh, this is a flop. 41,000. Both players open-ended, but James has a pair to go along with it. Wow. Nikolai. Add diamonds. Just folds. Diamonds. diamonds are indeed bad suits to have when there is not one on the board. So question for you, as somebody that plays a lot of heads up. I was told if you're playing heads up against a better player, you're supposed to keep the pressure on them, keep all the decisions in their court. Do you mm -hmm. agree with that strategy? Keep the decisions in their court. I think... I think that's a good that's that's a good bit of advice. Yeah, it's always harder to face like raises and bets rather than like passive play. Is it a coaching session or a heads up battle? I was about to ask. It was you know, Nikolai, you may as well start charging one big blind per question. You yeah, know, one of my buddies, like, very least. Plays a lot of heads up, and he's like, yeah, if you feel like you're against a better player, you know, he's like, just keep all in. Gets the better player, just risk all your money as much as possible. Absolutely. Sometimes you're going to have it, and sometimes, you know, you're yeah. going to be a dumpster fire. <laughs> so now James's strategy out there in the open. I'm going to call. Team James leading the chat poll. And I, I'm a part of that 56%. Put my vote in. You put your vote in, Greg? I did say Nikolai. I didn't actually click the button, though. Shame. I know. I thought you said... It's a shame my phone you're, is you're dead. You're rooting for James, though. You're Team James. I... I What's the time? Because we don't have watches. Don't. Oh, you, you have a watch, Clayton. He's got his. I think it's like 1.15. Oh. 2 a.m. Special yeah, guest just lurking morning. around the lodge here at 2.30 in the morning. Right it's only 2.30? Oh, good. We're going to welcome you probably just, way later. Probably just got off a of Twitter space or something. I, Mr. Actually, Sean Deep. I was on some Twitter spaces. Uh, I was joining on break. Uh, Eden Rocks was rocking one. Had Negranu, uh, Aria, Len Ashby. I mean... 
the cast of characters we get on those is insane. Yeah, those are You've amazing, joined a couple, yeah. and you never know who you're going to get. So many fucking wild cards. Well, yeah, I mean... Um, this is pretty cool, though, for me, because Nikolai actually got third place in the 5K with me. So we played a lot, talked a lot. He's a really good kid, uh, sharp, you know, young guy. And James is like, he uh, doesn't know where he belongs. James, a local boy, playing in the biggest tournament of his life, Nikolai, the Ivy League graduate, back-to-back -back final tables, heads-up specialist, is what he said. No, 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 no. Well, I was glad he went out third than the other guy. No. The other guy actually almost beat me when I started 12-1 to chip lead. And Connor, Connor's a crusher yeah. as well. Yeah, these kids are like talking about, you know, all these games and stuff. And I'm like, how old are you guys? They're like 23, 25. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, come on, man. Like, you guys shouldn't be playing this big this early. Like, How old are you, Sean? I'm 37. Yes. Ten the toilet. Don't know how old James is. I think James is around our age here as well. Nikolai, pretty young. Yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> How so how are you guys before? enjoying watching a tournament? You know, you get a lot of great cash streams you know, here. I'm not going to lie to you. Not too many tournaments. Yeah, we stream. Yeah. And, I mean, with his range, 90, I know that 7, 5, 4, 3 percent um, cash. So okay it, it's here. nice to throw a curveball every now and then. I appreciate a good tournament stream. Yeah, I was really hoping you guys would turn the stream last night because with me and Doug, you know, Bing Wing was there. Like, that was, was a great final that table. Was, that was a really – and there was a, obviously great conversation with us. A lot of needling, you know. One of the guy who actually bubbled um, had a great story. He watched uh, Brad's uh, videos, came out here, and then got to play with Doug at a final table. It was so pumped, and he was just having the time of his life. And I talked to him again today, and I was making sure he wasn't too bitter. He bubbled, and he's like, "No, man, that was the best day of my poker career." That's and a great that's like, story. I, I love the experiences here. Trips here for James. Lodge is a beautiful place. It's really nice to uh, see you made the trip, Sean. I, I've honestly, I know people say it a lot, but I, we, you know, my, we have tried to organize yeah. four or five trips. My schedule's so crazy; everything gets canceled. Um, now I got the weight loss bet with Bill, so I wasn't even, like, I wasn't supposed to be down here, but I have doctor's appointments later in the week in Austin, and I was like, oh, it's actually happens to be when the tournament's going on, so let me fly in a little bit early. Did you go home from Vegas yet, or no? You went out to Vegas for uh, the heads up I, match, right? I only went out to Vegas for a day. And then you went back to the East Coast? Yeah, then? I went back home for a week, like four to five days. Mm -hmm. Should have just shown up at Perkins' house, knocked on his door, be like, can I just get on the Peloton? <laughs> I, I'm going to try to do a workout with him while I'm here. I actually would see if he wants to go to... Wakeboarding? Uh, he likes wakeboarding. He likes wake wakeboarding. Yeah, I'm not very good at that. I don't have much balance anymore. Maybe I'll pick it up once I'm uh, not so top-heavy. But, yeah, so, you know, I wanted to come down here so bad and have the doctor's appointments. And I was like, all right, matches up perfectly. Come down here. Not very long. Then I just get a 1,000 other invites. And I'm like, well, I'm on the road. Might as well just keep playing poker. I haven't played since really I took on the challenge. So you back to stack. Yeah. Uh, played three bullets of Flight B. First bullet, I got up to six starting stacks. I thought I was safe. Um, and then... When I busted the third bullet in Flight B, Late Reg was closing this tournament. So I hopped in, Max Late Reg, busted that, then fired four bullets in Flight C and bagged uh, eight starting stacks. So profitable. So, so what's your stack at? 400K. Uh, very I, I always see things as starting stacks. That's my way of calculating equity. So whenever I talk to my friends, like, if you say 200K, they don't know what you're talking about. If you say eight stacks, they have an idea. Yeah. Players going here on a short 10-minute break, not the full 15 minutes. Chad Harmer's asking who won the 5K last night. This beautiful voice right here. Was it me? Uh, it's a beautiful voice. Not, uh, that, not beautiful face. That, that, okay, that's fair. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. You don't belong on radio. You're, you should be the face up there. Yeah, too handsome. We got to get some fucking too uh, handsome. You know, commentary cams going here. <laughs> Let us know in the chat. One of the greatest in the game, Mr. Sean Deep, here joining us in the booth. So if you got any questions for him, this is a great I see time uh, to ask someone's him. asking if I'm using a performance-enhancing drugs. Uh, I'm not planning on taking them. I'm definitely not currently taking them. They're a last resort for me <laughs> to win this bet. It's on the table. I mean, listen, you One guys million. see me. I'm growing out the hair, growing out the beard. I'm doing a lot of things that uh, are small edge increases, but that's the only way to do it. What are the... Growing out the hair incentives. So basically, the way the body fat works for DEXA scan 
it's your total weight divided by your fat-free pounds. Your fat-free pounds is your lean muscle mass plus your bone mineral content. And I don't know which one of those two, but hair counts towards that. Wow. So I think it's in the bone mineral content. So if I have three pounds of hair, I can actually have another half a pound of fat. So I, it gives me a little bit more wiggle room or less wiggle room to be more direct. Uh, yeah. So that's kind of my goal. If you lose the bet, maybe you could just get some sick beard oil branding gig. Well, I also thought, um, I, I mentioned this to Doug Polk, and he was not. He thinks it's against the spirit of the bet. So I'll ask the, the chat. I said, on the table is also me getting dreadlocks. <laughs> because dreadlocks are a lot heavier than regular hair. So Doug thinks that if I start lathering my hair with honey to make it heavier and nastier and nappier, that that's against the spirit of the bet. So I don't know. Bill said I could win this bet however means necessary. So yeah. I think it's okay, but Doug was not a fan of it. Everything's in play. I mean, Doug's just a porcupine with his hair. I think Doug's just bitter he lost his because, you know, for Doug to – he lost the tournament to me. I knocked him out. We had a small cross book. He got buried on that. And now if I win my weight loss bet after he lost his, when his was much easier to win than mine, that's going to be bad news for him. Doug could have won that. He just got off to a late start. You've got off to a hot start. You're taking it very seriously from the start. Well, I I give Doug all the credit for that. You know, he talked to me in between Perkins' first tweet and my counter – like we talked for like 35, 40 minutes, maybe longer. And he said there, you know, in between the kid waking up and giving me advice saying, this is what you do. He sent me my first diet plan. So the first meal I ate the first day after that was following Doug's diet to a T and it was awful. Doug's a machine. It really doesn't take much time off for anything. Very committed to his businesses, getting a lot of heat in the outside no, world. We weren't any in the last. But he's a good person yeah. deep down. And he takes the time to answer questions that people ask him. So he's got a lot of good advice for you. And I wish you the best of luck as we hop back into the action here with a short break. Even shorter as these players are here early into the morning battling for 175K. So I want to make some things. I don't know if I'm joining this late in the stream. But one of the nice two few things I've seen from Lodge is when they get four-handed here, goes to a small blind ante instead of big blind ante, the mount size. And then heads up, it goes away. So even though, you know, they're only 35 four, thir- or whatever, 25 big blinds right now, they have a lot more play than you would in a normal tournament that has big blind ante with 25 big blinds. Yes. I like that structure as well. A lot of people don't notice that, but you've, you're on it right away. Well, I was in the tournament, so I learned. Mm-hmm. So not going to play that 25K tomorrow, though. Going to go out for a drive. Unfortunately, I uh, have a uh, commitment to try to slow roll Phil Helmuth. So I, I think uh, if something happens to the stream, I'm going to look to see when late Reg closes of the 25K here. I might sneak back. I'm a degenerate. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. See, Matt Kinder asking, do I believe slow rolling on a final table is okay to do? Uh, why would it matter what stage the tournament is? Slow rolling is fun any stage. <laughs> I actually had a beautiful slow roll today. Uh, Ebony Kenny was at the table. She was Twitch uh, live streaming all her hands and the whole table. And she shoved like 12, 13 bigs into me in the big blind. I said, oh, I got a good idea. Let, let your Twitch chat decide what I should do with my hand. So then I show her Twitch chat and her the aces. And she just tries to throw them in the muck. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, she had deuces and we had some fun with it. And it's probably a good video on her stream. Shout out Ebony, Austin local. Saw her grinding Ooh. flight B and flight C. I Jax, no action. Certainly. I'm very surprised Nikolai versus James is just not limping 100%. No 8 deuce off kind of stinks, but it's a 2-3 blind structure. And I don't think he expects James to raise his limp so much. So I really think he should just be limping dark and stabbing. But this structure is just necessary. To play 100% of your hands. Uh, I see someone asking, what are my thoughts here on the lodge, the rooms, and all the streams? Uh, I haven't been in the... I walked in the stream room briefly. It looks so much bigger on TV than it actually is. It's What's insane, that? your guys' camera yeah, angles. Yeah. But uh, really nice. Uh, Doesn't feel small in there to me. Not a lot of hands there. It looks bigger I... on screen. but It, it looks a lot bigger. Like, to... I thought it was the size the of like a massive room looking on the screen. Yeah, I can see that. I'm going to have to... And obviously, I just looked in from the edge. And I, like, you know, when you have that perception, it's different than when you expect. 
But, I mean, everything else here is nice. Um, obviously, the floor staff and the Deuce dealers are all-stars from all over the place. Eight, Deuce, Deuce, seven. I mean, you play tournaments all over yeah. the world. and You know? I play really all around the country pretty much. And whenever I leave the lodge, I'm not just saying this. I, I, I miss the professionalism of the lodge and the dealers and their expertise and their quality. The professionalism of the floors and their uh, T-shirts and jeans and sneakers. Well, it's hot. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty hot here <laughs> in Texas. I got six three. A little bit more lax, but still everybody's no, just top I, I, notch. Listen, I, I love it. I, I, we're comfortable when we play. I, they're so good at what they do. I want them to be comfortable and happy exactly. to be here. Not that it matters. I mean, we, me and uh, you know, Anthony, term director, we go way back. Um, also good friends with his wife. And we were arguing some rules yesterday, and some things got changed. And I love coming to places and you know discussing procedure because when you have smart poker minds discussing things that rarely come up, we come to a really good solution for the gray area stuff. And things get changed. Yeah. And number 224. James starting to separate here from Nikolai, who's worried about some crumbs here on the felt, perhaps. Don't worry about the crumbs, Nikolai. Focus on the cards. We'll take care of that. If he's a heads-up player, you think he has to focus on the cards? He's just waiting their dealt. He can autopilot this shit. He's going to need to start getting busy. 40. Nikolai here has James crushed with the Jack-10. Cool. Everything going James's way, though, is he connects with a pair. Didn't see any of your boys come down for this series. I saw... I tried to get Wyman to come. He's got a new girlfriend. Arie, I think, went to Cherokee. Glance is too big time. Um, but, yeah, I've talked to a few people. I'm surprised Panzka's not down there, down here, or a few other people. It's just right before the series. That's the only problem with this series. It's so close. It's like, I'm going to be away from my family for two months. And when I told my wife I'm coming down here for a week, ten days, she's like... I was like, I got to go. It's a doctor's appointment, and there's some stuff to play. Doctor's appointment. That's what did it. I had, I literally had, like, when I, if I make day three of the main, I have to call the doctor's office and be like, ah, oh, can we push it back? And this was a month to get this appointment, and I have literally 12 hours of doctor's appointments each day. So, uh, yeah, it's... 12-hour appointment? There's, like, I, I can show you the schedule. Oh, my phone's oh. up there. It's insane. It's like, you meet here, you do this test, you do this. Like, you do, via, uh, like... It's, they literally have a whole schedule of the whole day, and I go to their, like, office and go through everything. I heard you left your phone in an Uber last night. Oh, uh, that was this morning. So uh, I rushed to pack to get here this, yesterday morning. I forgot a lot of important things, one of them being a phone charger. So I was on a space this morning, of course. And a uh, nice little call here by Nikolai. Hopefully he can call the river as well. That's going to be a tough card to call if James fires. It's firing. There was a spot early on in the stream where Nikolai had King High and he thought he was good. This is a tough King High to call. Three-handed, he laid it down. Isaac made a nasty bluff. Mm. Nikolai's gone into the tank before here with King High, but... I mean, the problem with calling here is now you're down to 10 bigs. Like, these bets, when it's this huge portion of your stack... It, the ICM consideration, I know it's heads up, people don't realize that, but his skill edge goes down drastically as the stack gets shallower. Mm. It'd be bad if you're bluffing with a better hand than mine. That'd be bad. It's possible.
Just love James's table presence. Really hasn't looked nervous at all, whether he has it or he doesn't. Just staring politely across the table, blinking. Jack high. He's going to show it, or he has too much respect for his boy, Nikolai. Not going to disrespect him like that. The Jacks in the mud. I felt like my nothing was better than your nothing. King high. I couldn't be king high. A jack high. Good bet. Sometimes, Nikolai, you just got to I, I have a, I have stick it in, man. Clubs, so I have a six. You've been right too many times. Oh, good bet. Yeah, it's a good bet. Greg Potter, Sean Deep, Skull Mike here. In the bunker, as we call it, at the lodge. Coming down the stretch, it seems, in the 10K six max. Definitely calling one street here from Nikolai with bottom pair. Wow. I can never get you. I can never get you. <laughs> it's been getting them a lot lately. <laughs> I was about to say, in yeah. the past few hands, he's been doing nothing but getting him. I'm expecting a shove if you have anything. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, he's no, on the no, bottom no, bear. No, yeah, yeah. Expect the shove. Well, didn't have much. Surprise, James flops the bet's hand. Continuous pressure here from James and the 1.3 million in chips. Nikolai starting to look a little dejected. Tired, shaking his head, frustrated. I saw that look a lot yesterday. <laughs> he definitely was, uh, he's probably on a better sleep schedule today than yesterday, but he seemed pretty exhausted, and he was saying how he wasn't thinking straight towards the end. Yeah, he was talking a little bit before he got in the booth, how he didn't sleep much, five, five and a half hours or so. Yeah, we talked a little bit, and he was saying how brutal it was, you know, the guy who ended up getting second, how many times he sucked out on me. Three handed where he would have got the pay jump. Seven deuce. We shared a card. Starting to run bad now as well. He's not over 15 big guys. It's 15K big blinds to 15. Yeah, he's got about 14 bigs remaining. Did I win a hand? Hands up yet? The what? Did I win a hand? Yeah. Oh, heads up. I forgot it. <laughs> yeah, you want a hand? That, that, that one hand. Yeah, James has been like, yeah, that hand 12 hands ago, you remember? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're playing great, bud. 30. Ace Jack. There's a hand for Nikolai. James. Easy defend here in the big. Not the board for ace check. My eyes are going blurry. Okay. I'd like to see a stab here. I think he expects James to bet most of his pairs on this board. Deny some equity. That's the equity you try to deny. Six gets there. Full pot from James. He 
Nikolai's wanted to call multiple times with King High. This time it's Ace High. It's hard to make a pair of heads up. Something I just noticed is uh, when James was bluffing the Jack Six, he didn't recheck his hold cards while Nikolai was tanking, but now he just rechecked his hold cards. So Nikolai notices that there's probably usually a difference in a hand. Like when you think you're bluffing, it doesn't matter. Look at your cards. So when you recheck there, you usually oh, have good. it. Pays it off. Wow. Okay. Pays it off. Large value bet there from James. No, no, that's 50 bucks. That's right. That's right. Did anyone tell James that the World Series of Poker is no longer at the Rio? Yeah, we were talking about <laughs> this. Yeah. It's an old sweatshirt. It's a lucky sweatshirt, though, apparently. Apparently so. And living up to that. Clyde definitely appears to be off kilter here a little bit. Not playing his A game. Yeah, you find yourself. I mean, you slipping. never know. This could be his A game. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good point. You never know. It does help when you drill the turn, though. You find yourself slipping heads up. Nowhere really to hide. What do you do quickly to turn it around, Sean? Just go on to the next hand. You just. I mean, when you're this shallow, being t you know ten to one chip disadvantage, my eye drops, my contacts and can't really can't outplay them. You just gotta you know win a sixty forty, depending which way. Um, I might think James doesn't know push fold, so I might just overshove. Maybe he'll fold some ace deuce offs, you know, king five suited or something. That should be a call. Or you could just keep trying to limp and minbet. But like an eight five suited, I might just jam. I don't think James, my instincts would say, doesn't know what proper ten big blind calling range. Rips it. Shoves. Here. Gets it through. Wow. I yeah. Folds. I don't understand that fold. He is potted every time he's had top pair. He overshoves. It's draw, but like, you know. How many more chips are you going to do? you got to call sometime. He doesn't have queen 10. He doesn't have queen 8. He doesn't have 10, 8. He's not doing that with, like, queen 5. He doesn't have a big queen. He would raise pre. Can't have, like, a queen of gutter. Finally a hand for Nikolai, it seems. Which you might get buffed off by the river. <laughs> because I think if he calls, James might shove the river. He might even fold the turn. Oh. Pair of nines for James. Drawing dead. Two pair now, tens Super. and nines. Goes check, check. Nikolai's like, I want a hand. Thank you. It's possible. <laughs> Paul Edwards, how many more than a thousand cuts does Nikolai want to put himself through? Sorry, Definitely seems to, to be a strategy. Yeah, I don't know. Here, here. Three AM local time. We're gonna be here till the end. And we expect all you people in the chat. To do the same. Gonna be streaming plenty. Oh wow. Okay. You will be seeing an all in a call. All in and a call. Snap. Ooh. Good hit. This might be where Nikolai gets some back. Nikolai in good shape for a double up, James. Be unlucky for James, I mean. First of 12 big blind stack, you're pretty excited to see Jack High, let alone Ace Jack. Nine 
Nine four deuce. Safe flop here for Nikolai. Needs to no dodge. Back doors. A jack. And, and there jack it is. On the turn. Oh, you see the Nikolai's face. He's disgusted. And it's over. And that is it. Nice cordial handshake there at the end. I don't think Nikolai could do anything about that last hands. One of the biggest underdogs when this tournament started. Survives all 40 players and ends up on top for 176,000. His biggest score ever, James. This is your moment. There was a bigger underdog, by the way. They were in for five bullets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Doug, of course. Doug, of course. <laughs> yeah. the, the biggest underdog in the entire field. Doug, Doug likes to, you know, Perkins added 50K to the ladies' event. Doug added 50K to this one. He just didn't publicize <laughs> it early enough. Somebody had to do it. Had to be someone. That's going to do it, folks. Greg, you've been here since the beginning. You did a fabulous job. Thank you, Our sir. production staff, the dealers, Safi, Sean Deep for joining us. Any uh, last thoughts here, Greg? I don't think so. Everyone played great. It was very entertaining. Uh, long stream, but it was definitely a good one. And congratulations to James. But that is going to do it for us here at the Lodge. We will see you guys again tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. Slick Rick will be in the booth with Skull Mike popping in and out. So we got more tournament streams for you guys. Tune in tomorrow. We will see you all on the next one. Thank you, Sean. 25K tomorrow. Same channel, same place.